fuck with them at fall. <laughs> Give it a minute. You know the drill, man. Waiting for all our peeps to get up in here. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Zero. Still. Right? And almost a whole minute, and still zero. Hmm. Oh, there's two. And a thumbs up. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on, Justin? What a mofo! Hello! Hey! <laughs> should just be on the homepage, shouldn't it? It's on the homepage. Like if you're just going to go look at regular videos. <laughs> Right there, see? Told you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's treating me good. It's treating me good. I'm liking it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the internet burger just. <laughs> in and out burger just sent a mock in. Yeah, in and out burger scraping. Oh. <laughs> Getting scraped. <laughs> What's up, Taylor? Justin, that one guy. You need your glasses? Shandor, Myers, Stephen Reed, Stephen Miller, What up, Logic? Steve Fiber, Big Steel Trucker. Whoop, whoop. Logic, what's up? Buttermilk. Ooh, Logic made uh, an entrance early. <laughs> yeah, he usually comes in the back end, huh? Yeah, like four hours later, he's like, hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> Let's see what I have. Yeah, we're in Boise though. As you saw a few hours ago with the video. Yeah. And Selena's opinions about <laughs> proportion. Everybody's got one. Just like buttholes and Everybody's they all stink. Abortion? No opinions. I don't want to get an abortion. <laughs> Finding decent rates if you book out in advance. Well, I, the rates, I don't know. I don't know. As far as rates going on, typically what's been happening to Ooh, us. That corona. Yeah, you know, what's been happening to us is uh, we're getting the uh, last minute loads. Yeah, they're because we can run team and everything and somebody bailed out on it and they need it right away so we're getting decent rates still for yeah quick loads you know yeah they're like we went and picked one up at cheese in, in clovis and it was supposed to be picked up the day before even though our appointment was we were on time for our appointment but it was actually for the previous day and then when we got to the delivery we were on time but they're like oh this was supposed to be here yesterday and it's like well <laughs> No, not according to our rate con. Are we going to have lunch with RVT? Or is this... Uh, does he live here or something? Yeah, or, does he or, or is he, or is is he, he posting that he's here right now? Yeah, I have no idea. No idea. Never talked to him. I'm sure he'd be a, have a, he'd be a hoop to have lunch with. <laughs> he's definitely a high energy kind of guy. Yeah. Always in it. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe to be around him every day, he'd be like more mellow. But when he's doing videos, he seems like he's yeah, very he's driven, very direct, you know. Little, little highs to a vape trick. Uh. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. <laughs> I hit my titty with it. <laughs> titty pop. <laughs> like the rock in the Journey to the Center of the Earth when he's bouncing the cherries off of his pecs. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a vape trick, watch this. Hundred bucks. Everybody, come on, everybody, put you in hundred bucks for my vape trick. Are you vape chick? Are you vape trick? I said my vape trick. 
Do you need the more comfy chair? No. <laughs> I got like a shooting pin. I'm, I'm old. What do you want? I got like a shooting pin through my leg. I'm old too. Well, old. Yeah, it's a prostate check. Yeah, did you see Little Dog's video mocking Thor? Oh. Funny shit. I know it's Little Dog's been posting. Back, a, back uh, to the same old. You can't you can't keep Little Dog down, man. He's always gonna come back up with a. With a, the same old shit. <laughs> well, the drama the drama videos. Yeah. <laughs> talking smack about everybody. I mean, we know Will. Yeah. Although I do notice, in the past year or two yeah, anytime i make a yeah anytime i make a comment on one of his live feeds you can see his eyes moving through the things he reads and it's it. like he he the guy that made a comment right above us oh like hey wh whoever and then he like his eyes keep moving and then it's the guy right below us he goes oh hey man but he never acknowledges me huh. i guess yeah. he don't like me no more we're too cool too cool for school we intimidate <laughs> masturbate Intimidate. <laughs> Liberate. <laughs> Say it super eight. <laughs> Mocking Thor, though. I was still looked for answers on what happened to Thor. Did he get in a bike wreck or whatever? I remember a while back. He was using a cane or a crutch to walk around. And yeah, stuff. we... I wonder what happened to him. <laughs> yeah, we're so far out of touch with everything. It's like... Yeah, we've been out of the... Uh, spectrum of uh, YouTube truckers we, for so long yeah, now. Yeah, we do trucking videos, but we don't watch trucking videos. Just Asian mind. I keep up on a few people. Yeah, I don't. I do. I still watch Little Dog stuff when he does a live feed or something here and there when I catch it. Um, yeah, I, I keep up with the Asian my shit because he's always bringing up news topics. Yeah, like the one he had today. Was about, the very, EPA? about the EPA and the DPF systems. I want. I really want to know the outcome on that one. Thor aged a lot the past six years. Yeah, I did see that where he's definitely got a lot more gray. I mean, hell, the past six years. Yeah, look at us. Look at me. <laughs> like she hasn't changed much, but dude, I look like an old man. What's up, Jim? What? What? Yeah, I noticed. Last time I saw some of Thor, like his face and you know drawn in a lot. He was a lot more gray, stuff like that. I mean, everybody hits the wall sooner or later. You yeah, know. I mean, you get old, you get old. You know, Same old, with me. Right? <laughs> old is. Look at this. You know, I'm old. I'm straight up. Yeah, look at this. And in other news. <laughs> yeah, got a vagina on my neck. <laughs> You're still your sexy self? Well, that's a good Aww. thing. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, hi, Ruth. What's up, Ruth? Yeah, we're doing all right. Yeah, we're doing good. For the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in good news, too, we had the truck paid off, and it was up for sale, and it's... Selena had a talk with our the boss man, the owner of the company we run with, and he's going to buy the truck off of us because he is he's buying auction equipment and everything yeah he's going to start selling heavy duty equipment yeah he's already a dealer yeah he's already a dealer he's yeah. already a car and truck dealer yeah. so he already he took the truck over from us he's going to pay us out an extra like twenty three thousand bucks for mm -hmm. the truck something like that yeah it's going to give us money for the truck though yeah. which it was a good deal that's yeah. fine. So we're going to make some money off the truck and get rid of that chunk of shit. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. And Looking it. forward, we'll run this truck for now. See what the future may hold. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe truck prices will come down enough. We can still, still get a W9. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe we'll just get out of this stupid game. Maybe get out of this fucking shit. <laughs> I don't think they're going down. Hi, Dave. Happy What's up, Dave? July. Uh, truck prices will go down, though. Inventories are going to go back up as more people close and flood the market with more inventory, yeah. used inventory. New trucks will still be hard to come by, but trucks that are five-plus years old, I think you're going to see a big influx of in used inventory coming in the next by next year. 
So you probably see prices go down quite a bit yeah. for used trucks. Yeah. Pre-emission trucks and brand new trucks will probably still hold a lot of, a lot of value. But like our truck was like a 2015 Cascadia. It's going to be a shit box. You know, nobody's going to want it. Well, not only that, but the part shortages. Yeah. I mean, they're going to be they're going to become money pits for and just dead weight for everybody. There's always Amazon. Screw that. No. <laughs> Run everywhere as fast as you can. Dollar fifty a mile. Oh no, no, I'm good. No thanks. <laughs> I mean, hell, the, the, I did Amazon delivery around town, delivering to houses and stuff. That was no. Nah. Well, and two, well, you, he's talking like Amazon dedicated. No, I know that, truck, but screw that, but, dude. That, that ain't I mean, enough money, especially if fuel stays yeah, six dollars a gallon. If you're not getting a decent fuel surcharge, like I'm talking, eighty cents right now for a fuel surcharge, then. You're losing money all over the place. Yeah. Because we're, I'm seeing my fuel, every time I fuel up, everywhere I go, and fuel's killing it. You know, we're making so much less money because of fuel. Oh, what's our room number? We look like we need pizza. Well, you email us and I'll tell you. Because <laughs> last time I gave out our room number. <laughs> for the I was phone. getting calls <laughs> on the room phone. Having to... Yeah, when I got all drunk on my 40th birthday down in Florida. <laughs> Our room and, number's this. Yeah, because someone promised us pizza. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's this room number. And uh, guess what we didn't get? We never got pizza. <laughs> and I ended up, who did I talk to? Uh, I forget who you talked to, but you talked to him for like an hour. Yeah, somebody <laughs> called the room, and I ended up talking to him for like an hour. We were just shooting the shit, but it was just hilarious that somebody tracked us down at that hotel, at that room. Yeah. And I'm sitting there on the hotel phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give them the room across, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Tommy? How are things? You're looking at it, man. Yeah. Sitting here doing a live feed, hoping Thomas Wilson and, and John G. And fucking, John G. come in and float us another 700 bucks. Yeah, float us their next stimulus <laughs> check again. <laughs> Dude, that yeah. saved our ass. It really did. They actually paid some bills <laughs> out did. month. We, as soon as we got paid out. Yeah, we freaking... When they were playing dueling fucking C notes at us. Yeah, that was awesome. That really helped us. It really did. Now we got the, now we got the truck paid off. Cars almost paid off. We got two more payments on the BMW. Yeah. And that's cleared out. Like our debt level is coming down to be able to deal with this market a little bit better. Yeah. You know, our monthly nut that it was getting bad there for and a little bit. And then in was... April we can get out of this high ass rent house we got. Yeah, we'll get a reset in. Yeah. I'll probably get four resets again this week. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, I don't mind driving, but he just drives, so. Well, that was the main intention of it anyway. Yeah, it's just to take up the slack. Yeah, she's there to cover. But running solo, you know. Super solo. Well, I'm saying, Mostly like, solo. when I'm running solo, it becomes a thing, like, sometimes loads get back to back. And yeah, either the pickup or delivery windows don't work out if you're running solo. And, of course, e-logs ruin it. Yeah. If I... When he was having to do a whole lot of uh, split sleepers and... I was just screwing everything you know, up. You don't get a lot of rest when you're doing that shit. And this way. Yeah, I mean, you were just at home. Yeah. You were looking for jobs, yeah. but nothing was calling. It's like, you know, Yeah, there's this one place they keep posting for a plumbing counter clerk for $22 an hour. And I keep applying for it, and they just ignore me. I have eight years of union plumbing experience. I don't know what their deal is. They keep reposting it every qualified. week. I don't know. But it says plumbing knowledge is required. So I don't know why they keep... I don't know. I don't know. I even tried for Slim Chickens and... Yeah, even fast food fast jobs. Foods, and they're like, Nobody nah. was calling. I was like, what the yeah. hell, dude? It's like, well, I can just throw you back on the truck. Let's go. I mean, we want to be, it was good having her home to maintain the house and the dogs and everything. We got three dogs. Yeah. It's like, you know, now they're at home with the boys. They're taking care of them, but they go to work all day and the dogs are just out and doing their thing. And, and tearing up the house. Taking a shit in the house and <laughs> tearing stuff being up. Being dogs. Being dogs. Plumbers are needed big time in Denver. Yeah, I mean. 
They're yeah, needed but, everywhere. That's the thing. Yeah. We see billboards everywhere. Plumbers, HVAC, welders, all this stuff. And then you put in for it, yeah, and they're like, they oh, don't even call. Yeah, they don't even call. It's like, what the hell? When it's like, there were some welding jobs, and I put a couple of apps in, because I can't do the work like I used to do since I've had my pulmonary embolisms, my stamina, health, weather abilities is not where it used to be. And But one place called, they just found my resume, and but it was to weld shit that I don't know how to weld. And they're like, well, just come in for an interview. Yeah, and yeah. show us some welds. Just show us some welds. Yeah, wasn't a thing like, just show us like, some welds too? Yeah, they want me to show them some welds and stuff, but it was on metal that I don't know how to fucking weld on. <laughs> what happened to the new car you oh, bought? Oh, well, we have a new truck. We, we got still a new have pickup. that. Yeah. yeah, we got a Chevy pickup we bought a year ago. We still got that. Of course, the kids are driving it now because we're on the road. Yeah. Yeah, blindsight. We were talking about that a minute ago. We saw Asian Mai. Yeah, Asian Mai has become like a top source of uh, trucking news for me to find out shit going on. Yeah. See, he looks better already. Aww. He does. He's happier. Well, my mood's up. Yeah. I can't it's speak. Take... I can't speak to my health issues yet because it hasn't been long enough. It hasn't been long enough, but. When I was at home, I, 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 had I, him I got down to 148 pounds. <laughs> but I had him up until he took too many shits. I haven't. Oh. Yeah, I took a ton of shits. Yeah. Oh, wow. What the fuck? What the hell was that? <laughs> Taylor, yeah. you killed us. After I, uh, after I got home, though, there seems to be a thing when, you know, maybe some of you guys got this, too. When you're on the road, I don't. Okay. Like, you get kind of offset when you're on the road that you're not regular, you know? I get on the road, and I don't shit for days sometimes because I'm always going, and it's kind of thing. I'm always in a rush when I was running solo that I wouldn't even pull over to take time to take a dump. So I go, like, days without taking a dump, and then I go home, get home. Overnight, it turns into this thing. No, the truck's not broke down. That, but I don't shit for days. Then I get home, and I get my first night of sleep when I'm at home. But I go to bed at like, say, eleven o'clock, midnight, you know. But at then 3 I'm by three, four a.m. I'm waking Knock, up. Like, I gotta take a shit. <laughs> Your butthole's all like, "Hey, buddy." It's all tapping. So, hey, bro, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, toxic shit. And then I've been fucking, you know, I've been all bent for days and then I get home <laughs> I take like three shits in a row in the morning yeah I mean yeah because TMI yeah like TMI <laughs> you know, you know, my, my bathroom habits that as soon as I get home I'm sitting there just the first day I'm home it's like I'm taking multiple dumps and then the <laughs> next morning even if I'm home a couple nights three nights whatever it's the same. second night same thing four o'clock in the morning I got a turtle turtle <laughs> he's head. got like a week's worth pray dog in it at four in the morning. Yeah, I'm full of shit. Damn, that cake still looks good. Yeah, like I'll get up like four in the morning, take a dump. Four forty-five. Oh, I gotta take another dump. Yeah. Five fifteen, five thirty, take another dump. And, I'm and like, then Dude. I'm like, and then I'm like, I'm why are just... you sleeping till noon? He's yeah, like, and then I was I... up all fucking morning shitting. <laughs> yeah, it's like I got a few hours in there where I lost out on sleep. Or she's rolling over in bed going, "What are you doing? I'm just sitting there getting dressed and gonna go make coffee and shit because." Dude, the phone's far away, and my my eyesight's bad enough. He says, you need lots of fiber. I eat lots of peanuts, but I thought it said I eat lots of penis. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Only Selena. <laughs> it's funny, Leo. Neo. I miss you guys. We talk about real shit. <laughs> like, literally, shit. Yeah. Banana-sized turds. Yeah, it, yeah it, always, it always turns into this thing, like, when I'm on the road, I get all, all fucking stiffened up, and then. Yeah, I, I, was home, dude. I was worried because usually, okay, so a no, more TMI. Like when we were out on the road before, something happened. Being out on the road or whatever. I think it's when I had to start taking my my medication for my blood clots or whatever. But I would get emergency shits. Like I can't hold him. Like he, 
Like we had a famous fucking exit in Nebraska. Like it was like exit clockwork. 42. Yeah, it was like clockwork. On 80 going into Nebraska, heading for Sydney. <laughs> it's like as soon as we crossed in Nebraska, it's like a dead zone for a little bit. You yeah. go past that first rest stop when you get in Nebraska out of Wyoming. Yeah. And we're going, but then Sydney is only 20 miles away. Yeah. But and, I, but it was but like she now. would get the meat sweats. She'd be sitting there going, "Oh my God, I gotta I'm take a shower." I'm holding the handle. I'm she's holding the handle, and she's like, "Oh!" And I'm like, "Can you make it? Can you make it?" She's like, "No, I can't make it." And we literally, <laughs> and while we're running time, FedEx back yeah. in 2018. Yeah, it was like every day. Every time we went by this exit, I'd have to pull off at exit like 42, 43, something like that. And <laughs> Sydney was exit 59. If you could hold on for just like 15 more minutes, yeah, you'll be no. <laughs> in Sydney, and you can just go to the bathroom. Yeah, Coney Island. Yeah, they, yeah. And she's like, no, I can't make it. And I'm like, all right, and I go veer off. And the number of times we went to that exact exit, like it had to be at least... A couple times a week. Yeah, we it was like, it happened like a day. half a dozen times or something where she literally would pull off and she'd be grabbing wipes and paper towels and shit and jumping out of the truck and well, shit like... out in the middle of the fucking Nebraska goddamn weeds. And there was like a farm right there too. I yeah. remember, like you could look across, and there was a farm. Yeah, there was like hopefully a... nobody's coming. And she's out there squatting in the weeds, taking a dump. <laughs> and I just but like, I just I, stay in the truck. I just look in the mirror, and be all, uh huh. But I, my, my, I was clockwork. It was every single day, and I had the rest area right after uh, the Loves there in Nebraska too. When you come out of the Loves and you go in east on the eighty. And then there's the uh, the scale, and then there's a rest area right after it. Where? In Nebraska on the 80, when we stopped at Loves and I would get Subway every day. Oh yeah, we get Subway. And then and by the time we got rest to that area, rest area, past that, yeah, by like time I hit miles, that rest area, I had she's to go. Like, oh, I got to shit again. And, and then like, usually I was God, driving, dude. I'm like. Oh. <laughs> That's why we switch. I was like, I gotta, I gotta take a dump. Oh my God. That's Subway. Like she, like said, <laughs> she had meat sweats, man. <laughs> She's all about the earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give them back. Yeah. Fertilizing, mulching your, I'm mulching your weeds. Yeah, but yeah, he, I was worried about coming back out, you know, because I was like, oh man, what if that happens <laughs> again, you know? And, but you must he, fart a lot because <laughs> you're not shitting? Actually, no. Mm -mm. Like, no, because we try to eat halfway decent. Yeah, I try to, I try to lay, I, I really try to stay away from fast food. I try to go to like, diners and get real food you know or if i find chinese food or something light you know things like that but in the morning take yeah two yeah i mean regular is good but yeah I mean, apple cider vinegar i know that's a, a good antioxidant yeah, for the system get a bucket with a toilet seat yeah but we're you know we're not camping out here so you know we try to keep it halfway normal <laughs> yeah the apple cider vinegar especially it also helps with diabetes yeah you know that too so Get a bucket with a toilet seat. Eh, I haven't gotten out. I'll shit outside before I get a bucket. Yeah, I went to the doctor and they put me on metformin too. But because they say I'm insulin resistant. Yeah, it's like pre diabetes. No, it's not. She said it. Is she, I, because I asked her and she said it wasn't. I'm just at the high level of normal. And, but my A1C is still super low and all that other stuff. And then they tested my thyroid, and my thyroid is super low, so they put me on that, and I'm starting to lose a little bit of weight. Have we found a good food spot so far out on the road? Not this time, but, well, the Armadillo Grill on the 287. Yeah, the 287 in Texas, in Bowie, Texas. Yeah, the Armadillo Grill. They got Armadillo a, Grill, man. They got they, a mean they burger. Make, they make burgers that kick your dick back. You could shit in a Walmart bag. Yeah, it's Yeah, but you like know. I said, I'll Yeah. I'll find a way to Yeah, I'll If I'll, it was that bad for me. I'll, I'll do an I'll, off ramp before I shit in the truck. Yeah, right. <laughs> or roll down a window. I don't want to be that wife. Where he's like, ugh. Her? Ugh. <laughs> like dirty old mud butt over there now. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> No, it's One of the downfalls to trucking, I suppose. It really is a shit bag, yo. What is up? What's up with William Worthington anymore, anyways? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I... Is he still beating his wife down there in Florida? I, <laughs> he he got mad at us oh, yeah, some time back because we oh, yeah, took because away we, his wrench. Well, yeah, because he was fucking... they stopped watching us and shit. Because he was shit. blocking everybody. He wasn't just putting them in timeout. He was blocking them. I had to go through. I had to... Literally, I unblocked like 30 people. 
Yeah, the Armadillo Grill is really good. Yeah, it's in Bowie, Texas. It's at the, there's a, it's like just north of uh, Bowie, the truck stop out there in the middle of nothing. Yeah, you'll see it. It says Armadillo Grill <clears throat> on the little signs for the exit. But yeah, Armadillo Grill, they got a 24-hour little food thing in there that they make burgers and breakfast burritos and yeah. whatnot. Well, and then like, I think they make salads and stuff yeah. too, but, but the it's like burgers you... are bomb. I go. I always get a bacon cheeseburger as long as they cook the patty right. The yeah, last I, time we, I took her in there, and the chick kind of overcooked the patty and stuff. But she was busy. Yeah, she was busy doing other stuff though. Yeah, she because the like patties. their little, their Usually little cooler area where you buy the pre-made sandwiches. Yeah, I get a bacon cheeseburger, and when they cook the patty right, like a medium, yeah, you know, it's, it's super greasy and juicy. It's fucking good. Yeah, and French fries and shit are good. Yeah, she was super busy doing other shit though. She even burnt the tater tots. <laughs> He is like this. Have you tried yeah. Corona? F familiar, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. No, no. I haven't tried com Corona Familiar. I've it's tried. It's kind of like getting a Coors Banquet. Yeah, Coors Banquet's all right. I'm saying as far as like, yeah, the, the degrees of their beer, Corona Extra, the Corona f Familiar. familiar. It's probably yeah. more towards it's, Modelo. Uh, I drank it. And I was like, man, you know, yeah. these are a little smoother. Yeah, I like these. These I can drink without lime. Modelo's, I need a little bit of lime. And, uh, I tried. Uh, he's talking about the Armadillo Grill. Oh, yeah, no, they're open 24 hours. I asked the last time I was in there, I was, I was actually shocked that they don't close down at night because most places yeah, close sure. down at night. Yeah anymore but yeah, they, oh, yeah. they said it's no like, we're 24 hours yeah and it's like we've noticed some of these things where people aren't working we went and we stopped at an all subs was it all subs yeah yeah and we were we went to go to go in to go to the bathroom and everything and, and the uh, store was closed mule shoe mule, mule shoe texas mostly all subs in texas are all 24 hours and i've noticed one in friona has been closed down at night yeah it's like and then it says it's open it says it's open 24 hours and we walked up to the door it's all dark inside and had a sign a handwritten sign on the door saying closed no employees or something yeah nobody wants to work the hell if you want to work the uh, night shit. shift at an all subs go in there and demand more money and solve work yeah shit man if i could live off a 1200 dollars a year fucking stimmy i fucking wouldn't work either but uh you know that don't even cover a quarter of my month's bills i don't know where these people are fucking living <laughs> Watching fireworks, I don't know about that. We're in Boise. Well, no, 4th of July, we're going to be headed, we're going to be in Seattle. Oh, yeah, we're heading for Washington. What's up, we, Kentucky? Yeah, we'll be, what, in, where, where's that at? That On the way to Seattle? Is that a town? The TA? Is that we're going to stay at? Yeah, the TA just up on the 90 in uh, so, North Bend. North Bend. So there probably won't be any fireworks. Yeah, we'll probably be in North Bend that night, over by Seattle. Gonna reserve my spot because we'll get loaded in Nampa, yeah. and we got haul ass. And it's almost 500 miles. We we'll go to North Bend, probably stage there, drop down in the morning, because what's our first drop at? Seven. Seven. Yeah. So it'll be on the fifth. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about there, shitbag. Boise with the Idaho white, white I, I don't know, people. Don't know nothing about that. Oh, there's some militia group up here or something like that. Low doses has shown to actually extend lifespan. I don't know, probably some Joe, Joe Rogan Port stuff. <laughs> Joe Rogan stuff. Yeah. But, uh, no, metformin, I mean, I'm, metformin is a really old drug. Yeah. And it's shown to have a lot of different benefits. And yeah, stuff I, like I'm that. on a really low dose, and then the doctor also told me to take a supplement from the herb you know the supplement store the vitamin store or whatever called berberine and you take it three times a day and it has the same effect as it, it does the same things for you that metformin does but it also has stuff that's like heart healthy and it has stuff in it for your gut you know the healthy gut stuff and all that stuff yeah we arrange your guts <laughs> what's up stan so what i haven't up? called you back man I saw you called one day, and then we got out and got running. Yeah, you got to give it a few days, call uh, back. He's... No, it's been like two weeks. Oh. He called a couple weeks ago, literally. <laughs> I didn't call him back. I'm a dick. Like... Well, a lot of times he's busy when people call. That's, I don't even, when 
when I was still staying at home, was like I didn't even call him all day. I just would leave him alone. I wouldn't text him, nothing. Just leave him alone all day because he's busy until he shuts down. Have a quick question. Been hearing there are a lot of substandard fuels going out. And has anybody noticed the smell of gasoline when they fill their tanks? No? No. We've been I haven't filling, noticed that either. We've been filling diesel, so I don't know. Well, it's saying that do you smell gas in the diesel? Oh. I, you can't do that, though. It'll ruin the motor. So... I'm leaving back out of Spokane tonight. I was supposed to be sleeping. Thought I'd jump on and say, Howdy. Oh, well, howdy. Jump on side. What's up? Have a happy fourth day. Guess you're dipping out here. Yeah. Have a good one, man. Have a good yeah. holiday. Yep, yeah. have a good holiday. 24 hour food is so good for truckers. Post beer flu. flu. Yeah, post beer flu. Yeah. Yeah. When you know, it's like he. Like, we found it's almost cheaper for the two of us to go to a, a restaurant and eat during the day than it is to just get fast food at the truck stops. Because he stopped at Taco Bell, got two bean burritos, two soft tacos, or two crunchy tacos, and a drink, and it was $18 just for him. But you can go sit down at a meal for the two of us, and it's like 25 or 30 bucks. So it's like, it's cheaper. Yeah, and you get actually whole food. Real food. For the most part. I, I always like going to mom and pop cafes anyways. Yeah, they taste better anyways. It's better food. And then you get one big meal. And then the rest of your day is kind of edged off. You're not spending as much on, you know, if you get small shit throughout the day and everything, you actually put out more money. So yeah. it's almost like I just want to eat one big meal. And then snack on some shit in the snack truck. snack on some shit in the truck. Because we've got the fridge and everything. Yeah. We carry sodas in the truck. we got snack foods and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, we got so. oatmeal and Vienna sausages and all that shit. What up, Andre? What's up? We got a cord? I'm gonna plug that one in. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Oh, there's no plug over here. I don't think, no. What punch? The, the plug is on this, so. Uh. uh. Oh, you know what? I got it. I got this, yo. If you find a good lunch place, I get food to go for dinner. Yeah. You, we keep leftovers and stuff. Like I said, we got a fridge too, so if we do order any food and it's worth keeping, then we, we take leftovers with us and I stuff. I got a motherfucking extension cord. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. There's a <laughs> plug right here too. There's a wall plug over here. Is it empty? Yeah. Oh. Well. Alright. Well, we can do that then. <laughs> Are we missing champagne? Mm, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, I like it was Illinois, so you got your own obstacles of living in Illinois. But overall, living in Champaign was really nice. Yeah, it was a, we had a we had a decent place, good neighborhood. Yeah, if it wasn't for the CDL stuff. Yeah, it's just the only reason we couldn't weren't, weren't going to stay in Champaign was because we couldn't transfer our, C, our CDLs there. Yeah, they were going to make us retake it like we were fresh new drivers. Yeah, like, so that was the that. main reason that we went down to Texas, but. Overall, living in Champagne was super nice and, like, I mean, minor things, you know, as far as being home every day in Champagne. Yeah. That we had Benny's, which was the uh, liquor store, sold my favorite beer, Spotten. Right. <laughs> they had Spotten, 12 packs of Spotten, and they were cheap. And then we had Portillo's right there, too, so we could get Italian beefs and hot dogs and all that stuff, which we love Chicago-style food. I guess the only, the only thing they didn't have there was a Chicago-style pizza place. Yeah, but they had Portillo's, so that. They had Portillo's. So that works. I like it, Portillo's better. Jets Pizza. Yeah, Jets. Jets Pizza was really good. Except for it was real good price. It was like almost it, $60 every time. Yeah, we had to pay like 50 bucks for yeah. pizza. What was the other one the Detroit-style? Was it Jets? Yeah. What was the other one we get? Monocles. Monocles, yeah. Monocles was good, too. I had Jets was better. Yeah. For the, it was the same price, and Jets was better. Give me a beer. Yeah. I was already on it. Sensuous up. I'm, Sensuous. I'm a, I'm a good wife. I was already on it. Oh shit, we're almost out of beer. What? We only got five beers left. Oh shit. Somebody got to take a walk. Yeah, be taking a walk here after a little bit. Huh? <laughs> hey, the sun's still out. We're almost out of beer. Right, yeah. No bueno, man. I mean, I might be able to keep everybody happy for 10 minutes. I don't know. 
Gray AB5 is here. Eh. I mean, there's two sides that if you live in California right now and you're leased onto a carrier, you're not. Oh, well, F you, Stanley. I haven't yeah, got a chance. I haven't hell, got man? a chance to get up there since I got back in the truck. Keep coming up here to Washington, which is good because I love Washington. And it's so beautiful, especially when you get over towards Seattle. But like Chicago beer, old style, yeah. It's trucking with Selena at gmail.com. I was actually buying some old style for a while while we're in Champagne, but you couldn't find out too. Old style actually isn't brewed in Chicago; it's from Milwaukee. <laughs> Which is a bummer. Yeah, if you go back in the videos with looking at Old School Dad, he was drinking. Yeah, I made a couple of videos, Old School Dad, which Stan said weren't funny. <laughs> those actually those weren't that funny. Thanks, Stan. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be a, a comedy genius. and uh, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Old Style Beer tasted a lot like uh, the typical Milwaukee beers. You know, if you go back and... I don't know. Yeah, there's Portillas in Florida and Phoenix, you yeah, know, where the snow, all the snowbirds go from yeah, Illinois. Sure. So they opened some up out that way, too. Yeah, Portillos. Yes, we know. Maybe in Dallas. Um, I think it was mainly just Florida and, and Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, but yeah, Portillos. And, and then in the upper Midwest, of course, Chicago had Portillos, down Champaign. Indianapolis, I think, had it, and some other places around the Rust Belt, right there. But yeah, like Portillo's is good. I liked the meat at Duke's in Chicago. Super soft. Yeah, it was super soft. And then and Johnny's like, beef. It's super shaved. Yeah, I yeah. haven't had. I haven't had Johnny's beef. I had. Did I take you to Johnny's beef? No, you took Sam. Okay. Anyway, Johnny's beef. I think beef, we were trying to, but we couldn't. Yeah, we were trying to get over there. Yeah. Johnny's beef on the west side. I think in Elmwood Park. In Chicago. Didn't when you took Sam, you have to park in the middle lane or whatever? No, no, no. I parked across the street at a, uh, it was like a Rite Aid or something like that. Yeah. But I was bobtailing, oh, so I was yeah. able to go there. Yeah. Johnny's Beef is a beef stand with outside seating, with mm. picnic tables and stuff. And yeah, I took Sam there. I think, I don't know, I've been there a few times. Yeah, it's like. I think I went there once by myself, and then yeah, maybe I, I took Sam a couple times. I like, the, I like the beef at Duke's, but. Uh, Pertillo's has really good Jardiner. Yeah, well, Duke's didn't have Jardiner. Yeah, they didn't have Jardiner. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? How do you not have Jardiner on Italian beef? What yeah. the hell? Like, we'll dip like, it we and put cheese on it. We yeah, don't do like, the well, peppers. we dip it and everything. We've got pepper, like bell peppers. I'm like, what? You don't have Jardiner? <laughs> yeah. And you call yourself a beef stand? I mean, but yeah, it was like. Yeah, but the meat was really good. Like, super flavorful. It was like super, like. Super shredded, like almost just like little bits. Well, it was it was shaved super thin, and it was also super soft. They mm -hmm. they cooked, cooked the shit the out shit of, of stuff, it, yeah. but it was so soft. Yeah. And we were sitting there eating those sandwiches. I mean, we had the old video of it. Yeah. We're there, but it, like you bit into it, and the beef just, you just sunk right through it like butter. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah, but I like jardiner. I like I like eating the cauliflower out of it. Cauliflower and the carrots are really good in the jardiner. I like eating the nuts out of your butt. <laughs> well, I'll be sure it to eat like more butt. <laughs> I'll be sure to eat more nuts. <laughs> That's some spicy jardiner. No, no Bud Light Premium. What the hell? Real beer? Are you, are you crazy? Some now, everything's beer. If you want real beer, go get a spot. Mm -hmm. Right? I want to go beer that. Russell's Barbecue, where is that at? Chicago? I don't know, the best barbecue place that we had was in Auburn, Florida. Trying to lay some pipe, but the wife has a bad back. What should I do? <laughs> Tell her to ride you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, fuck her face. I, yeah. I don't know what. <laughs> What's up, Wayne's World? What up, bro? But yeah, was, uh, Where you at tonight? What the hell is... Are you seriously switching up? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. She does a party foul every time. Look at all the beer she leaves in her bottles. It's gross. It's you warm. You know how much money wasted that is? It's like... Oh, Kansas. 
What? No, Russell's Barbecue? No, back in Winthrop. I asked it, him, I asked, in Kansas? Yeah, I asked him where he was. <laughs> Fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say, where's Russell's Barbecue at? That's alcohol abuse, yeah. yeah. No shit. Major party fell. <laughs> now she's mad, damn. <laughs> I'm not mad. Well, she... <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm just saying. She always does that where she leaves. I always do. She leaves that little bit of spit in the goddamn <laughs> bottom of every beer she drinks. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, like, I dude, guess. How much beer do you waste? Oh, probably a ton. I don't care. <laughs> oh, he's been doing the peanut turn around. Now they keep trying to do it, trying to put us on milk. Milk ain't working, so. Yeah, which now. She was talking to the boss man yesterday and that milk is finally coming back online, that he's secured the milk runs to do about 600,000 miles a month. That's a lot of miles. And he's got like 20 trucks running milk, which means that's 30,000 miles a month running milk per (laughs) truck. Yeah. Gonna need more trucks. Yeah. Anyway, I was talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is beer, right? Yeah. Beer. Beer. If you want real beer, I'm sorry. Just you know, call my opinion. Bud Light ain't beer. No. You got to get beer, real beer. Yeah, that's what she told us too. Until like mid month. Oh. Wayne. Oh, he works with us. Yeah, he works at Wayne's World. He works. Uh, he works with us. At... He's got I, that, I didn't even know. He's got that big dog that is not allowed in the office because uh, his dog and um, Dolly fight. I don't know. I mean, that's why dogs aren't allowed in the office anymore, I guess? Yeah. Be anyway, if you want beer, get Budweiser, Corona, whatever. If you want real beer, the good beer. Oh, Brown Wayne? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you work with us, though. <laughs> you came to work at, uh, because you knew of us, right? A wheezy in a way. I don't remember. But you came to work with us because of our channel, right? Baltic something? Oh, Baltica. That's a Russian beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, he came... He came to work at where we work because of us. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew the downturn in the economy was going to happen like this? Please don't hold it against me. I even said that a long time ago. I don't like promoting companies we work at very much because everybody has their own thing. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a guy that somebody I went comes to... over, it don't work out. Yeah, you know. it's like sorry, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's like I mean, it's worked out for us. I mean, Colin is a great dude. I mean. For every place that we've been, this is probably one of the best places, I would say. Yeah. Our, the owner, Colin, is a great dude. Small company. Helps you out. He'll he'll bend over backwards to help you out and shit. <laughs> Wayne's World Dogs love peanut butter. I wonder why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it, he, he's great. I, I swear to... He's like, he's like the best one we've worked for. Now, granted, it can be said while we had our contracts at Landstar, we made the most money at Landstar so far. The truck that we bought was a nightmare. Well, yeah, we find we would have made great money if the truck had been running. Yeah, well, yeah, we that that had nothing to do with the company. It was a thing of the truck kept breaking down. We lost so much in this past year, so well, now we're and then Landstar let us go for parking on a dead end street in front of our own house. Yeah. So Stupid. you know, fuck all that, you know. I, I like where we're at. Yeah, I just, I like this smaller company. Yeah. You got to deal with all the bullshit. You know, something comes up with the boss calling. Yeah. It's like, we don't get phone calls about, what are you doing with this? What yeah. are you doing? It's like nothing. It's like, yeah. there's and no I, rules. He doesn't give a shit. Go out and do your stuff. Yeah. When it's like, I like working, I like that I worked in the office for six months because now they got some new chick in there fucking with the logs or whatever. And because we're driving team, and our dash link doesn't like to connect, so we have to do everything fucking manually. 
this chick took it upon herself to just go auto assign all this drive time. Put it all on me. Put it all on him, and it was my drive time. So it put him like in like he said he was. I had like two or three days of total red drive time in the yeah, e logs for like two days. I was in violation for like three days, and it was yeah. actually her drive time. Yeah, it was my drive time, and so I fucking just call up the boss man. I'm like, hey, I don't know what chick you got in here fucking working, but tell her to leave our logs alone because I got this. And because I worked in the office for six months, he's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll tell her to fucking quit, to leave your shit alone. So Andre Trucker is saying it's looking like freight is going to get worse yet. There's, yeah. I mean, okay, there's two ways this could go. A lot of people fail yeah. and go out of business. Yeah. Tom and Isha, I'm the new log police. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, <laughs> there's a lot of people who go out of business, you know, owner ops and stuff like that. A lot of people leave trucking because it's bad. They're sitting around too much and not making any money. I'm going home. That could help. A lot of drivers drop out of the market, bring up demand for trucks, you know, more truck time and stuff like that. It could help. But on the other end, if there's not as much freight to run, period, then it's like, what do you do? Yeah. You know? I still hate that douchebag turns you in. Well, yeah, well, then when he was working at Walmart. Yeah, fucking bull dyke that turned <laughs> us in. Yeah. Well, I, he was working with the daughter, and it was some chick that lived across the street was a fucking DOT officer. Yeah, it was so funny how that Her comes mom around. Was a DOT yeah, you officer. talk about how the world works. That after we got let go from Landstar, I just wanted something. We had plenty of money in the bank at the time. We didn't even have to go back to work. But I, I I'm going to get a job. Yeah, just to put I, a finger in the dam, just to yeah, keep it from going down. Just to, maybe to help. And I went down to the local Walmart and got that job there in Champaign. Yeah, at the pickup at, at a Walmart. At the grocery pickup. Doing area. their grocery shit, where you take the groceries out to people's cars, you know, for whatever. Well, a chick working back there, she was like 19 years old or something like yeah. that. And we got to talking one day. I go, yeah, because I live over here at this place. And she was saying, yeah, my mom lives right there. And I'm like, okay. She goes, yeah, she's a DOT officer. I'm like, oh, that's the bitch. I said, really? Because <laughs> it was a DOT officer that lives on that street that turned us in. Yeah. Yeah, and come to find out it was because the neighbors were bitching, like, hey, what about this truck? It was, like, only there for two days. We just were, didn't, we needed to figure out a place to put it, but she fucking took pictures of it and sent it in. I'm back to Prime Logistics and trying to bring down my operating costs. I mean, Prime has a huge freight base, and if you're an owner-op, not an actual employee of Prime, you can pick loads off of Prime's load board because they have their separate load board for owner ops too and Prime could actually pay some decent rates if you're now I could say about Prime their shit. they have exceptional facilities I love yeah, going the terminals are great the equipment's good all that I kind love, of stuff I love going to low fuel prices because you could go in the restaurant and you could just swipe it and it would come off of your settlement you, they had the whole store and they had really nice clothes we still have our sweatshirts from prime because those sweatshirts man super durable super durable thick thick now like, he's saying though he's an owner op and he goes with prime logistics which right is he the, has his own authority he yeah, can pull prime loads the, you get the load signed up with loads. them on their on their site because yeah. they have their own load board and then i don't know if you work with prime logistics do you pull their trailers still even though you're an owner it's like power only deal That'd be the other thing too, because Prime has a huge freight base. Yeah. And you get owner op wages, you don't get their lease op wages. Yeah, you don't get Where they their... get the white sheet, they cut the rate in half and then give it to Prime drivers. Well yeah, it you would have would to be actually better. you would actually see the full Because rate. RST was paying out because they were getting all the stuff off the logistics. So they were getting yeah, the white they sheet. They were getting better rates. Yeah. Well no no no. He took they were a preferred prime carrier or whatever it was. Yeah, prime so they were getting was the original. They were, well, no, they were getting the rate, but they wouldn't cut it to 72% like Prime did. You get the full rate and you only paid RST a fee every week for their... Yeah, oh yeah, they sent us a bill when we left too saying we owed them for like tired. 1300 bucks. Like 1300 bucks or whatever. And it's like, like, fuck you. Yeah, whatever. you know, and, and guess what? It will never haunt you unless you go back to Prime and then they'll take it out of your next settlement. <laughs> yeah, because it's not even a legitimate expense. Yeah. It's all bullshit. They just, they, if you work with Prime, say you're a lease purchase driver with Prime, and you leave and you turn your truck in, they're going to nail you with a bill no matter what. Yeah. 
And it's only if you come back that you ever have to pay. Yeah, you never even touch it. it. It doesn't come on your credit or not. It never follows you around. Only if you go back to Prime, they'll collect. That's it. Just like when we left Landstore the first time, we had a bill. And then we came back. They took it out of the first settlement. Yeah. No, that's Andre, dude, though. He's an owner up. Yeah. But he's on Prime Logistics, which yeah. you get your own MC. You just send them your carrier packet, and you get in with them. Yeah. You still pull their trailers, but you get a better rate. So this guy trucking every day met us in the driver's lounge in Florida? I don't remember. There is no driver's lounge in Florida. Well, it's the picnic tables outside and all that when we had to go there well, for orientation. Well, that dude pig. Was it? Was oh, it? at Landstar. At Landstar, yeah. Oh, in Florida. Nice yeah, oh yeah, so yeah. We met a guy outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Uh, yeah, we met somebody. It's been, it's, <laughs> yeah, sorry, we met somebody. <laughs> it's, it's been a few years. I'm yeah. sorry. Can't put a face to it. But before we landed in Orlando, uh, and saw tons of ships stranded waiting to make port in Jacksonville. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because now they're there, and it's going to take a while for them to be. Well, just like all the food plants are getting burned down and everything. You'll see uh, ships sitting outside of ports from now on, and they'll start getting scuttled. Oh, hey, Shannon and Kelly. Oh, it's Shannon and Kelly. Kathy. Sorry. Oh, I, my shit. glasses suck, and I've had a few beers, so I saw Kelly and not Kathy. Well, we know them. Yeah, we know them, yeah. Yeah, because you guys had your truck, and, and then they ended you got up. rid of it, and you went to that Florida rock place, Paul and Fuel. Well, and then they went to the one dude. What's the one dude that was... He well, up. yeah, that's originally... He went to uh, Life is Good. Yeah, Life is Good. Ter <laughs> What's his name? I don't I even his know. Name, no. yeah, that was all. <laughs> yeah, that was that fucking was all bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Andre was with us in 2016. Wow. Dang him. Wow. <laughs> Were you watching when I was doing the simulator? And as soon as I went to check my mirror, fucking the guy's like, watch this, watch this. And he had a deer, a deer, out, in front deer of out in front of me and I hit the deer. Hit deer <laughs> failed your simulation. And I was shit. like, no. And he's like, no, you didn't fail. I was just fucking with you. <laughs> Sold your truck for huge money. Sweet. Good. Yeah, good. Now you guys are owner ops again, right? Because I remember you saying when you went over to like the Florida rock place or something like that, that... Like, we'll never be owner ops again. But you bought another it's truck, huge. right? <laughs> huge. It's huge. <laughs> See, I remember details. It's like, yeah, it's like, I'm so we, stupid about why do I remember minute details of things oh yeah, he across the board? Of, wait, it's of funny. All kinds of stupid so stuff. He can remember like all these drops we've done over the last seven years at places. But then there's one, and I don't remember shit. But then there would be one I remember, and I can explain it to him in detail, and he's like, what? I know huh? what you're talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> like we were talking about last night when we were with Drake doing the grocery drops up in Champagne, And I'm like, there's this one, and it was like this super hard one to back into, and it was like, there's no way, you know, it's like, because he had a hard time with it, and he's like a super fucking good truck driver, like, come back in with like all kinds of shit. And he doesn't think so, I'm but... A rookie. Yeah, uh-huh. But, like, he came back into shit, and it was like, it didn't even look like a truck fit there. And this one was, like, one of the one, like, one of maybe the top five of the hardest places we've ever been. And he, I was describing, describing, describing. I couldn't remember the town, and he couldn't remember for shit. And then I finally remembered the town. And he's like, oh, yeah, I remember that one. But it's just funny, because he remembers, yeah, like, Google every stop it. ever. I Google mapped it, showed her. She's like, yeah, that's the one. There was this one little tiny dock with balls on both sides of it. And there was a dock directly in front of it, and you had to like blindside into it and all this shit. I'd even have to slide my tandem sometimes just so you could. Yes, make Wouldn't drag your DOT bar on the wall and shit. Dropping the. Dropping the. Yeah, make sure in our videos, make sure you go down below and buy some T-shirts. I really gotta yeah. get. I really gotta get in there and make some new designs. Well, I was gonna. Okay, Asia Mai. Anybody mm -hmm. watches Asia Mai? Asia Mai trucking. Oh, but you but but before you get on that. Oh. So Shannon Kelly bought their truck for thirty grand, sold it for ninety. Damn. I wish. Well, they, well, their truck. They, they had went, a KW. They went. Well, yeah, they went to OTR leasing first, didn't they? 
I don't know. Didn't they do the same thing we yeah, did? Yeah, yeah, they kind of followed behind us. And but got, instead of going to Trump... They got rid of that truck, maybe they bought another one, and yeah. that's what happened? Good for you, dude. Fuck. 60 grand out of that deal? Asian Mind's a clip at King. No, he has some really good information. He, he's informational. Yeah. You know, he's got some good stuff to put out. Yeah. I mean, they're maybe not all winners, but... But I saw yes, yesterday, last night, we were in Twin Falls, Idaho, and there's a t-shirt spindle thing with all the t-shirts in the racks and stuff all truck these trucking truck. t-shirts and stuff and there was a mother trucker t-shirt in it and i was like huh so i went on his site and sure as shit and i started wondering did he hey man asian my is a joke he's got three hundred and twenty thousand subs yeah left that he to does, the bank. yeah left that all the way to the bank dude he's making fucking money over money yeah he's into other shit he doesn't have to drive truck anymore yeah, he's sitting there doing what you think is a joke instead of a job. So he's not a real trucker or something like that. Yeah. He's like, yeah, while well, he's cashing checks, dude. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he doesn't have to drive truck anymore. I wish I didn't have to drive truck mm -hmm. anymore. It's like, what do you? But doing? yeah, so we we messaged him and whatever, and he says his shirt's in like 170 truck stops. 170 truck stops. He's got his apparel in 170 truck stops around the country. But he had a mother trucker, mother trucker. Yeah, mother trucker forever like he made it up yeah but you know what maybe he didn't make it up but he capitalized on it yeah he's the one you don't he's, have he's to reinvent the wheel you just have to invent another yeah, way to sell it i've said that forever you <laughs> don't have to reinvent the wheel to make money yeah you know it's find a way find your niche and do it's it. like i swear to god when i was a kid i said hella all the time and now everyone's like always says hella this and hella that and everything and i swear to god i'm like the first one that came up to it come up come up with it and they're like oh that's a california thing i was like guess where i'm from motherfucker california so maybe you heard it from me and you know and then they they heard it from someone else and blah 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 you know it's like well the first time <laughs> the first time i heard <laughs> the, the, the slang hella like oh that's so hella cool that's, hella. that's hella weak that's hella. or something like hella yeah. hella hella was I grew up in Southern California, surfer kid down in Orange County and shit. Oh. I I gotta take this real quick. Put on speaker. So that Walter well, probably just got home from yeah, school. Yeah. What's up? Huh. Oh yeah, you can switch rooms if you want. Alright. You'll just have to make sure that you get some extra carpet squares to put over the cord when you move your internet cord across the hallway so the dogs don't screw it up. Alright. Okay, yeah, don't worry, just make sure you clean up that other room. Alright. Are you just going to keep the bed that's in there, or are you going to put your bed in there? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll just have to... <laughs> Oh. Just make sure you have a blanket or whatever so that you can throw, toss in front of your door at night. Uh -huh. Like when we come home, you know what I mean? Yeah, no worries. Okay. Bye. He's all, yeah, just letting you know, even though he asked permission, he's moving his bedroom to the front bedroom. <laughs> yeah, smash that like button, guys. God. So you only got 23k for you? No, we, uh... Well, after it was paid off, yeah. Yeah, we'll get probably about 23k profit out of it. So, Jeremy, you're getting a lot of gray in that beard. It's always been gray. Yeah, it's, it's been, been gray for years. It's, it's just thicker right now. Yeah. What? Oh. Ooh, Ooh fancy. fancy. Is he going to start working on his streaming? Yeah. So Asian Mai apparently has a hot old lady. Yeah. What about her? Yeah, what about me? God. My ears are sticking out tonight. You, you look like Yukon. <laughs> it's the angle of the angle. <laughs> uh, if I take my hat off, does that help? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a unanimous no. Nope. nope. <laughs> Monkey ears. Yeah. Dumbo. I'm a hot old lady. <laughs> See yourself in there. It had a million miles on it. And a million miles. That's... Wow. Well, it's like our first truck we had that we gave back to OTR when we're like, we can't do it when, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, when COVID, COVID hit. COVID was shutting us down. And, you know, and they were like, ah. Oh. And then we saw it back up for sale. What was it on OTR site? For 11,000 bucks. For 11,000 bucks. And we were still going to have to pay like another 30 for it before yeah, it was, I was paid like, off. What if I just turned around and bought, bought it back it for 11,000 11, <laughs> bucks? Yeah. Hi, Mike. But that truck was heading on a million miles at the time, too. I was like, nah. Yeah. I mean, it had a new one box, but it was getting I mean, ready. We did all the maintenance on it, so we know it was a decent truck. Yeah. But it was getting long in the tooth, especially yeah. for a 2015. It was going to need a rebuild, and it was it was going to get ready to cost us a lot. I mean, it, it probably would have done us better. We'd probably still be running it now, but barely. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it wouldn't have cost us as much. I added up all the bills, so when we were going to put the truck up for sale I got all of our bills together or all of the receipts together for all the repairs we did on this new white truck we have thirty six thousand dollars in repairs we paid, thirty six thousand we put in that damn truck we paid more on repairs than we did for the truck what does that tell you yeah You can get an awesome rebuild for 28k. You can just go buy a new one for 28k now too. Yep. Colin just bought a 07 Class XL. I went and got in D Moss. I was really shocked how decent condition it's in. Huh. Well, I guess we're gonna have to give him a call. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, sell me that goddamn classic. Yeah. <laughs> Taco, Taco Punch me. <laughs> Give you a nugget punch. <laughs> Would it be better to get a new truck? Well, in a perfect world, yeah, but look at the market right now. Yeah. New trucks are 250, 300,000 bucks. Like, screw that. Yeah, dude. fuck that, dude. Go get an RV and a pickup and a fucking job at Taco Bell. Or rates down again. Ah, they're. Yeah, they're, float, they're floating in the middle, but they're not good. They're not good. They're not good because fuel, the, where the rates are at right now, the fuel wasn't so high. If fuel was back down around yeah, two fifty three right. bucks a gallon, we'd be all right. But fuel is six dollars plus a gallon everywhere and stuff. It's like we're going into the Northwest right now, six fifty a gallon. If we got to get any fuel, we're screwed. I just fueled up here. It was six oh five. But Boise. last, but when we were here a week and a half ago, six twenty. Six twenty. So. But I mean, they say the prices are still going to go up, but for now they've came down at least 15 cents. Yeah, because we got from... Yes, I am back in the truck full time. We picked this load up in Rome, Texas, going to Cald Salt Lake and Caldwell, and we got 6400 bucks for it. I didn't do the miles on it. Um, it's probably 350 4 bucks a mile. Then we're getting a load right here out of Nampa going to Seattle on three drops in one day, but that's five bucks. That's five bucks a mile. I already did the math on that. And if it gets a load of cherries going back down to Dallas, it might pay decent. It might be like three fifty four four bucks a mile or something like that. But what's up, Banjo? Lives in Nampa. So you pay about 60K a year in lease payments. Yeah, they're steep. The lease payments, but we have zero maintenance. So, I mean... Zero maintenance, heavy truck payment. Truck breaks down, we get another truck one. Truck breaks down, we get zero cost. So you make the truck payment with no maintenance. And no downtime because it's just. No downtime because Ryder gives you another truck immediately if it's going to be a major repair and you're going to be down for a while. If we had our own truck and it had to go in the shop, You'd be having to wait. we would wait. But with Ryder, within 48 hours, if it's going to be a major repair, they give you a new truck. So well, even last time it broke, they give them a new truck. And they same, had it same, fixed. Same day. Same day. Oh, and in. his truck was fixed the next day by the next morning. So after he dropped his load, he had to come back and pick it up. My eyes are insane. Insane in the membrane. What are you talking about? <laughs> this 
seem to knock them out right away. Taylor did ask for our room number. Taylor's a dick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> oh my what god, hell, dude. dude. That's so cool. What do we get? <laughs> Did we get the secret surprise pizza? Yeah. The cream of some young guy pizza? Uh, looks like we got like a pepperoni lovers. Well, come on over here and, and show it. Oh. Gotta oh. see the proof. I'm, I'm buzzed a little bit. I don't want to dump it out. Oh, that's good. No, I got it. So we got a pepperoni. A pepperoni. Looks like. Yep. Yum yum. Oh, that's good. Then we got a a brownie. Oh shit. Yeah. Dude. Fucking awesome, dude. Thank Overload. you. <laughs> well, thanks, that's man. That's amazing, dude. To our original oldest fan, actually. With our only. He was the first fan I ever met. And the first one we ever gave our autograph to. And I gave him an autograph, and he said he even kept it. Yeah, said he had it on his wall. That was already over five years ago. Yeah. Yeah, when I was doing the carnivore diet, I was doing the carnivore and I quit drinking. Well, I didn't quit drinking. I quit drinking beer. I was drinking vodka and Crystal Light. But I lost 15 pounds in like three weeks. You know your bottle loves salad? Oof. That's rough. Oops. I realize I've had a forest gun down lock in the industry. I bought a 2002 Volvo in August 2020 for 8500 and started my authority in May 21. Yeah. I mean, well, the yeah, first you can truck, get the, lucky. Yeah, the first truck I bought in 2007, my first truck was a 2000 Volvo 670 with a 12.7 Series 60 Detroit. Great running truck. Those Series 60 Detroits are great motors. If you can, They'll take a beating. And keep on going, man. It's like, yeah. I mean, you can't... can get lucky. We got lucky with our first truck. I mean, the one box went out like at an inopportune moment. Like as soon as we started CHI, it went out, and we're like, fuck, because we we were at our money's end. But luckily, OTR takes two hundred dollars a week towards the maintenance fund, and we had like fifteen thousand in it, so it covered the one box repair. But that was the only major repair we had to do on that truck. I can't believe Taylor bought some pizza. I know, that's amazing. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah, because he emailed and gave him the... Yeah, I gave him the room number and told him a hotel. <laughs> I was thinking I wanted pizza tonight, too. It's like he read my mind. <laughs> no, legit. Taylor is like our OG fam. Yeah. Like, number one. I would totally oh. rent him a room at our house if he wanted to move to Texas. If... There was viable work to do in Texas, and he, yeah, yeah you, you can rent the basement, dude. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, we even got the garage. <laughs> and we have an extra bedroom and a basement, so. Well, Brent's moving into the bigger room We're right in the bigger now. room now, but there's still one for big enough for a bed and your, a dresser and shit. That's amazing, dude. And we fucking love you, Taylor. Oh, Taylor's fucking cool. Yeah. Dude. Zero issues with freight shaker, only regular PM cost. I got lucky and got the manual transmission, and that's all. Yeah, you get a regular, like, I got told this 15 years ago. If you're going to buy a truck, get a 10 speed. Everybody's all kind of, oh, get an 18 speed and all this kind of shit. The owner of Dats Trucking, the owner of Dats Trucking in Hurricane, Utah, the first place I signed my truck on to to haul fuel back in the day, hauling tanker trains. Yes, my... but there were no limes to get. Yeah, we had no lime. Yeah, he checked. But he told me, as far as dependability goes and all that kind of stuff, that get a manual 10-speed transmission, they're bulletproof. You can't fuck those things up. If you yeah. buy a truck, get a 10-speed. I can't. Think. She can fuck it up. No, I, I never fucked it up. All the grinding I did, I never fucked but it up. Always get a 10-speed if you just want no issues. You got a shit ton of limes. I used to be like that. I remember my first beer. Yeah, you know, the thing is, if you're actually going out buying limes, 
We started buying the lime juice. Yeah, the, just the, the lime juice. The little jar of lime juice, like put lemon a couple juice. Drops in there. We just put a few drops in it. Same thing. It's actually better. <laughs> it's actually better, yeah. But then too, if you're on the road, if we just had a bottle of lime juice in the truck, yeah, for when we could we get brought rooms. it in here with us. Yeah, you know, just keep it with you. I have all the different alarm stuff. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, I figured out how to turn off the one of the alarms for him. Oh yeah, the <laughs> rumble strip thing. Oh, I was so pissed. Okay, <laughs> Sushi got on the road with me. We're cruising down the road, right? And you know me. I was like, shut up, truck, all the time because it's, it's in the rumble strip. It's like, every time the lane deviation, and. And he's off, and I, and I just reach over and I hit this button, and he and and he 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 looked at me. He's off. Yeah, I thought it was something having to do with like <laughs> the mirrors, like the mirror defrost or something like that. That you know, this truck I've had it a couple months, but I haven't really figured it out. I guess. Yeah, because. But there was a button on the dash of to temporarily lady. shut off the rumble strip deviation device. Yeah, for like when you go through construction. It, it stays off for like ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but the look on his face, he was like, and then he, he even so tested pissed. it, and he's like, no fucking yeah, I was all way. veering over yeah. at, on the actual rumble strips and stuff, like veering around the lanes. You can put a piece of tape over the sensor. Well, it's a big gray box up in the Oh, if you put it on a windshield outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you probably lose it. I mean, you got to find a way, I guess. I don't know, I just get my wire cutters and just snip the bitch and like I don't but know. But it was just funny because I was driving and like when I take right turns or no left turn, like left curves, I always grab the left lane for some reason, especially like at night. On you the, kind of veer into that. I kind of veer into a little bit, you know, and so I was like, Grr! and I'm looking around, I'm like, what the fuck? And I see this thing, it's got two lines. And it's got a truck sideways, and it's got a line the other way. I thought it was a mirror. And it said, and it said LDW. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Lane deviation warning. Yeah, lane deviation warning. I, I was like, like such a I retard. clicked it, and I fucking tested it. I was like, oh. I felt like such a retard when she did that. <laughs> she hit the button, and it went off, and I'm all, like, the amazement. Of my, I'm like, huh? <laughs> he was like, what the I'm fuck? so stupid. I was like, holy shit. I've been staring at that button for two months. <laughs> Yeah, and he was, he was so excited. He's he uses it all the time now. He's all thank you so much. <laughs> How much weight have I lost? Do I look like I've lost a lot of weight? Yes, I have. I've lost over the past 25. year, six months to a year, I've lost about 25, 30 pounds. All because of stress and just being sick. Yeah, lane departure, deviation. It's all you know, potato, potato. Yeah, LDW, whatever the hell it is. Yeah, it was fucked up. It, it's, I was pissed. I was like, dude, I could have been avoid because that thing was literally driving me insane. It would buzz <laughs> so much. And then she just did it and all. <laughs> but the look on his face was like like a kid who had fucking like chocolate for for the first time. Like a little baby. It was just like Will you be <laughs> able to get loads in California now that A B five is low? Yeah, we will. Because mm -hmm. we're we reside out of Texas. It has nothing yeah. to do with us. If you're if you were a leased on owner op, okay, this is the how you got to break it down. Leased on owner. If you have a if you're an owner op with your own authority, you're still good in California. If you're a company driver in California, you're fine. If you were a leased on over owner op, which means if say you were leased on to Landstar, you did a lease purchase deal with Prime or Swift or something like that, they cannot do business under that guys in California anymore. So. Yeah. So and they've been shutting that shit down like Landstar sent a thing out even last year. Yeah, when they when were AB5 about, was getting pushed through. The yeah, Landstar, they were it if off. you live in California, either you got to move out of state and, and yeah. get a different residency. Or you got to be a company driver. Or, no, or you're done. Yeah. Because Landstar doesn't have company drivers. Oh, well, oh yeah, Landstar. I was thinking Prime. Prime, too. If you want to be, if you're a lease op and you reside in California, under any guise, if you're leased onto a carrier, yeah. You cannot do business in California like that anymore. That's and, the whole thing. And also, too, it's like, like this guy said, a, AKA move to Vegas. Yeah, because it's a lot easier to do business in, t in Vegas, too. Like filing taxes and all that stuff. You know, yeah, it's, move it's, out of state. Yeah, Get out, out of California, state. anyways. What are you still doing there? It's yeah, fucking California's retarded. Yeah, California's a past, dude. There's like, it's a great state to live. 
it's well, a great place. I grew up there. I, I love being at the beach. I love living in the mountains, all that kind of shit. I used to live in Redding, Sacramento, Bakersfield. Grew up in Orange County. Lived in Tahoe. I'm from Eureka. The there. Yeah, it's like California is a beautiful place to live, but it's so stupid now with so many regulations and all the bullshit, high taxes and everything. And it's so unlivable in the way of high property uh, values and shit, too. It's like, why? Yeah. Your, move. Your Just lady's move. been begging you to take her to Vegas. Well, all I can say, because I lived there since I was two until we moved to Champaign, Vegas is not cool. I mean, unless you just want to fucking throw money, you might as well just take a stack of money and light it on fire if you're just going there to yeah, visit. Yeah, if you're looking for a party weekend or something, okay, there's a few things to do. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, woo, Vegas. But. Yeah, if you have your own you're authority. Lose your money. Yeah, Vegas. I mean, there's a lot of things to do in Vegas, but mostly it's just lose your money. If you have your own authority, your own my way. understanding of this AB5 thing, Assembly Bill 5. If you have your own MC number, your own DOT number, you have your own authority, even though your power only, but as long as you have your own authority, you can still work in California as an owner. It's either you gotta be a company driver now or a fully fledged owner up with your own authority. Yeah, but if you wanna do anything in between, nope. But you wanna work for Landstar or something like that and be leased on? With your, see, you have your own truck, but you want at least to but you're leased on to Landstar, say, and get their base plate and run under their authority and stuff. You cannot be in Cali you cannot reside in California and run as a lease operator. People get that all confused to like doing a lease purchase with Prime or something. No, being a lease operator is you're leased onto another company yeah. with your own truck. Yeah, I mean I guess they're both technically the same, but either you you buy it yourself from a third party and you go there or you get it through them. Did that guy get a tip? I don't know. I'm sure Taylor tipped him. I hope so. He just walked away like he just I felt it. bad. I, I just thought about it because I know sometimes we didn't give him any money. I don't know. 25% damn dude. Damn. You're generous. Yeah. Fucking baller. Yeah. You can come pay us rent. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we in Idaho? We're on a load. <laughs> he said orientation. No, we're on a load. <laughs> we're not leaving our company. No. No. I ain't going we're anywhere this time. I ain't going anywhere yeah, else. Yeah. If, if truck, it, as long as trucking is in the card, we're lifers with this yeah, company. Yeah, we're just going to stay here, do this, and if this fizzles for whatever reason, I'm getting out of trucking. I'm going to go shovel shit. I don't care. <laughs> He's going to go work at a truck I'm not stop. going back. He's right going to go I'm work at a gas station. Another, I'm not getting a truck. I already told her, I'll work at fast food. Or I'll work at a goddamn gas station or something like that and make my 12 bucks an hour not working at another trucking company yeah. anymore. Screw all this shit. <laughs> That's funny. Why are you all in Idaho? Orientation? <laughs> We're going to have to get more there. Dude, Dude, what? In... Three Look at more. this. There's three more after this. Look at this shit. Who's calling me now? Dustin. What? Hey, what? Uh, where's the Bluetooth speaker at? Is it in your guys' bathroom or did you guys take it? And no, it should be in the bathroom on the counter. Alright. But you guys have your Bluetooth speaker too over there on the shelf by the TV. Yeah, it sucks though. Oh. Yeah, that was good. The boom stick is nice. Rooms and shit. Yeah, it should be on the counter in the bathroom. Nope. No? No. Then, then maybe it's, then it's out in the kitchen or something somewhere, yeah, it's or out. maybe I put it underneath the TV in the cabinet. Check the check the drawers and all that shit. Oh, yeah. oh no, or maybe even top of the fridge. I got it. Boom. There you go. Might have to plug it in. Yeah. All right. All Thank right. You. Yep. You're welcome. All right. Bye. There's only three beers left. I know. It's only seven? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm a lit up already. Sun's out. Like, it's not even dim out. It, sun is, like, still up in the sky out here. If you get your truck from a third party, you should be okay? Well, no, if you live in California. Yeah, if you reside in California, you cannot be a lease operator. Yeah, you can 
have your own authority, if you're If you okay. have your CDL, your residency is in California. You can no longer be a lease operator in California. Not that happy Saturday night. Yep. Which company, Jeremy, could be a lot lizard? <laughs> what? Well, we work for Trucks Are Rolling. Yeah, it's a company based in Lubbock. Yeah. Trucks are rolling. You yeah, letter Google R. It. There's no real website or anything. It's a small carrier. But if you want to just see that it's a legitimate company. Yeah, I mean, it's trucks legit. Are, trucks are, <laughs> trucks. Letter R. Letter R rolling. Rolling, yeah. Out of Lubbock. But you can look up the business address or whatever, you know, all that kind of shit. Yeah, fucking wing. Yeah, there's a few of us ain't going nowhere. No. No, Colin, he fights for the best rights. Like, a lot of these dudes are going to go out. They're going to go under because they're still going to take the, the shitty shit that the fucking brokers put out. You know, like, oh, we can only pay $1,400 on that. And it's like, dude, that's like a dollar a mile. They don't even pay for fuel. What the fuck are you talking about? And there's going to be tons of fucking people who are going to take that shit. But our dude, he fights for the maximum he can get. And if he doesn't get enough to make a profit, even if it's a small profit, it has to be a profit. If it doesn't make a profit, he won't take it. Well, and the thing is, I've seen this past year plus now that I've been running for him. Now Selena's out here too, but she worked in the office. Yeah. I was out on the road at the same time too. And that Colin, the owner, he hangs up on people. He all hangs up day. on people all the time. They go, "Oh, I'll do it for this." He's like, "No thanks." Bloop. Yeah, he, literally, like, he fucking says, "No thanks." Click. Like when they say, "Oh, I thought, well, this isn't enough." And he's like, "How about this?" He's even told him this, where he goes, "How about you go buy a truck and you go run it and see how much money you make off of it?" Yeah, see how, I've heard him say that yeah, many yeah, times. And then hangs up on him and shit. And it's like, wow. Well, yeah, and it's like all these brokers, too. He just, has like, his, he just throws his dick on the table. Yeah, says, he'll either him. call them, and his phone rings all the time. People want him to take loads because he's, uh, you know, like he's got a good enough name out there that brokers actually call him, like, hey, I got this load. And he's like, well, what are you paying? And, you know, and it's like he says, hey, what are you paying? And they're like, oh, well, it's a load from here to here, and it's X amount of pounds, and blah, blah, blah. And it's got, and, and, you know, and it's like they do all this whole spiel before they even get to how much. Just, just cut the foreplay, yeah, man. Just, just say what it is. Yeah, it's from here to here, and he puts it in pro miles, sees the miles, they tell him the rate. If it does, it's not at least three plus, he's like, nope, sorry, I can't do it. It has to be for at least, you know, they'll tell him, like, oh, we're going to do it for 3500 He's like, I can't do that for less than six. They're like, oh, man, I only got, like... You know, like, uh, you know, I can only do like 3,700. That's all we got to play no, with. Well, call that. me back if you change your mind. Bloop. And he just hangs up. He doesn't yeah. waste any yeah, time he, with him. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah. And, no. yeah. and it's like, he's always super courteous in a dickhead way. You know, it's like, no, nope, I can't do that. Sorry. Bye. Click. No, I loved hearing that thing <laughs> when he actually told brokers. Though. It was always so great. That I, I saw it a couple times when I was in the office and stuff between loads. And he's like, well, how about you go buy a truck <laughs> and you tell me how much profit you make off of it? Yeah. It's a very good deal. No, it's yeah. not. Click. Anytime, anytime you got to call a broker, I'm telling you this right now, from all the brokers we've had to call in the past and, and try and divvy up our own loads too, even at Landstar, I call brokers at Landstar, the actual agents, that they're supposed to give Landstar guys good rates. Yeah. As soon as a Middle Eastern dude yeah. oh, picks up. Yeah. It's a very good deal. He's like, hello, this is blah, uh, mm -hmm. JBC Click. Logistics. And, and you go, hey, I'm calling about your load. You got to post on the Landstar board. I'm a BCO at Landstar. And they're like, oh, let me see if that's, oh, let me still, see if that's still available. Oh, I make you a great deal, my friend, a great deal. And you go, uh-huh, click. Yeah. Like, just it's, hang up because these dudes are going to try to undercut you. Yeah. Or they're not going to give you fuel surcharge or they're not going to, you know, whatever. They're trying to, they're going to cut you. It's like, as soon as, as soon as I heard a foreign accent from a broker, yeah. I would hang up. Pure and so I boom, cross the board, yeah. hang up. Yeah, yeah, you take from that whatever you want to take from it. But the it fact wasn't, it is... It wasn't discrimination. It, it wasn't was, racial. It was the thing is, I already knew these dudes were not, if they were Middle Eastern or the Hindu, yeah, Sikh, they were giving Punjabi you the, guys or whatever. They were whatever. giving you the dollar twenty mile for Yeah, yeah they're, they're going to undercut you. And, and then they always said it to there's a thing. And I always made a joke about it. I make you great deal on this load, my friend. Great deal. Yeah, uh -huh. we'll, we'll run into that with uh, Traveloco. Cause there's, Traveloco is oh, yeah, no, for that. Yeah, no forced dispatch. You can book your own loads and all this. That was horseshit. 
couldn't get on the load boards for shit. They wouldn't let us fucking look at anything. Yeah, they wouldn't let you get on anything. And if you did get on it and you were able to look at a load, you had to send it to the fucking people in order for them to book it for you to get it. You know, and it's like we ran loads like for like a dollar thirty-five a mile, and he's like, "Oh no, it's the best deal I could get. It's best the I could get. Deal. Best I can get. Bullshit. Very good deal. Very good deal. Bullshit. Let me look at the load board. Yeah, because oh. he even asked him sometimes. He's like, "Did you even negotiate at all?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very good deal. This is the best deal I could get." Horseshit. It's a horseshit. Fucking horrible. Yeah, you know, and it's like I mean, you know, good for them if they get away from it because you know get away with it because you know they're making a profit. Hey, you know, but it's like it's our business and you know we're trying to make a profit too. So it's like you know you just picky, choosy. What are you looking for? Oh, what is this? Was your phone dying too? No, no, no. Oh, oh no, it's the orange one. The orange one. Left oh, it's the blue one. It's the orange one. And then there's, oh, and you, you need other other boxes. Can I knock it down? Look how skinny I am. Man boobs, flabby belly. Yeah, look at all yeah. that. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, So how are the dogs and the boys? The dogs and the boys are doing good. The boys, they both got jobs. They work at the same place so they can carpool, which is a good thing. Of course, now they think my pickup is their pickup. Your pickup? <laughs> Our pickup is their pickup. Uh-huh. Well, you always tell me it's mine. I know. It was your birthday present. <laughs> it's ours. Well, I, I, mean, always I mean, when I need to drive it, I'm allowed to. <laughs> Stop. Now, the day comes because we got a... It's potato, potato. Cause I, I got, don't mean it like Because we got the BMW, too. But dang, if that thing fixed up, that's my car. That's the boys car? ain't driving it? It's your car. You bought it for me, too. Yeah, but <laughs> you got that pickup <laughs> sitting there. So you can drive your pickup, but dang it, because the BMW, it's a 2011 550i M. Basically an M5 BMW. No, he's going to be fucking searching. He's going to be like, hey, ladies. Yeah, I'll be taking my ring off when I leave no, the house. Fuck, you're not. I'll be driving down the road, my hand hanging out the window. So all the chickies, all the chicas, all the highness can be like, oh, you got the BMW, I cook you tacos. Because we're in Lubbock. I can cook tacos. I make a good carne asada, I can puppy. Cook, I can cook carne asada. <laughs> yeah, in some states. Um, level. Uh, we're in, we're... We're at the TA. Yeah, we parked over the TA. We're over at the hotel next door. Go banging on doors, see if yeah, you find yeah, us. Yeah, find it. Yeah, find us. Yeah, if you can find us, we'll say hi. <laughs> yeah, right. I ain't saying I'll let you in. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not gonna let that comment through there, uh, John Smith, because you said the p word. When he said Latina pussy is the best. But, oh, you devil. Yeah. Like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. YouTube does. We're still trying to make a few. Well, we dollars. can't even. Okay, John, we can't even approve that comment. It didn't even give us the option. YouTube automatically blocked your comment because you said Hunani. So. Yeah. And nothing to do with us, dude. Yeah. We didn't block it. You're a big fan? Yeah. Cool. You want to meet us? Cool. Where are you at there, John Frazier? You want to bring us a full pack of Corona? <laughs> <laughs> a level in Boise? It, it probably mean he probably meant to right here. Or I'm Up leaving. Here, um, here in Boise? Leaving or here or something. Yeah, you're gonna have to go get beer though soon, because what? Goddamn out. What if you drank all your beer? <laughs> might not be an issue. By the time all your bottles are lined up. What the fuck? <laughs> she just did it again. Look at this. She just did it again. <laughs> Here's 
two more. <laughs> it's like it's like you you got an alert siren going. There's only two more. We only got two more beers. <laughs> I'm not sufficiently fucked yet. <laughs> Well, we have our channel set up because we like to profit from YouTube. Because why do it when if you possible? When possible, like why do it if you're not gonna make any money? You know, it's like I just you, like shooting the shit, but I like shooting the shit too. But we have the profanity filter on. We do, or just YouTube does. Well, I put it on the profanity filter, so. Where people write inappropriate shit, us or our chicks. It, us or our moderators can determine on. I don't like hearing profanity. No, no, no. Determine. I have on, to read my Bible. No, to determine if the context of the comment is okay or not, because people like to do the thing where they do one letter at a time and write something inappropriate and all this other shit, you know and. Or say some stupid shit. It's something that we set a long time ago when we had a bunch of retards in here. Oh. We don't have retards anymore. Since the whole... I'm retarded. <laughs> you you know... married it. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so back on track here for a minute. Yeah. Let me lay this one out for you. Good, good comment. Let's... How do you like Lubbock? I'm thinking about living there. What do you think about Lubbock? I love Lubbock. Okay, I so let's Lubbock. break down from the top on down. Let's, let's lay these snakes out straight for you for a minute. If you want to live in somewhere like Lubbock, Texas, all right? Lubbock is sort of isolated. Yeah. It's in the it's upper like an island. panhandle, upper plains. Oh, hell no. No, no. fucking way. This somebody got down. It's probably Taylor. It's probably Taylor. He's the only one who knows. Hello? So I'll take it. Okay, thanks. Someone named Bryce is going to be calling us. Who's Bryce? <laughs> Someone named Bryce just is trying to get a hold of it. Bryce. <laughs> yeah, it was Bryce. Somebody and who the real, fuck just hung up on me? Somebody trolled the entire hotel <laughs> to find us here. <laughs> That's actually kind of hilarious. So somebody went and looked up the TA, looked at the hotel next door. <laughs> which the Red Lion Hotel, I mean, it's easy enough to find if you want. It was funny because the lady at the front desk was like, are you expecting somebody named Bryce to be calling you? I'm like, no. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'm Taylor. Well, now I know Taylor wouldn't hang up on me. He wouldn't say, fucking Jeremy, take a drink and hang up. No, Taylor would have talked to us. Yeah, Taylor would have talked to us. Hell, Taylor even came by the truck stop yeah. in Kentucky that one he, time. He, he didn't want to wake us up. Yeah, well, and in, when he was on his motor, when he was on his motorcycle on the way back to Tampa, he turned around and came back. Yeah, just to meet us. Mm -hmm. That was flattering. You no, know, when he was working up in Kentucky, too. And we oh, parked yeah. it in Kentucky at the Loves one night, I think. Yeah. South of, like, That's so Lexington considerate. Or something. He didn't want to wake us up. Yeah, even but he I drove we right by our truck. He, he pulled up to the truck. Yeah, it's our... But we were already... It was late, and we were yeah. already sleeping. He said, oh, I didn't want to wake you guys up. And I said, shit, dude, you should have fucking come over and banged on the door. I would have been fine with that. It would take me one hour and 31 minutes to walk you guys. I mean, walk. that... Yeah, why... Why walk? What the hell? This thing is Uber, dude. <laughs> All right, so Jeff B. Let's I, lay out I don't Lubbock know who for just you. called us. No, I'll lay out Lubbock for you for a minute. Actually, there's a lot of things I like about Lubbock. Yeah. That it a lot. is its own city. It's not in a metro area. It's its own city. It's about two hundred and fifty thousand people. <laughs> in, in my territory, <laughs> that night when he stopped by. 
<laughs> Mimi Bryce wanted to oh. sell us our extended warranty. Yeah, for our 1983 Honda Civic that we never owned. <laughs> oh, but, you uh, don't have a driver's license yet. Gotcha. Well, we could say we'd come pick you up, but we're drinking. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Hold my beer. Yeah. Bryce that, is rude. Very fucking rude. <laughs> I can say as far as love it goes, if anybody's really considering moving out of wherever they're at, and say they're just considering moving to Texas. <laughs> I think whoever Bryce is, I, I don't want to be rude. I'm going to be rude. You're a pussy, dude. You fucking say, yeah, Jeremy, drink like, a beer and hang up. I'm drinking plenty. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, oh my god, I'm calling Brad Pitt. Ha ha, drink your beer, click. <laughs> call her, dude, call her, call her. Hi, well, click. Get some socks and boots. No, walk. We're not that important, dude. Yeah, we're not that important, dude. You're not going to meet the president or yeah. Brad Pitt or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I'm not Mila Kunis. Don't. Even though I'd eat her box. Yeah, I know. You would eat... <laughs> She was Straco Lesbo for Mila Kunis, Mila Jovovich, and Angelina Jolie. Yeah, that's it. Though. In that order. Yeah. Mila Kunis, if Mila Kunis showed up at our door right now, and she says, hey, I was looking for somebody to eat my box, Selena would already be, like, putting chapstick on and shit. Going, yeah, come on in. <laughs> there's, only, there's three chicks she would go Lesbo for. Yeah, and that's it. No others, no exception. Anyway, Lubbock. <laughs> Just to spice that conversation yeah. up a little bit. <laughs> Go ahead and let that one dangle for a little bit, too. Go ahead and let that swirl. Um, Lubbock is a nice city. It's a middle, sort of, West Texas city. It's still it's affordable. A little... Jeez, fuck Christ. <laughs> Fucking kids. Sorry. Hold on. Yes, sir. Hey, um, for my PC, so it's not on the desk. Can I use one of your black filing cabinets to set it on until you buy something? Do I find something else to set it on? Because I don't want to set it on the ground and I'm sparky piss on it. Oh, yeah, 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 that's fine. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Kids. So, Lubbock, if you look, you can Google all this shit, Wikipedia about Lubbock and everything, too. <laughs> he said I would eat Millicent's box, too. Hell, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> when in Rome right Right. so Lubbock is about a quarter million people it's a self-sufficient city you know um, if you're thinking about moving to Texas but you don't want to live in the major metros Lubbock has affordable real estate still you can still buy a house for a hundred grand two hundred grand yeah like two hundred and fifty thousand two hundred fifty you'd have a really nice house really nice like the house we live in was going for like 220 yeah and it's it's 2800 square foot four bedroom with a basement and a garage converted into a fucking room yeah and it was going for 220 and it so had yeah lubbock lubbock has decent stuff traffic is minimal it has a full beltway freeway around it it has i-27 coming through at the 82 84 and it, connecting yeah. it has marsha shop it goes right through the middle yeah that the connecting highways all the way through and all stuff it has a few truck stops, things. Till we're gonna be here till tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Lubbock overall though, crime doesn't oh, seem yeah. bad. No, Vegas ass. No, stay away from Vegas. Yeah, Whatever you do, don't go to Vegas. Never it's go to Vegas. Vegas is a dead end, especially if you're in trucking. Work wise, everything. It's just Vegas. No. No. Vegas I would not is, go back to no. Vegas. It's a fucking. It, it's 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 a dead end. You're, you'll go there and you'll be stuck and, but, and you'll never be able to leave and it's ass. The town is ass. The jobs are ass. Right, let me finish this thing on Lubbock. Yeah. Lubbock has Texas Tech University, a major university, has a medical system with it. There's decent medical care. It has all the things you want, all the restaurants, shopping, you know, uh, Walmarts and Sam's Clubs and all this kind of crap and whatever. Um, there's a few things that are not in Lubbock that you can find in other places in Texas. Like if you're talking food or something like that, like Del Taco, In-N-Out Burger, those are in Dallas, you know? Stupid shit. Yeah, just stupid little things though that, you know, because we were in Vegas and California and stuff like that. We like Del Taco because that's West Coast. In-N-Out Burger, West Coast. 
they got an in and out burger in Dallas, but there's not one in Lubbock, you know, but there's good, good food, good Mexican food, good barbecue, you know, good burger joints, all that kind of shit in Lubbock. Traffic is light. It's low stress, easy going. Most jobs pay about 14 to 15 bucks an hour. Yeah, the jobs, if you just want a regular job in yep. Lubbock, the uh, wages are lower in Lubbock compared to, but Texas overall is lower usually too because the work environment in Lubbock isn't like a lot of other places. But the average job is about 14 or 15 bucks an hour. And you can live there. Fairly comfortably and get low rent if you want to get a cheaper place and all that. No, we, we have not gone to the Buddy, no. Buddy Holly Museum yet. I'm sure that's a hoot. Yeah. For a guy that died in a plane crash 30 years before we were born. I mean, it was important to my parents. Apartment. My parents, well, when I was living in Minnesota, I was living in Fairmont, Minnesota, and my parents came out to visit. And Buddy they drove Holly. down to Clear Lake where Buddy Holly and La Bamba and the Big Bopper died in the plane crash and whatever. They drove down. It was just, it was in a field a little like monument put up to it or something like that but the hymn music died that's Don McLean that's not even <laughs> it's a song that <laughs> American Pie the day the music died Don McLean my mind is American Pie yeah but Joe Machevi de Levy you know and whatever but back when music was obscure and, and beating around the bush so why don't you just come out and say hey Buddy Holly died. Yeah. Instead of making a song that this is about Buddy Holly, but it has nothing to do with him. Can you live in a van? Well, there's some. Few, there's a few RV parks that are really nice. I mean, I'm sure you could find a way to live in a van if you really wanted to. Yeah, if you want to. I mean, there's some RV parks and they don't charge a lot. Well, the thing is, you get just outside the perimeter of Lubbock and there's tons of open country. Yeah. Well, we even found, I was even looking on uh, Craigslist today and there's land out there, like you can buy an acre for like five grand. Yeah. I was looking on Craigslist and they got five, one acre lots for like five grand. Live in a van down by the river, hell yeah. yeah. I think there's a river. <laughs> Live in a van there's probably a river in Lubbock river. somewhere. You yeah. Do it. Now, yeah. the thing is, too, if you get outside of Lubbock, smaller towns, there's tons of small towns, too. And you can find cheap real estate in a lot of these towns around Lubbock, like 10, 20 miles out of Lubbock. Isn't it hot in Lubbock? It gets hot. It gets. But it's not. It's like in it's the 90s, hot. in the high 90s. Well, you got to remember you're up in the high plains. So it's not like living in Dallas or Houston or something like that, that you're up at like 3,500 feet elevation in Lubbock. Yeah. It's a little bit of a dust bowl because it is like kind of on that fringe of West Texas. It, yeah. it has that variance, like there's dust storms and it's dry, but then you get thunderstorms just like yeah. you do in the South and well, everything. Well, just like we posted that video it, when it's we on first a fringe, Yeah, it's on a fringe kind of thing of you get West Texas heat and dust and dryness, but you also get East Texas thunderstorms yeah and like humidity and all this kind of stuff too tornadoes that i fucking made that video of when we first moved in last over year. a year ago Selena, yeah selena's first tornado yeah go back about a year ago yeah there was like little tiny little like little funnel cloud things like swirling right over the top of the house and the no there are no water shortages no no water shortages uh, yeah it it gets up into the high 90s like a couple maybe a week or two Maybe two weeks tops, total days, it gets over 100 for the whole entire year. Yeah, but like, it's 100 for a couple of days. And the humidity and is the low. the weather report the next day is like, it's going to be 80. Yeah, it's like 80, yeah. It, it fluctuates. Yeah. But overall, you don't get extended periods of time, like say in the Southwest. If you lived in Phoenix or Vegas or somewhere, you got, the whole summer is over 100. No, it's much more reasonable, much more mild. Entertainment family friends can't keep up the whole stream. You guys still happy overall making enough? The trucks are rolling. Eh, we're plugging through for right now. Yeah, no, we're happy. I'm packing my bags now. <laughs> I mean, Taylor. Yeah, Taylor, honestly. Legitimately, I would say, Taylor, if you. If you really wanted to come if, to if love If that it. was a serious thing to you, like you're looking to bust out and go somewhere. Yeah. You, yeah, I'll rent you a room, dude. Yeah. It's cool. Go 400 bucks a month right? and you buy your own food. I mean, that's what we make the boys do. Yeah, the boys are paying 400 a month each. And then right? they buy their own food. 
I mean, I would feel comfortable with Taylor. Say, hey, dude, you need a place to crash? Cool. Yeah. I would do that for you. Yeah. Yeah, even if you just needed to stay for a little bit. I know Groendijk, if you want to do fuel, mm -hmm. Groendijk Transport is a yard right next door to Trucks Are Rolling. They're looking for tanker drivers. Groendijk. So. They got ads up on Indeed and all that shit. In Lubbock, looking for fuel drivers. So. And they yeah. said average 80000 a year. Yeah, so. which is not bad, especially in Lubbock, because it's still affordable to live in Lubbock. Like apartments, you can get a, like a one-bedroom apartment for like 600 bucks still. Yeah, even if you want an apartment or anything, 600 800 maybe 1000 bucks a month for a nice place. If you, We're talking about 1000 bucks a month, and you could have a really nice place in Lubbock. Yeah, well, yeah, and if you wanted to get signed on with our guy, he'll do company for you, run or milk. I, mean, I don't know. He, he pays upon experience. There's no set yeah. set rate. So, you know, but like he runs milk guys too. You know, it's like if you don't want to do OTR and you just want to do milk out of Canyon right up the road and you want to live in Lubbock. Well, you'd that still be kind of on the road. Yeah, you kind of on the road. You'd be out a few days if you want to go home at night, go out again. Yeah. Run a milk. I mean, it's not OTR. I mean, the milk it's more job. regional. And then too, even if like not even our place, but there's milk companies galore yeah. around Lubbock. Yeah. You got Tons. Lone Star, Red Stag, uh, Western Dairy. Um, KLB. KLB. Eh, they're on the lower end of it. Yeah, they're on the but lower end. Lone Star, but Red Stag, companies. and all that stuff. Those guys are making good money, and they're home every day, too. Just yeah, every local day, milk yeah. tankers. So. Yeah. And they're making average 70 grand a year or something like that. In Blue State. I know. I, I think the trend of things to come is... Texas is going to go hardcore red because yeah, even red. even the Hispanic vote is going red now. Yeah, and that's what they're the the liberals or blues or whatever you want to call it. They're, they're banking on the Hispanics are going to vote blue all the time. Yeah, but everything's been so fucked up. Hardcore. They're like now, it's anything, not working to their favor if anything, anymore. Yeah, all the all the Mexican dudes I ever come into contact with around Lubbock and everything too, and around Texas, they're like fuck that. You know they. You can make probably close to 100k running company. I mean, within you know, twenty to twenty-five thousand, probably. Running company. Up, compared to. Uh, he said a hundred. Can you still make a hundred thousand dollars running company? Pretty close to some it. places. Yeah. Some places. Yeah. I mean, you're you're pretty the close. Average, if you're talking about the average, the average wage, of truck drivers, that want to go out and work, milk. If you want to compare milk tankers to gas tankers no you're gonna make less you're gonna make less doing milk because it's not hazmat if you've got your hazmat you want to go run fuel yeah you want to work for a place like Groendike and there's some other fuel no. places around and shit like Kimrad up in uh, Amarillo Kimrad pays on the ups of a hundred thousand a year so yeah he said Champagne Illinois rules sucks that it's in Illinois you're telling me brother yeah because if it wasn't Illinois we would probably still be there because, like, when I was, it was doing, a great place. I when liked I, it. When it was I was a very doing mail, place to live. when I was doing mail, like I would have been a full fledged fucking, you know, mailman right now, making, you know, fucking forty something dollars an hour, if I if we had stayed because the town that I was running mail from Tolono only had a couple of the rural carriers and the main post office ladies were getting ready to retire but if it wasn't for the illinois you know we would have stayed because it's fucking beautiful i loved running mail out there i loved watching it was so fun and interesting every day i took a picture every day of the corn growing it was amazing like how much it grew every day yeah she did the mailman yeah jesus, jesus christ, christ. you must know where the tax are yeah, you, so you don't know where they are? I then don't. you just have to use them? I did. I found them. There's a little thing on the desk out in the garage, and I found a couple tacks there, and I thought we had a whole thing of tacks in the drawer in the kitchen, but I couldn't find them, so I don't know. Uh, that's our problem right now. 
Yeah, I mean, you can check those little drawers, the little clear computer drawer things I have, all the way by the thing that we write on yeah. on the wall out there or something, or, or all around the desk area out in the garage, but I don't know. I thought we had a whole, like, round thing yeah, of tacks. Yeah, bought a whole thing. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck they are. Alright. So, what are you trying to tack up? Um, a blanket, because my blackout shade isn't big enough for this window. Oh. I know out in the garage in one of the boxes that I think is over by that little thing where I got all the computer stuff in it, uh -huh. I think there's a box open with an extra blackout curtain. Oh, okay. I, I, I believe there's one extra blackout curtain out there. Or just use a sheet. Yeah, or just use a sheet or, or a blanket or something. Wash one of the dog blankets oh, and yeah. hang it up or something. There's a there's a blackout curtain on top of the clear filing cabinet. Yeah, I thought there was one more, so yeah, that should do it for you. Alright. Alright. All right. Bye. <laughs> Our kids are switching rooms. Brent, when we moved into the house, it's like it's got a regular bedroom in front and a regular bedroom back and it had this little teeny tiny room in the middle. Like an office. Like an office or something, and it had like one With of those pocket, pocket door. door. And he chose that room for some reason. Well, he now, said it's less to clean up. Less to clean up, yeah. But now it's a smaller room, so I won't have to clean up as much. Yeah, and but now he wants to switch to the regular room, so now they're having all these questions about shit. But I guess they got to figure it out. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll expect a half a dozen more calls. Cause yeah, <laughs> he needs approval for everything. Yeah, well, that's like he asked me if he could move to the other room and this and that, and he was like, well, okay, I was just letting you know. I'm like, yeah, just let me know while you ask. <laughs> you make a hundred grand running OTR for Taylor? Or you ask Taylor. him? Well, that's a... Taylor is our friend. No, no, no. Taylor is oh. also a company. Oh. I don't know. Taylor, I think it's a reefer company or something like that. Oh. I have no idea then. Sorry, catching up here. Yeah. Trucks are rolling. He said you did the mailman? What the hell? No, I, no, I was the mailman. <laughs> Would you guys be down for breakfast for tomorrow? Yes. Not if you no, got to walk. Don't. Yeah, not if you got to walk. Don't worry about it, dude. We're getting breakfast at the hotel here in the morning because it's free. It's yeah. included. Yeah. Well, it's not we free. We paid for it. Yeah, we paid it's included. for it. It's yeah. included. I don't know why people always say that, like, oh, free breakfast. Hey, free. We paid for it. Yeah. You offer it. Yeah. We paid for the room. Yeah. You get toast, waffles, hard-boiled eggs, and, and yogurt. And a yogurt. <laughs> yes, Neil, we meant trucks are... No, it's rolling with a G, not the N with an apostrophe. It's... Later, Stan. I'll try to call you, dude. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. You just got to call every couple of days. It's not on purpose, promise. I'm not big on the phone. I'm sorry. I, I, I miss a beat. Sorry. <laughs> I skip a beat. Leveland, Mule Shoe, yeah. All these smaller Texas towns outside of Lubbock, I mean, I like them. They're kind of run down, dusty Texas towns, but very livable, you know. Next to a truck from Taylor. Taylor truck lines. Oh. I don't, know anything, I don't know anything about them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm actually trying to lose weight, so that wouldn't help. I don't know if you got to walk two hours just to go. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I'm just telling you, right? Don't, don't do it, dude. We're not worth the walk. Don't worry no. about it. Yeah, we're not that cool. Don't, 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 don't put yourself out. Yeah. We're not as cool as you think, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> And meet up and have that awkward thing sitting there going, hey, how's hey, it going? What you doing? So you drive a truck, yeah? And then we get all quiet. And <laughs> we're just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I want to know why we only got 55 people watching. Y'all need to share us around. Dying. Share yeah. us to Facebook. We've already been on two, two hours. hours. So we it usually, it's, it's, it usually have we're like, like 70. You're yeah, not that cool. We are cool. Oh, you're cool. I'm not. <laughs> You need to share us around on Facebook, tell your friends, hey, jump on, these fuckers are live. Oh, it's a fucking fantastic night. It's a party. I mean, fireworks aren't until Monday night, dude. What the fuck is everyone doing? 
also make 100 grand running OTR with trucks are rolling if rates still suck low. Uh, Pretty close. You can, if you think about it, if you make a, if you can clear a couple grand a week, that's 100 grand a year. Yeah. We're doing that. So even through this slim time right now, I would still be making 100 grand a year just running solo. So. I mean, if that's what you really want to do, bro, but I would really feel bad if you got to walk an hour and a half no, just to fucking don't. have an awkward breakfast with us. Don't do it. I'm just saying don't. It's like... I mean, if Mila Kunis was in town, I might walk an hour and a half. <laughs> Maybe. And I might say, Wait. Are we back in the truck tomorrow? Yeah. We got to go over to... Well, we'll be we got to go truck. over to... Caldwell and do our drive. Not until Monday though. Monday morning first thing. Yeah, we'll be and back. We'll reload and head over to Washington and then Washington will grab a little bit of cherries. And what he's saying we'll go back to Dallas. But who knows These how These are the work. last two years. Oh my god. Yeah, and we gotta bring a puppy back apparently. Yeah, the boss talked to her yesterday and said he's got a friend that bought a custom puppy. Yeah. And since we'll be in Washington, can we go get this puppy and bring it back to Texas for him, for his friend? Yeah. Okay. And the guy's going to give us like 500 bucks to do it. Yeah. And he'll buy a crate and, and supplies for color. it. Yeah, and food and shit for it. And storm on Monday? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean. The only problem is higher chance of storms on Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> Damned hey, if I mean, you do, damned if you don't. Right? But yeah, so apparently we're going to get this puppy. So we're kind of curious of what kind of puppy it's going to be. If it's going to be a cute little fuzzball that I'm not going to want to give up when we get back. Or if it's going to be some fucking three-year-old dog that is not really a puppy and is going to be a pain in the ass. Got to get your steps in. <laughs> I mean, if you... are walking an hour and a half. That's a long time. It's a little extreme. Then you got to walk an hour and a half back. Dude. Three hours walking. I mean, I don't need to lose any weight, but I know my feet would be fucking hurting. Yeah, you can have a dog in the truck. Especially when the owner tells you to bring a dog back. Yeah. <laughs> but no, yes. It, well, working yeah. for a smaller company, that's the beauty of it. You're not subjected to all the rules and whatever. Yeah, it's you like, can you have can a do dog. whatever you want. I think, Just do I, what you want. I think maybe when you sign on, if you have a dog and you're going to use one of his trucks, then it's like $50 or something. Yeah, just because he wants to cover it for a cleaning cost. Yeah. Because, you know, the dog's going to fuck shit up and leave hair all over the truck. And then if you leave that truck, he's yeah. going to have to clean it. Yeah. And he's got to pay some fucking chick, you know, 10 bucks but an hour it, to clean it. Yeah, but, like, if we have our own truck. Now, I can say, too, with the truck we got right now, that it's a rider lease. He wouldn't charge us anything. He, yeah. Well, because he knows we would clean it. He knows it. we're good. You know what I mean? Like but if somebody it. comes in fresh and says, uh, like, I got a dog, yeah. he might want a little cleaning deposit for it or something like that. Yeah, because but you can have riders and you can have dogs and none of that shit matters. You don't, don't care. You don't give a fuck. Whatever gets loads done. If if yeah, your, old lady, your, if your dog run. and your wife have to be in the truck so you get loads done, that, okay? That. If it's a chica that's going to clean it, yeah. 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 No, and he's got her. Chi his chica looks like a uh, 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 Mariah Carey. What's her name? April. April. Yes, April. She's really cool. Yeah, she fucking cleans. Like there's been she some. She Q-tips trucks. those fuckers. Yeah, she so Q-tips them. Cleans the shit out of those. Yeah. Things. Now he's after she cleans them. He's yeah. yeah the, the owner, Colin. He's a part of a church, and he has a lot of people that he knows through the church and everything, and he gives them all jobs. Yeah. So it's a lot of, it could be people involved in the church that are down and out. Yeah. And Whether he, they clean his house or they clean trucks or they clean the office. Yeah, he gives them all jobs to clean stuff and do side work and all this kind of stuff. They're looking for work. So in a way, he, it's kind of like he's, he's... For the community? Yeah, he's really trying to help people out all yeah, the time. Yeah, he's, he's a, a really a good guy. Yeah, he really is a great dude. <laughs> yeah, he really I mean, is. When you got to break it down, like he, like <laughs> Selena working in the office, he was a bit hard to get along with in the office. But you but know what? The, the his only philanthropy, problem though, it, yeah. his extension of trying to help people out, he's helped us out a ton, too. I can't fault him for that. It's like, holy yeah. shit, dude, you've helped us out this past year more than I could imagine. Now, the only problem I had in the office was he wanted me to be more of a bitch. 
Like he wanted me to yell at him and all this other stuff like when things weren't going right because he's the kind of guy who's got a million things running through his head and he's just fucking, you know, this, 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 and this. And, and he wants someone who can say, hey, fuck you. I can only do this and this. This is going to have to wait. You know, like what's your priority? And, you know, and it's like I am just not that kind of person. Like I can't be that kind of bitch. Because it's a, either I'm that bitch 24-7 or I'm not. You know, and I don't want to be that kind of person. That was that was the only hang up there. Like okay. a, a lot of chicks can okay, be. Okay, so what the way he operates, I mean, it's, you know, take for what it's worth. He employs women in the office and he has dudes driving, okay? He doesn't fuck with me. He and I, when we get together, we cut up. It's all low key, no stress, whatever. When she was working in the office, she was stressed out. Oh yeah, because I am not that type he of bitch. He rails on these broads in the office. Yeah. He fucking rides their asses, all this kind of shit. And he only he likes hiring women in the office. He yeah. doesn't want dudes, because I can tell you, if I worked in the office yeah. and he came at me like he does the other chicks in the office, we'd be in a fight. You know what I mean? But he doesn't do that. It's the women in the office. It's like he just almost, I, I hate to say in a bad way. But he likes he the. He likes the confrontation of be, like the women in the office. Coming giving him shit. Yeah. Giving him shit and everything. He, it's like he loves it. He's like, yeah, baby, give me more shit. Yeah. Well, but if like, it was me giving him shit. It'd be, yeah. Like, like well, his mentality is. Now, his dude. mentality is because most chicks, because I am not most chicks, but most chicks. So his rationality is, is that he's a total dick and that the chicks fucking get all their shit out on him and then they go home and they love their husbands because they've got all their frustrations of whatever out on, you know, whatever the fuck's going on in the office and then they go home and they've and they relieved just, all their stress yeah. at work, <clears throat> you know, and they go home and they love their husbands. The only problem is, is I'm just not that kind of chick. Because, you know, he even told me, he you know, when I quit working there, he's like, you're so fucking great and you have so much potential because there was one day when he was doing something and I, like, fucking totally flipped my switch and I fucking totally laid into him. I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to lose my job. And he's like, you need to be like that more often. And I'm like... Yeah, he's like, that's the way I want you every day. Yeah. Just be a fucking coos. Yeah. And you know, like, like, just come at me. Just bring it. I love it. And he just <laughs> drinks it up. And I'm like... Because well, it, 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 he's so he's so driven and got so many ideas. It's like people have to put him in check to keep <laughs> shit in order. But he know? doesn't fuck with me. You know, but like, it's like... but me, I'm we not, go in, we I'm sit not, there and shoot the shit. Yeah. He's and, totally cool with me. And he's totally... Her. Com, yeah, you know, but he's totally... Comp car, carp what is it? Compartmentalized? Compartmentalized. Yeah, carpet. Yeah, whatever he said. You know, it's like he could be totally pissed off about something, but then you ask him about someone else, ask him about something else, and his whole mood is like, you know, oh, yeah, da, 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 da. and then he goes back to being pissed off about whatever the other thing was. It's like he doesn't, it doesn't bleed across to whoever he's talking to. But it's like I couldn't be that chick. You know, it's like no, I wanted well, to do the, a the good job part, and all this other stuff, but well, it's like I couldn't be what he needed the hard, me to be. The hard part that came was you couldn't be the bitch in the office right? yeah but you would get on the phone with me every night oh and I, just complain yeah and complain about this job constantly like, yeah, uh, and then and it's this and yeah. it's that and, blah. and i'm like dude just quit because yeah. <laughs> i can't listen to you every night yeah for three hours straight complaining about your eight hour a day job yeah. i can't do it yeah it's like, when if this it's is what's going to be you need to just quit i don't care about the 14 bucks an hour you're making yeah. i don't want to listen to this yeah. the conversations we got to have every night are about hey i want to eat your ass out and you yeah. know well and when the thing is is because i'm not that you know it's like if i could have just because i'm if like you play this game it would have been fine yeah, but, if and, I could've and just, you compartmentalize too and you could be a bitch at work and you get off and you're all rosy with me but you're not that kind of person. Yeah, I'm not that kind of person. It's like I just like a normal, happy, everything, all the time kind of thing. You know, and it's like I, I couldn't do what he needed to be done 
But I was doing the job just fine. I just couldn't have the attitude that went with it. So, Neil, when, when, hey, when does Lubbock warm back up in like February? April. April. No, nah, it's later. Yeah, it's it's more of a Midwest. Yeah, you definitely ha you it's have all the seasons. It's not South Texas. Yeah. You think Texas? Oh, it's hot. No, Lubbock is further north. You have all the seasons. You got seasons, and the weather does not kick in right away by April and May. That's it when you see the temperatures start coming back up. Yeah. It, it holds on to winter a little bit longer. So, you know, Lubbock is a little bit more of a colder climate. And then it has summer does get warm, <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. I could be hanging pipe instead of being in the office. This is true. You know, when I work construction, I mean, being in the office, you stepped on a duck, dude. Who stepped on a duck? Oh! <laughs> yeah, L Lubbock has high winds for sure. But yeah, you know, I Lubbock just... Lubbock is always windy. Yeah. That's one thing. Lubbock always has so, wind. Dirty bird. Very, very seldom is there a calm day with no wind. I would say, he said he talked to our boss a few months ago, who said our name. He said he talked to him about 15, minute, 15 20 minutes, said he would call him back. I would say he is a very, very business... Busy he has, man. He has four phones. Four phones. He's on them constantly. He's if got, you want something to happen, you got to call him too. Yeah, you have to Take call him back. Take the initiative. Yeah. You know, get a hold of him, do all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Get on the phone with him. Yeah. It's, if he says, yeah, I'll call you back, and he doesn't call you back, don't take it personal. Call him the next day. Hey, yeah. I didn't hear back from you. I just want to check. Yeah. Yeah. It's like even we it's will call him. Thing. We'll call him, and he'll do the little thing where you can send a text back to someone. I'll call you back, and he never calls you back. You have to just call him. Yeah, it's not a personal thing. He's just super busy and has fuck tons. He's he he has twenty five trucks and he's basically a one man operation. He books all the loads, takes care of everything. He has a shop where he works on trucks and cars and all this other stuff in a car lot. And it's like he's a one man op. You have to if you want to work there, you have to call him back. You have to bug him. It's not personal. Be, he if, will tell you if, flat out and not a problem if he doesn't like you, doesn't want you, doesn't want you to work there. He will tell you flat out. He will not say, I will call you back. He will not say, we'll talk later. He will not say any of that shit. He'll be like, eh, I don't know if you're the right fit. Click. You know, oh. <laughs> no, no. Like, he is a straightforward dude. He has no filter and he has no shit. So if he doesn't want anything to do with you, you will know it. Well, and if he doesn't have the business, he will tell you straight up. He'll tell you straight up, like things are bad right now. Yeah, I don't right have now, nothing I'm, for you. I think, Call me back I'm in a sure month. Under the circumstances of the past few months, he's probably been turning some guys away, going, yeah. "Hey, sorry, you know, like I really, if I don't want to just sign you on to be broke, you know what I mean? Because business is shit right now. He'll tell you straight up, you know. It, but when shit gets hot, you be like, "Hell yeah, do bring it," and he'll help you out to get things done, to get you on, so you can make money. Yeah, yeah, so Dirty Bird, just fucking call him back and remind him, just remind him of your conversation, who you are, where you're from and stuff, like whatever you Definitely talked about. Shits. Yeah, you do. Yeah, if you just remind him of you're your welcome. conversation, he'll remember you because he's got a mind like an elephant like that, but he may not rem remember to call you back. It's like... What? Is his cut if you leased him 30%? You get 70% of the gross if you're out running reefers. You get 70%. It's his trailer, his trailer maintenance. You cover your own fuel, your own def, and your own reefer fuel. That's pretty much it. It's pretty clear cut and dry. Yeah, it, yeah. It's and when real the rates are up, simple. you're making banging fucking money. Yeah. The rates are down right now. You're not, and the fuel prices are so astronomical. Yeah. You're not making a whole lot of money right now. If you got your own truck, you want to lease on to him. He would prefer you have your own base plate, but if you don't, he will help you to get one. So. Yeah. But yeah. On reefer right now. It, it it's a seventy. It's a seventy thirty. And if you in if you lease on and you want to run milk, it's a hundred percent. Three sixty a mile. Loaded. loaded miles. Empty miles, no. So if you talk about an out and back run. You're making a buck eighty a mile. Yeah, that's and that's it. it. That's it. Flat, it's a flat rate. Ugh. Kids again. Hold on. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um. Do you know if you 
have like a decently long HDMI cord? Uh, HDMI cord? No. Yeah. No? No. Just whatever is out there. Whatever's out in the living room, whatever Jeremy uses for the PlayStation, that's it. Like, the only HDMI cords is the one that we have that's running to your bedroom, so... Oh. Or I guess that's a Ethernet, but yeah, so you might have to order one on Amazon or something if you need a longer one. Yeah, I think I have to order one. Yeah. Alright. Alright? Bye. <laughs> but yes, right now we're on a reefer run. He's uh, talking about because reefer rates are still low. He wants to get us back, and we can run. There's no dry van. He no runs dry reefers van. and milk tanker contracts, and that's it. That's it. Yeah, reefer is if you're lease or you know if you're owner off and leasing on. It's uh, 70 30 milk, 360 loaded, all in. Uh, you know, there's no percentage on that. You just get the full 360. 360 loaded mile. Loaded mile. So, like, basically, if you talk about a 50 50 split, you're talking about a buck 80. Yeah. I mean, there's a few oh, no. runs that go up to one loaded, out of their loaded. You might run to a triangle. One. You might run a triangle. Take a load out of Canyon. This is the one that got explained to me. A load out of Canyon, Texas. Goes up to Kansas loaded. Get another loaded one out of Kansas. It might go down to the south. But then you're dragging ass back to Canyon. So you stay about 70% loaded for the for that kind of run. Yeah. But, but mostly. But count on a 50-50 milk run. You're going to make a buck 80 overall. Yeah, all miles. All miles. And that's just the contract they have that they pay 360 per loaded mile. So you're going to drag empty back. Yeah. Even though your fuel mileage is better, but you got to think about yeah. like what's your truck payment, what's your cost, all your these fuels, things. all this fuel, other stuff. everything. It's like, is it going to be worth it doing milk yeah, as an owner? And then there's maybe insurance, not. which is like now when fuel When fuel is three bucks a mile and you're getting 360 a loaded mile, it was okay. You can make money off that. And there's about but six, fuel is way up, yeah, so you're you kind of get fucked right yeah. now. And if you're a lease op, it's about six hundred dollars every two weeks, because that's the pay period is every two weeks. Six hundred dollars for insurance and uh, you know for the camera and the Qualcomm and you know all that shit. You know, so it's like that's an added expense to your shit. You know. And then if you want to lease one of his trucks, which I don't know if he has any available, sometimes he does, but he wants you to run for him for six months as a company driver before you lease one of his trucks. So that's another thing. Yeah, like, yeah, if he didn't like you or he didn't want you to work for him, he would have told you straight out there, Dirty Bird. And I would say that within the, you know, narrow scope of, you know, options that we know of, like, he's probably the best bet right now for being able to stay afloat. Well, for us. For us. Other people are in their own situations. Yeah, other people are in their own situations. Like, but if you're fucking sinking, you know, it's like, I mean, for everything else that we've known and done, this is the best scenario at the moment. For us. Yeah, for us. So, I mean, you what have to What else are we going to go do? Yeah. Go get jobs? Yeah, what? Like, I'm go still, run I'm Covenant? still making more money, even if loads are light and the rates are down. I'm still making more money right now than I would just having a job. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. You done fucked up there, Dirty Bird. What? You went to go work for, for some brewskis. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, fuck that. The Russians and the Middle Eastern guys and the yeah. Pakistanis and all that shit. Fuck all that yeah, shit. Yep, yeah, out of Chicago. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, no. Nope, nope, no. nope. Yeah, and they'll keep you busy. Busy as fuck. But you ain't gonna make no money. But guess who is? They are. Yeah, they're making the money. Yeah. Fucking you all the way to the bank. Yeah. Fuck all that. Yeah, Walmart is hiring. Yeah, as long as they we got shit that, to deliver. We, we learned that in one hit with Traveloco. Yeah. Nope. Ain't nope. doing it again. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, unless you're on the other side of that fence, it's not it's not beneficial. 
and doing all that shit. Yeah, I mean, okay. everybody's out there to fucking profit from their own business, and they are definitely out there to profit from their own business. So, yeah, as soon as you got picked up that phone, talk to somebody at the company, and like, oh, hello, my friend, how yeah. are you? As soon as they no. say my friend Click. or good deal, no, hang up. Yeah. Absolutely not. If you want to stay in business and you want to fucking make it through, do not. Do not. Do not. Put your chips in that fucking. Who wants yeah. Travel Loco? Some dude who fucking is from yeah. India? I think he was Armenian. Well, yeah, what? All his fucking call people. Everything were, was in Pakistan. Yeah, right? Everything was in Pakistan. So, yeah, no. I've heard that many times too. Like, go work for Walmart. They're hiring you, make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Like, no, no, yeah, I'm not no. working for a big corporation. No, it's gonna tell me when to pick my nose and when to wipe my ass. No, yeah, I'm not doing someone it. telling you, or you got to fuel fucking ten gallons here and fucking thirty five gallons there, and you got to go take this route, and you got to, you know, you can only sleep for, you know, if you sleep for more than fucking one minute past your fucking clock, and Ooh, fuck, they're on the phone, and they got you the, up and. Oh my God! What are you yeah, doing? And, Still and, sitting there? It's and like, they got dude. forward facing cameras and driver facing cameras. No, go fuck yourself, dude. It's just trucking, dude. Yeah. If you're gonna put that kind of shit on me, I don't need to do this. It's like yeah. no, screw all that. We don't have a surcharge right now. We just get a flat rate. Yeah. No. When we went to Travel Loco, I it's don't know all, if you. It's were, all put into the. Room. I don't know if you were watching us when we went to Travel Loco. It's like it, fucking. Fucking little dog and everybody was fucking hyping it all up and yeah it was fucking garbage. We should have just stayed with Landstar. We wasted. We wasted. We literally lit on fire twenty grand to go to fucking Travel Loco. About thirty grand. About thirty grand to go to Travel Loco. Literally just fucking put it on the table and fucking poured kerosene on it and lit it on fire. Literally, we. You know, it's like we took our trip to Hawaii and all that, and it cost more to go to fucking Travel Loco than it did for us to take the whole entire family to Hawaii in Honolulu on New Year's Eve and stay on a beach, on a hotel on the beach than it did to go to Travel Loco. And all we did was end up leaving Travel Loco. It's like... And going right back to Landstar. And going right back to Landstar. We left Landstar, went to Travel Loco, went right back to Landstar. And fucking, what did we do? We fucking made a shit ton of money as soon as we got back to Landstar. I mean, it took a minute to find our contract, but it was there. But Travel Loco was the biggest fucking mistake ever. So fucking all that fucking make you very good deal and fucking how you doing, my friend? Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck you. Dude, you would have gotten fired with those farts you read with Walmart. Yep. Yeah. Fuck, Fuck all Walmart. That. I don't give a shit. Yeah. And I even did the Amazon delivery around Lubbock. Learn the Lubbock area and all that shit, and it's like they didn't have Amazon branded vans, but just doing the little delivery shit, all the shit that they were hyping us up for when they got Amazon branded vans is like fuck all that, dude. It ain't worth sixteen fifty an hour. Fuck Why didn't you. we stay with Landstar? We got fired from Landstar. Yeah, we got fired from Landstar because we parked out in front of our own apartments on a dead end street. Fuck them. And they're fucking sitting duck bullshit. We weren't on the goddamn off ramp. We weren't fucking parked on a main street somewhere. Fuck them. Uh, Fuck corporations. Yeah, it's the thing of being a small carrier like this now. I just, I really prefer, even if, you know, the thing we can't have a dedicated contract like we used to have. We're making fucking $7,000 a week in our pocket. But there's a certain peace of mind you get of running yourself not being bothered by anybody not having the corporate oversight with all their fucking bullshit rules and everything it's like just keep that shit yeah I don't make as much money we're struggling at times and all this kind of shit but life is much more peaceful because nobody's bugging us anymore you know yeah, Landstar is paying a dollar dollar one surcharge well, that right var- now that varies I'm that sure. varies like I depending know depending on what broker you're dealing with you know agent like I know that we were taking loads and they're like oh the surcharge is this and blah 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 and we're like oh can you break that out you know so we could get the advance for fucking fuel and then I remember we were talking to one and she's like oh well you're going to California and Oregon so we'll give you the fucking California surcharge it's like because she offered it up we got it but it's like you know it's like anybody else would have just I don't know. I don't know. 
Sorry, Brian, your comment isn't yeah. coming through. It's horseshit that we parking at our own pad. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was Stupid. dumb. It was dumb. It was because the lady was a DOT officer and the fucking neighbors there. Okay, so it's a it's an apartment complex and it had like fucking ten houses across the street from it. Literally ten houses. And they were fucking bitching at this chick about this truck being parked out in front of the apartments for fucking two days. Now, in retrospect, had I parked the truck down, Around the, where, corner. down the corner in the cul-de-sac, it was like in dirt. Had I parked it over there, nobody would even notice. No problem. But we didn't know because we were just moving in. Yeah, we literally just like moved that in. That whole thing would have been avoided. I just parked the truck around the corner. Yeah, and then we even called Landstar and we're like, you know, when they told us, and we're like, well, we found a place, you know, there's a, a storage unit place, like literally right down yeah, the street. parking. I sent them pictures of the whole thing. I parked it in a secure yeah, place. Yeah, they're like, now, oh, blah, blah, well, blah, it's blah, already blah. been reported. Well, so. you've got to go into review anyways. And they called me back a week later and said, yeah, we're going to cancel your lease. Which yeah. was essentially being fired. I was like, well... Yeah, and they're the like, fuck? oh, you can reapply in a year if you want. Because obviously they realized that whatever was going on was not that big a deal. But because it technically, re, you know, did their shit. And like, oh, you can reapply in a year. You'll be good to go. Lame. It was yeah. all lame. It was all totally weak. So but it's stupid. Like, but, in, you know, and it's like all our videos that we made when we started talking about FedEx. Like when FedEx started fucking reducing their rates you know it's like oh they're only gonna pay like two something this and that and blah 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 it's like fedex actually called landstar and the landstar called us and said fedex wants you to keep our fuck their name out of your fucking mouth it's like they were will smith that just fucking come slapped us up on stage and said and keep your wife's name out my fucking motherfucking mouth it's like fuck off dude You're saucy ain't you that's true <laughs> we need more beer this is it God! Oh my God! What are we gonna do? Will you walk and go get some more? <laughs> what do you want me to go get? For my queen. For my princess. <laughs> She's all, but daddy, I want more beer. Okay. <laughs> do they have cans? I'd say probably tall boys. maybe a, like maybe four tall boys instead of buying another twelve pack. Cause I like I'm pretty much to the end, but I'm not done yet. <clears throat> you know. And we got saying? pizza. Yeah, and we got pizza. Thanks, Taylor. Yeah, thank you, Taylor. You're the best, Taylor. I haven't seen him make another comment in a while, but if he's still here, I'm sure he's still here. He's trolling. Thanks, man. You're the best, dude. <laughs> Selena has got a strip for beer money <laughs> while he's gone. Oh yeah. <laughs> we haven't got a single. Fucking super chat. I'm I'm just We got pizza, what are you talking about? That's a super <laughs> yeah, chat. Yeah, right it's there. a super super chat. Mm-hmm. Truth about trucking? What 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 truth you wanna know? What Yeah, little dog did take advantage of a lot of drivers. Yeah, like he wants like okay. Now, I don't give a shit. He can attack us all he wants. He's not going to find nothing. No, well, I don't give a shit. But yeah, he did. Uh, he, he said dog took advantage of a lot of truckers. Yeah, he did. He talks a lot of shit about a lot of fucking people. But you know what? You know, if anybody really wanted to fucking turn on him, guess what, dude? Fucking people could talk a lot of shit about the, all the shit that he's done along the way, too. But nobody I mean, gives a shit anymore because I, it's not fucking high school and it was fucking five years ago, dude. Fucking get over no, I, it. I like Will. I like Will too. I ain't gonna not, talk shit. No, I like Will. I'm just saying, he's fucking pointing one finger when he's got fucking four pointing back at him. You're really buzzed, aren't you? Yeah. But it's true. It is true. I mean, we he, haven't kept up with Will in we a few years kept, now and everything. But all I know I is like that he Will. keeps talking about the same fucking people, about the same fucking shit. It's like, dude, no, I, did you I, graduate I, high school no, yet? Well, Have you well, moved we on were, in the world? Well, Are you we still were, cheating on your wife? Easy. What the hell, man? Well, it's not like it's a secret. No, but it's old news. <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> I'm just saying. Bear money. Thanks for the entertainment. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> no, I, I do like the talks when we were at Traveloco and before that, and talking to Will on the phone. He and I would sit there and cut up like a motherfucker. Well, yeah, you guys got the same kind of fucking like, humor. Yeah, it was all dark, twisted humor and shit. Yeah. And I like Will. I mean, everybody can say what they want or whatever. He went through with 
back in the day and seven three lounge and all this shit. Yeah, whatever, seven three lounge. Whatever personal hate, problems we had, okay. whatever. I, I even talked to people on I like fucking. Will on a personal level, I like Will. Yeah, his wife is hot. I mean, a mom of four, yeah, she's fucking rocking body. I mean, what else are you gonna do with your time when, you know? Well, now I can say when Will, there was one live feed a couple of years ago that Will did out in his garage. And his wife came, came out and out, gave him and she was going to the fucking... gym. No, she was going to the gym. She was on her gym outfit and everything. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to the fucking gym. And he's like, oh, you're going to the gym? Oh, okay. But she was like, yeah. Like, it was more a thing of like, yeah, well, fuck, fuck you. you. I'm going to the fucking gym. Yeah. And I was like. And he's like, fuck you. Whatever. I'm going to Reno. And now, like on the personal side, because I've already been through some bad marriages and shit, that that right there was like, she's going to the gym. Yeah. To look she's good. got God. Good for her. No, no, no. She's going to the gym to look good because she wants to be all high and tight and look good to other people. Like their interchange. <laughs> or maybe to him. No, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying because I've already been through it of like when your wife resents you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Even if she... it's justly so, but when your wife resents you and she's dressed up to go to the gym in her yoga pants, showing her camel toe. And she's resenting you. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to the gym. Fuck you, I'm out. Yeah, it's not just, I'm going it wasn't to the like, gym, babe. It wasn't it's like, like no, yeah, I'm going like, to the gym, babe. You, Kisses and gym. hugs and all this kind of shit. It was like, no, that part of it I did pick up on that, as far as Will goes, that obviously they had a very strained relationship. And maybe rightly so. I don't know. But overall, guy to guy, I like Will. I always like talking to him. I don't like his choices in life, but he's... Fucking... I mean, everybody makes bad choices. I've made bad choices. Everybody's made bad choices. You get past it, you move on, whatever. Now, if I was... He has four daughters that he's looking out for and all that kind of shit. Yeah, maybe he should be a better role model. Well, the, be a dad to your daughters and... If you got four daughters, maybe you should be a better role model so that they don't end up fucking married to a dude. Easy, easy, chica. I'm just saying. Come maybe on. if you got four daughters, you should be fucking setting a precedent of what you expect for your daughters to have in relationships because, no, because fucking I can chicks say marry their no, fucking dads. I, no. My first marriage, I could say, <laughs> you know, I... My ex-wife resented me a lot and all this kind of shit, even though I was just going to work every day and doing all this shit. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go bang other chicks. I get it. It's like, you got a wife that doesn't appreciate appreciate you. What, I, whatever. You know, it's just... No, I just think it's funny how much shit he throws all over the place when he's got shit in his own backyard and he needs to clean up. I don't know. Everybody's got shit. Um, Everyone's got shit. I'm not here to judge anybody. Are you going to go get more beer? Easy, chica. Well, I was just asking. Like, go get more beer. I was, I was just asking. <laughs> Feed my fucking obsession. Feed my addiction. Oh my God, you actually drank a whole beer. I did, and it's out. And there's no more, and I don't like Nope. <laughs> Girl, nope. <laughs> No, I know I'm an asshole. I get drinking too much and I fucking just start talking about stupid shit. I don't care. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna talk about us and get us some more followers? Oh, cool. Get over yourself. You know we're doing shit. I know. You better hurry up, yo. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> so we don't have shit anymore. But what? What are you talking about? Didn't he get some trucker girl Prego? So no. Well, I think that was I, the I rumor. I, well, no tr- facts. What Trakissa? Yeah. I, I think she had an abortion yeah. or something like that. That was given to me like by some other. That was fifth given, hand. By, yeah, <laughs> by some other info that yeah he did knock up Trakissa and. She had an abortion and then she lost her mind and all kinds of shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. 
that came from a direct source from somebody else. Yeah, I, I don't know. I won't name names, but... Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. But, yeah, it's like... It just is funny to me how some people can be so but, worried about well, someone no, else's life when they're just so aside, fucked up. I don't up. give a shit. I don't judge people like that. No. Guy to guy. Like I said, I like Will. The conversations we always had, I liked him. We cut up. It was funny. Whatever else he does in his life, hey, man, it's your business. Yeah, it's that's not your my, business. It's, it's not my place to say. I don't give a shit. Yeah. All I can I've say, made my own fuck-ups in life, too. All I, can say, all I can say, though, is if you're too busy fucking focusing on other people, maybe you got some own shit in your own fucking backyard because only unhappy people... Well, as far as the talking shit thing about other people... Yeah. Only, only people who are fucking shitty in their own fucking life... Is that the only focus on dragging other people down because they want to make themselves feel better or look better or whatever. Typically in, you know, that's like some high school shit, you know, when you're all self-conscious and worried about shit. You fucking start rumors about some fucking, you know, fucking some cheerleader chick or some shit about how she's boning somebody else and start some whole kinds of shit because you want the, you know, the fucking spotlight away from you. Because normal people, you know. Oh, don't. you're saying you're normal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, anybody got anything else to say about, talk about? <laughs> you gotta go get beer. I gotta keep you all entertained for like 10 minutes. I guess I'll go. William, please. Somebody want pork rum? Yeah. Tall can? Yeah, a couple. Two? Two, yeah. Mm. You know you want some too. <laughs> you can keep going if you want. It's been two I and a half hours. I will if anyone's got anything mm. to talk about. Ow. Oh. 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 Old. Old, old, old. <laughs> old, old, old. Uh, ten four. I have my own bad decisions. Also gonna write a book about decisions. Yeah, well, yeah, we all have a fucking novel about that shit. I mean, especially when you get older, you know, it's like you gotta pee. Well, a pee break. <laughs> Order in some beers. Uh, beer's only like a fucking two minute walk <laughs> or a minute. I'm just going to TA. Yeah, he's just going like a minute away. It'd take longer for him to check out than it will for him to walk over there and back probably. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> You're the best husband ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh. <laughs> I'm he said he's gonna go find him so strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super break. Oh wait. What? I'm not good enough for you? It's gotta be the two of us? Did Johnny D's girlfriend really hit some coke in court? What's your thoughts? Oh, yeah, I saw that video where it looked like she had her little napkin or whatever, and she was like, you know? Yeah, I totally think she was fucking hitting coke, dude. That bitch is crazy. Fucking shitting on his bed? I don't give a fuck if he smacked that bitch. <laughs> she fucking shit on his bed, dude. That's fucking way more fucked up. I mean... Yes, I am back to driving full-time. You know, she sniffs something to make her cry. Either way, I mean, Coke will make you cry if you sniff it. If you never sniff Coke, I mean. <laughs> some booty piercings or some tattoos. <laughs> Candy bars also. I got tattoos. Oh, that's the wrong arm. I'm drunk. <laughs> I got tattoos. <laughs> what the hell? Who does that? Who does what? Well, and like her thing, I saw, we watched some fucking short on YouTube of like a TikTok thing about her and the fucking, when I was a kid and a bee stung me, ugh, and they were doing some funny shit and like people making fun of her about that shit. That was hilarious. <laughs> Come on, you guys gotta help me keep going. I, I am not the fucking encycl encyclopedia of fucking horse shit like Jeremy. How many extra miles a week with bolt driving? Uh, we probably get an extra 1,500 miles right now. I mean, because most of the loads are just still 
you know, uh, solo runs, but, you know, I drive some so he can get some sleep and, and all that other stuff so he's not so tired all the time. You know, I'm really trying to beef him up a little bit and, you know, fatten him up a little bit. He's been super stressed out since, uh, you know, you know, me not being in the truck, it's like really taking a toll on him. He doesn't, he doesn't want to admit it, but, you know, we were both, both of us were at our healthiest together when we were driving all the time. And for the last two years, he's been trying to do it all on his own. I don't know what his deal is. I, I know I have a thing with driving in the snow and the ice and all that, you know, but it's like he's like been totally like trying to shut me out of the truck. But it obviously hasn't worked out. Um, let's see, I enjoy your videos. You both are awesome. Yeah, I told him we need to start putting out videos, like a couple videos a day. Just little whatevers, just, you know. How is sleeping going with the truck in motion? Oh, it's like, it's like a baby, dude. I sleep like a baby. I love sleeping in the truck. Like, just driving down the road, I sit in the passenger seat, and I'm like, I'm all bottle-headed. I'm like, I gotta go lay down. He's like, oh, really? Really? I'm like, yeah, really. I'm fucking tired. I sleep. I I think I've gotten the best sleep since I've been back in the truck these last couple weeks than I have in the last year. Um, oh, oh, her dog stepped on a beat. Yeah, because I'm sure she would know how that felt for dog did it. What do we have planned for the fourth? We have dropping a load, picking up a load, and driving to the TA in North Bend. Yeah, uh, I think it's really good that we're back in the truck together again. And I really like all the comments about everyone saying about how much better he looks. It's like, I know he's really worried about his health and all the weight loss he's had and everything, but his mood has it's like a total fucking 180. Yeah, we need to do more videos, that's for sure. Yeah, we're off tomorrow. We don't deliver until 5 a.m. on Monday. And then we have our next pickup at 7 a.m. Um... Oh, yeah, Jeremy Lee is really thin. He's lost a lot of weight. Uh, it's a lot of stress. His daughter came out for Christmas. And she total went Karen on him and shit. And, like, you know, that really stressed him out. And that, like, really triggered his weight loss. And then we both got COVID again. And that really fucking threw it into the fucking blender. And he hasn't really recovered from that yet. Yeah, we always teased like um, that when we got a house that we would build a bed that was like the sleeper of a truck um, so that we could sleep <laughs> because we sleep so good in the bed together and in the truck. We'd sleep on the same bed. We don't use the bunk. Uh, it's for storage, so we sleep there together. Yeah, Tim Gorley, he, I don't know what was up with that dude. Like, he thought he was going to be, like, the next big thing, I guess. And, like, we knew a couple, uh, Shannon and Kelly, that went to work for him. He charged him, like, $500 for stickers. It's like, stickers don't even cost that much if you were to buy them yourself. And then he ended up, what, selling fucking trucks? And what's he doing now? Nothing. Yeah, and I don't know what's up with Indiana Jack. Yeah, we're not going to go super team. I mean, the boss man is saying that milk is supposed to pick up with like 600,000 miles a month that he needs to cover. And so we'll be able to run as many miles as we can. So, I mean, maybe for a little while, especially while all the fuel and everything is so retarded we can actually make some money if we run like super solo or like you know like super solo slash team you know like because I don't know how the loads are 
I mean, all the milk that we've ran previously is like, it's all just for solo guys. So it's like you get it there in time, but then you can, you know, team back so you can get a load faster, you know, get pick up the next load faster. So Tim's got people running under him. I don't know if it's any good or not. I'm pretty sure it's not because he's like, I don't know, anything I ever saw at him in his videos, he's not like the the fuck you hang up on everybody with fucking cheap freight shit and he wasn't willing to foot any extra fucking costs for his drivers. He wanted to pass it all on to the drivers and didn't give a shit if they made any money. Wow, Jeremy's back already. That was really fucking quick. What? Dude, I swear to God, you would have gone like five minutes. And I saved money. You did? He saved money, guys. Well, this was... I got a six-pack and a tall boy. Eleven bucks for a six-pack. Yeah. Sucks. But yeah, eleven bucks for a six-pack. That sucks. Yeah, Jeremy is... Three ninety-nine, four bucks. So... Kind of 16 bucks total because I rounded up for the trucker relief fund too. Oh. 16 cents, no big deal. Anyway, but if I bought four, four tall boys, it would have been 16 plus tax. So you got six beer. Okay, so he spent 16 total. For less money. He spent 16 total on a six pack and a tall boy, and he contributed to the trucker relief fund tax. But he bought a six pack and a tall boy, but if he would have bought just four tall boys, it would have been 16 plus tax without the relief fund donation. So good for him. Save a buck wherever you can, man. Hell yeah. Save like two bucks. Yeah, you got the lot lizard discount. What? The lot lizard discount. Yep. <laughs> he did. He sucked a couple dicks. <laughs> he sucked a couple dicks on the way. Made a few dollars. <laughs> We're doing good, Daryl. We're doing good. What? Who? What? I mean, I kept everybody entertained while you were gone. You showing your asshole? Yep, totally. Got seven thousand dollars in super chats. <laughs> he said, "Shocker." <laughs> I didn't do anything dirty. I stayed right here. Cause I haven't flushed. Because I haven't flushed. I'm saving water. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> what I think is going on in California. What with the AB... What is that thing in California? The AB what? AB5. AB5? I think it's bullshit. Just like a lot. Yeah. I think it's bullshit. It's like... Why is California trying to cut off all their income? Like, they need more income. Why are they trying to make it so people can't contribute? Why are they trying to make people leave? I mean, honestly, if you think about it, all they're doing is making more reasons for people to leave. You know, it's like Joe Rogan and all these other big people that are like, fuck you, California, and they go to Texas, and they go to all these other places that are more favorable, and it's like, what are you doing? You're losing your fucking, you're, you're losing your, your, your income stream, you know? It's like, and it's like, okay, so you buy a, a fucking little shit box, fucking three bedroom, two bath house in fucking California for 800,000. Okay. So you buy that, you fucking flip it for a fucking million and you can go buy a goddamn ranch with fucking, you know, 20 acres for like three or four hundred thousand anywhere else in the fucking planet. You know, and then you got all this cash in your pocket. It's like, what the fuck are you people doing? Are you fucking retarded? I don't know. It's fucking dumb, dude. Well, the shitter is. Like, I don't know. Even that V-Locks 18 dude. He moved to Tennessee now. Yeah. Even yeah, he was, a, he was a. He was a. Yeah, he was a. Pure owner. Robot, yeah. But 
You pay no state income tax. He sold his house in Merced or wherever yeah, it was. Yeah, probably made a fuck ton of money. Probably made a shit ton of money. But paid for is, his house in cash and you didn't even have a fucking payment anymore. And maybe. He's, maybe, you know, but it's like, you know, it's like California is losing all these people who are paying them fucking money. No, California has had... Was it? The stupid. recent thing I saw, like, overall the people going into California as opposed to moving out of California... California is losing. Well, yeah, but who wants to move to D.C.? They got the fucking D.C. Yeah, I mean they got the fucking Redskins there. Who the fuck wants to live there? (laughs) It's not the Redskins anymore. Hello. Oh, was it the fucking people of fucking nationality color? No, they changed it some other name. The fucking the Brown Originals. (laughs) The original Browns. I mean, what the fuck? Real estate is crazy everywhere, but Lubbock. You can still buy a fucking giant ass fucking house in Lubbock. Like if you want to spend three hundred fifty thousand dollars, you can buy a fucking massive ass fucking house that would cost you a fucking million dollars everywhere else in the country. Literally. Now, if you want to look for cheaper, real and there's estate, still jobs in fucking Lubbock. Well, if you want to look for cheaper real estate in the country, the places to go are parts of the Midwest, Texas, but smaller communities, and the South. Mississippi, Alabama. You know, people, oh, I'm from uh, Mississippi. It's like, well, actually, it's really nice down there. Alabama's really nice. It's like, you can buy cheap ass houses in Mississippi, Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas. Mississippi, <laughs> Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Texas. You can, in smaller towns in Texas. Don't go to Dallas. Don't go to yeah, Houston yeah. or San Antonio or Austin or anything like that. Go to places like Lubbock. Oh, it's the smaller. Washington comrades. What are they fucking from Russia now? What the hell are you up to? Well, he said it's the he's Selena the racist. It's the Washington com oh commanders. Commanders. Whatever, dude. No, actually, if you'd said Comanches, that would have went from the Redskins to the Comanches or something. Like yeah, that. and it's like whatever, dude. Like, what are they gonna change the Braves now? Yeah, they're working on. In the that. Indians. Yeah, they're working on those. What the fuck? Why, dude? Who gives a shit? They are the well, fucking... the funny thing is, if you ask actual Indians... They don't give a shit. American Indians, indigenous, whatever. I don't know if the phone's dying. They don't give they a don't shit. Care. They're actually like, no, that's cool. Yeah, I'm that's cool. Ready. Oh, yeah, you fucking recognize us as fucking what we've always known ourselves as? Oh, cool. Yeah, they call me a cracker. I don't give a shit. Well, it was like a... What was it? <laughs> these commanders can command these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that was a... Uh... Shit. What team was it? Something like Braves or... Oh, the Broncos. Horses are offended. You better change the fucking name. Horses are offended. Go ask a fucking horse in the He's fucking... In nah, I'm serious, dude. Oh, the Pirates. Pirates be, would totally oh, be... That... The They'd pirates, be offended. The pirates of the Caribbean, and that was Johnny Depp, and he's yeah. he's ousted. So yeah. you gotta change the name. Yeah, gotta change the, the name of the pirates. Change them to the. And the Green Bay Packers. Oh, that's fucking. That's sexually explicit. That that's saying that they might be gay. Because they're Packers. What are they packing? Do they make fudge up there? Hopefully, at least eight inches. <laughs> Don't even joke, they'll change it. Actually, they changed the name. <laughs> copyright has, and Ford has a copyright in Brussels. There you go. What are they going to change the name to? The fucking Cavs? I'm sure there's already something named the Cavs. No, uh, Tornadoes. Dug, oh, yeah. I dug the uh, South Park episode. It's been <laughs> several years ago now of the Redskins. What are they, the Dolphins? The, the Dolphins the Redskins now. Redskins. Dolphins go are Go fund me or something. Go fuck yourself fund or whatever <laughs> it was. That was great. Yeah. South Park was great about that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, the Dolphins. The Dolphins are offended. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Oh. <laughs> it's someone it's honking on the free horn. I was like, where the fuck is that coming from? Cleveland the freeway's Indians right out here. Are so. the Guardians now? Dude, this is so fucking stupid, dude. So fucking stupid, dude. I fucking hate this fucking... Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, yeah. they're packing Vienna sausages. Did they change the fucking Cleveland Indians or now the Guardians? 
The Guardians of what? The galaxy? I mean, fuck. The Guardians of what? Buffaloes? Fucking Tatonka. Yeah, where are the Tatonka now? The, the, the Guardians of nothing. <laughs> it's true. Drink up. Drink up. <laughs> Am I not true? I mean, fuck, dude. No, where does it stop? It's the commanders. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so the Redskins were the commanders. The commanders are what? Your fucking grave sites? I mean, come on. You're, you're yeah. the guardians of what? The fucking graveyard? I mean, you ain't guardian and fucking commanding shit. You're fucking living on some fucking cheap ass res, getting some fucking little ass fucking paycheck, drunk walking down highways and getting run the fuck over. You ain't guardian or commanding shit. Are you making a slight on the Navajos <laughs> that walk up and down the highway? Hey, I got Navajo in me. Well, not in me, but maybe my grandma. Give a little, give a little Cherokee in there a little while. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. I already got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I got my Cherokee card. <laughs> I love Selena Rands. <laughs> it's true, though. This whole fucking world has gone fucking retarded, dude. What, we just need to build some fucking stadiums and have gladiator wars because we're all going down like the fucking Romans. Fucking just do it. At least we have some fun on the way out. Give us some beer and some cake, give, too. Give us some machetes and fucking... Fuck, fight. man. At least we'll be entertained on the way out instead of starving I mean, to death. If I was a gladiator, I'd be as good looking as Russell Crowe back in the day. Right? Are you entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> fucking be Sparta and kick that bitch into the... F the bitch we call fucking Brandon into the goddamn hole. What? The pizza got cold? We got a microwave. Yeah, it's we got right. a microwave. It's all good. Pizza's good cold. So what's going down? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently everything in society. Junk Selena. Fun Selena. Check <laughs> Wait, you just check in? Yeah, you just checking in. We're going to be in your hood, and we're going to be right the fuck out. Sorry, bro. Again. I mean, at least give you a heads up. We'll be loading. We'll be coming through well, Monday Monday, more, Monday. Well, Monday, we'll be loading in Nampa. We'll be coming through Tri-Cities. Around noon to three. We'll be buzzing through, and then we might be coming back through after we... What, yep. Yakima? Yakima. We're supposed to We're going to be Yakima. loading probably cherries and Yakima. On Wednesday. By Wednesday, Thursday or something like that. Yeah. Maybe we'll be in a position if... If, you, if you're if you able I, to meet. I did, I did send you a comment, but for some reason the comment didn't go through. I went back and looked later and it didn't go through that Chaka, if... You're deleted he, off of my channel right fucking now if you make that comment again, John oh, Smith. God damn it. But... Chaka, I sent you a comment, but I don't, I think it got censored, deleted, or, censored or something like that. Like, hey, email me your number, and maybe we can work out if you want to meet up when we come back through Tri-Cities. Yeah. Yeah, it will be through Monday at some point, depending well, on how long it takes to get loaded. And trucking, then... trucking with Selena at gmail.com. Email me your number. I'll get a hold of you. Maybe we can meet up. Yeah. Yeah, even if it's for five seconds. Even if it's just on the pass At least get a picture with this hairy little fucker called Chaka. Because <laughs> was Chaka off of fucking Land, Land Lost. Lost with fucking Will Smith, the little fucking hairy little fucker? Chaka. Chaka. My name's Chaka. <laughs> was Chaka little asshole. <laughs> Not you. The Chaka. Bad Chaka. Bad Chaka. <laughs> I got the size, bring the size of a walnut, and he fucking the T Rex what brings that? him walnut a walnut. The size of like a fucking car. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Watch this. Oh, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's <laughs> fucking with you. Stop. God damn it. <laughs> hmm. We're going to Seattle too. Chaka said, Monday I'm heading to Seattle first thing in the morning and I should be back in the tri-state between 2 and 3. 8 million. Well, like I said. 8 million votes. Ha ha ha. My farts. Yeah, that was all legit. Um, no, Chaka, just send me, an e send me an email with your number and 
Yeah, we'll see I'll if we can cross some, paths. I'll send you some dick pics and a few taint pics. Maybe and we can meet up in and... Ellensburg or something. No, just... Yeah. Yeah, look at what I did to John Smith. <laughs> well, what, thank you. Him you. A yeah, I gave him a wrench. <laughs> thank you, Brian. Or Bourbon. Who? What? Bourbon? What? Bourbon? That was like a knockoff of bourbon or something. <laughs> you, you, you're the fucking, you're the swap meat version. <laughs> I can't see it from there. Uh, I got Kinder, my glasses Kinder on. Morning, Kinder Morgan in Seattle. Well, here, I got your glasses Kinder right here. Morgan. Well, I just couldn't see it. Yeah. It's too far away. <laughs> yeah, because you run fuel, right? Mm-hmm. Can anyone say what's up? I'll be at Ken Morgan in Seattle for about half hour, 45 minutes. Just enough time to get in line and get loaded. I know how Ken Morgan works. I did Ken Morgan in Vegas. I did Ken Morgan in LA, Long Beach. I did Ken Morgan in Phoenix. I used to load in Salt Lake. You're so cool. Who? You. Why? Because you got loaded everywhere. <laughs> Kinder Morgan in <laughs> Fresno, Kinder Morgan in Sacramento. How many Kinder Morgan load Kinder Morgans have you got loaded at? <laughs> I did fuel for like 15 years. I went all over the place. So went to Flying J or they were called Great West or whatever and all that bullshit. Holly refining, Gatex, Gatex, or whatever it was called. Gatex. <laughs> yeah, everybody said Gatex. It was down Long Beach. Dude, there's this place we pass when we go uh, out of Lubbock when we're going towards Fiona. It's called Simplot. <laughs> That's a fertilizer place. I know it's a fertilizer place, but it just sounds funny. Sounds like there should be a bunch of dudes in tight pants working there. <laughs> Yeah, you just drop loads everywhere. Drop yeah. loads. He dropped loads all over the country. <laughs> and what is it? Giant? Giant and Flagstaff before it closed down. It's been shuttered for many years. I went to Giant and Flagstaff for a while. Where else? Did anybody got else anything else they want me to rant about? Yeah, <laughs> I'm on a roll. I taught drunk, hmm. drunken call since. Call me butter because I'm on a roll. <laughs> Did y'all ever get a second truck? Nope. nope. Not until after the first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically. Gotta get your first one before you yep. get a second. Never got past the first. Nine times out of ten, it's Kinder, Seattle, or Shell. So the truck is pretty much autopilot. Yeah, I mean, doing fuel. I don't they know. They always John. told me the refineries to go to, loading racks, tank farms, whatever. You know, it's like the one weird place I went to was down near. Quartzite, Arizona, south of Lake Havis. <laughs> what? Somebody just sent me a stinky. <laughs> what? There was one place south of Lake Havasu. I went to one time where they reformulated fuels and shit, where they took in mixed fuels, recycled it, and turned it into 87. <laughs> Some <Some gas. laughs> and it was like this little loading rack and it had one arm it was out in the middle of this yard between Lake Havasu and Quartzsite, Arizona I went there and I got this really recycled fuel that they turned into 87 where they took in like garbage garbage fuel <laughs> and brought in other fuel and mixed it to make it 87 you get an unbranded load of 87 fuel. And that's why you should never fuel at AM, PM. Always fuel at Chevron. I mean, unless you can't afford it. Well, the only places, okay, 
because I ran Chevron for years, Shell, Arco, BP, whatever, Sinclair, all these other ones. Chevron was the only one, Chevron, when anybody, like, what kind of gas should I buy? Because people would always ask me, because I hauled fuel, so they asked me, like, what kind of fuel is the best? And I go, well, there's branded fuel, like Chevron. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Here, hold on. Kids again. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, we're doing a live feed. What's up? Do you have a uh, you know if you have an extra like type C charger laying around that's like super long? Not super long, no. No. I brought them all with me, I think. Okay. Yeah, if they if there is, it's over there on the counter somewhere. Alright. Yeah, but What's a type probably C charger? the ones for our phones. The Samsung ones? Yeah. I had a gray one, I think, but I think I gave it to Dustin for his fucking controller or some shit. Alright. Alright? Alright. Alright. Bye. Alright. 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 Okay. 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 Hey, Mom. Mom. Do you have a con do you have a cord? Do you have thumbtacks? Mom, are there frozen burritos in the freezer? Mom. Mom, does it how do you turn on the faucet? Mom? What's this? What, how do you do laundry, Mom? <laughs> Someone's totally having a party. No. So, but Chevron, yeah, is the best fuel, yeah, or it's different. No, Chevron. Uh, Chevron was the only gas of all the years I loaded fuel that tracked their additives, the Tecron. They were the only ones with integrity in their fuel that the additives that got injected into the fuel as you did it. And then when I used to load Chevron with Chevron and Texaco merged years back, but you would actually, there was a bottles of Chevron Tecron that if the fuel didn't inject properly at the loading rack, they would give you a jug of Tecron to put in it, to put in it and disperse across the fuel and shit. So, Chevron was the only one which Chevron bought out Texaco, the branding rights to Texaco years back, that Chevron was the only one that had additive uh, legitimacy that they actually tracked the additives that were put in their fuel. Shell also Said had it. their own, their V-Power uh, additive, but it wasn't monitored. regulated, it wasn't monitored. Um, BP or Arco, they had added it too, but now I can it say wasn't, it wasn't regulated the same way either. Chevron was the only one with Tecron that regulated and mandated and tracked their actual additives put into their fuel. Now I can say when I bought my Dodge pickup, if anybody's watched this for years, saw my Dodge pickup at one time, one point in time. One time. Yeah. But when I bought it, I only put Chevron in it. And if I ever had a moment when I couldn't afford it, and I would put AM, PM, or whatever, what Arco in it, or any other Arco thing. Arco BP. Yeah, it, it would have a ping in the engine. Yeah. You could hear a ping in the actual engine. And then I would go fill up with Chevron again, even just the cheap shit, and it would fucking ran fine. And I did a thing because I was making plenty of money at the time and I could afford to put Chevron in it. And I would yell at my son if he fucking put Arco in it. Or unbranded. Or yeah. unbranded. I told him it had to only be Chevron because I could tell by the fucking sound of the engine if it ran anything else other than Chevron. It ran the best and it had no issues, no sounds, no nothing with Chevron. And I can legitimately say... Honestly, 100%, I ran it fucking, like, 99% of the time was just Chevron in it, and I never had any problems with it, and it always ran good, it always sounded good, and the moment I had to put some cheap shit in it, because maybe Chevron wasn't available if I was going out of town or something, and, but you could tell the difference, it ran better, and it got better fuel mileage, I mean, it made it maybe not a lot, you know, difference, but it was a difference. Well, and it was the worth is, the money. I can tell you because I hauled fuel for 
almost 15 years. And this was before I met him. Yeah, before so we got together too, but... It was my own you have, personal thing. You have branded gasoline and community gas. Chaka can attest to this too. Chevron, well, branded gasoline, sh Chevron, Shell, uh, shit. So you said, mobile, mobile was another one. He said, he said top tier, more like bottom barrel. No, now, Chevron legitimately had, because there was a guy the that, better fuel. that he actually took fuel gas, Chevron gas, to the actual Chevron testing site where they had a whole bunch of engines lined up on dynos and shit, where they put Chevron gas and then community gas. You know, you could say Chevron, Shell, all the way on down, Sinclair, Mobile, and all these other ones and stuff. But the Chevron Tecron was top tier, mm -hmm. where it would actually, the motors, they have them on dynos, yeah, they run running smoother. with just Chevron gas and everything. And they look at the deposits on The Chevron was A1 Chevron. Was the best for your motor. Was the best gas overall across the board. Because then when you break it down from Chevron, Shell, mobile other brands of gas down to community gasolines because like sinclair people just, think sinclair is a brand it's a brand but it, they don't yeah arco has a top tier gimmick yeah yeah they had a top tier yeah. gimmick but their additive was their own bp arco additive yeah if but it's it never cheap, ran as smooth it was cheaper just think about this in life if it's free nothing in life is free so if, you know, if it seems like too good a deal, it probably is. But if you bought gas, community gasoline, I'd say even Costco, people think when they go to Costco, you're getting a great deal on gas, but it's just community gas. It's not Costco, Sam's Club, all these Walmart, Murphy's Express, whatever. They're community gas that they have a generic additive in them that... It's just gas. I mean, if you got a regular car and you don't need high performance, buy cheap gas. That's the thing I was told you. Like, what's the best gas? The cheapest one. What kind of car you got? Oh, I got a fucking 96 Chevy shit box. You well, never heard of Sinclair? It's the one with the dinosaur on it. Yeah, the green dinosaur? I mean, there's no it's Sinclair. It's a regional thing. It's, a, it's in the western states. It's not. Yeah. But you got, say, you go back east, you know, and you got... Uh, what Sunco. Sunoco and Amico and all these other ones or whatever, a lot of them are going to be generic gas. But if the prices are cheap, it's for a reason. It's generic gas. It, it runs your car. It it's fine. Yeah. You will not, you know, everything's fine. If, no. you're, if you've got a Maserati and you want it to run great, like we got a BMW and you got to put premium in it, Chevron Premium is the best. Is the best. It's going to. It's going to make your engine. It, Okay, so you purr. you can put mobile the yeah, cheapest mobile shit. Good. Uh, you buy a brand new car and you can put the cheapest shit you want in it and it'll run just fine. But it will not last as long as a car that you put Chevron in it forever. If you buy it brand new and you put Chevron in it from day one to day last, it will last probably twice as long as a car you put fucking no, garbage Tecron, in it. Tecron, Tecron with Chevron and Texaco brand too. If you got Texaco or Chevron, it's all Tecron. Those are the best fuels to buy if yeah. you've got a quality car that you want to take care of. Yeah, Those any car best. you want to last. Otherwise, if you've got a shipbox, a regular car, you got a you got a 2008 Chevy Malibu. Yeah, you put, put the shit. cheapest gas you can find in it. It don't yeah. matter. If you got a car that you want to last for fucking 20 years, put Chevron in it. If you're just gonna fucking trade it in and get another one, put the cheapest shit you got in it. If you ever want to keep that motherfucker, pay it off and keep it until it fucking dies, put fucking Chevron in it. Like a brand new car and you don't give a shit about it, put the cheapest shit in it because fucking chances are your warranty's gonna cover the shit anyways. But if you want to fucking keep that shit for fucking ever, like all these dudes that have all these old fucking 7.2s and all this other shit, shit that, you well, know. Diesel. Diesel. Well, I mean, well, I guess I guess that's diesel, but. I mean, talking about your ass. I'm talking about my ass. But even if you got a, a gas one that's, you know, equivalent. Well, <laughs> uh, Exxon, yeah. Exxon is also a it part of mobile. It used to be. Exxon and mobile are. Combined, I think, too. Yeah, yeah ExxonMobil is the same if you haven't heard of all they the oil the same, fucking leaks. They use the and same having to use additive. Dawn fucking soap to She's clean up all the fucking, fucking 
butt rumbles, man. Yeah, well, yeah, Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil is the one that has to, you know, they have to use all the Dawn fucking dish detergent to fucking clean up all the wildlife because they fucking keep spilling shit all over the fucking and ocean. He's done it too. Everybody's done it. Everybody's had a disaster and shit. <laughs> Chevron? I don't know. I don't think so. But no, if you want a car, if you buy a car brand fucking new and you want it to last forever, you're going to pay it off and you're just going to keep it forever because it's your dream car or it's a fucking great car or whatever it is, Chevron. Only put the fucking cheap shit in it when you absolutely have to. Yeah, diesel across the board is just diesel. There's no special diesel when they, when anybody... If you buy a diesel now, you're fucking dumb as shit because now you get... Shit. If you buy a, a diesel pickup... Because now you have to put death in it. Yeah, you're a dipshit. Yeah, if, not... you, if you got a, pre, a pre-emission diesel from back in the day, like when diesel used to be 96 cents when fucking gas was fucking, you know, fifty. yeah, you know, that was a great time. But now you got to put death in that shit. And it's fucking all stupid now. Fuck that, dude. I would never buy a diesel right now. Like, we were looking at fucking buying a, a 2500 heavy duty. You know, it's like, fucking V8 work truck that motherfucker. I don't want no goddamn diesel. Fucking fuck that deaf shit. No, if you're going to go buy any new car now, don't buy diesel. You got deaf, increased diesel prices and everything. It's like, buy gas. Just buy gas. Don't. She's gone Valdez on me. No. Fuck you. It's Chevron. Not Exxon. What? Someone says she's gone Valdez on me. Valdez Exxon is fucking Valdez. Exxon. Exxon Valdez, not Chevron. Exxon and fucking well, I Mobil. Say, I say buy a gas car. Diesel truck and delete. Yeah, well, it's like why? Diesel's more expensive and it's always going to be more expensive. Don't buy a diesel. There's no benefit and to it. Why I pay an extra. Okay, so we're looking at trucks online the other day because we're t- talking about buying a fucking fifth wheel and need to upgrade our pickup so we can have a decent sized fifth wheel. Otherwise, you got to have like a smaller fifth wheel. I don't want to buy a diesel. Don't want to buy a diesel. Why because, would I buy a diesel? It's because it's got stupid. death and all this other bullshit in it. And it's like, why would you buy a diesel and then delete it? Well, okay, let's pay extra money for a diesel and then pay extra money to delete it or just buy a fucking V8. There's a bad gas motor. It's fine. Yeah, it's like we were. Gas we, is fa- cheaper. So okay, so we were looking. Okay, so you can buy a V8 work truck, 2500 HD Silverado 4x4 for forty-seven thousand, or you can buy a fucking diesel 2500 HD 4x4 for seventy-four thousand. So why would you pay fucking what like thirty thousand dollars more for a diesel and then have to pay what however much it costs to delete a pickup? On top of that, so you're paying like eighty, eighty-five thousand to get basically back to a, buying a forty-thousand-dollar pickup. Like, who the fuck? Who does this math around here? Are you guys related to Biden <laughs> or Kamala? Kamal. Kamala. Kamala. Kamala toe. I mean, I mean, fucking really, dude. It's like I mean, are if you, you guys back, drinking the Kool-Aid out there? I mean, are you guys I mean, fucking you, retarded? If you're hell bent on a diesel pickup. Go buy a fucking... Go buy an old 2001 Ford 73 diesel. He said, because America. Because America. America. Yeah. We have, Black well, smoke. Yeah, because America. Fuck that, dude. Fucking because America can suck my fucking $40,000. I'll save my money and go buy fucking gas. Guess what? America fucking makes oil as the last time I checked. They want to put fucking fucking put restrictions on the shit and beg the fucking world for fucking more shit because apparently there's what was it there's in in since covid there's an exceptional amount of fucking uh demand compared to uh availability and now we have to beg these countries for shit but be, because fucking dumb fucking morons fucking cut off the keystone pipeline and put restrictions and throttling down our own shit that we got to ask other people for other shit it's like you know what and oh oh, we're just gonna have to pay these uh, absorbent prices because of fucking putin which is fucking retarded until fucking until we have to go fuck yourself dude do you think we're all fucking morons 
I mean, you know, most of us have an eighth grade education, you know, and one, one time in history of fucking eighth grade education was fucking more, well, I guess technically it's still a higher education level than most people who do a four years in college after graduating high school. Back in the day, you had an eighth grade education meant something. Does anybody know now uh, the fucking load ratio to weight and all this other shit for a fucking uh, a horse and cart? Like how much you can load on a fucking cart of hay and to fucking pull with your horse? No, because four years of college doesn't get you that knowledge. You got to do a couple more years and get your bachelor's now. But fuck, you didn't even have to go to high school to know that shit before. Yeah, I need a Snickers. I'm fucking angry. <laughs> I mean, it's true, though. It's true, though. In the fucking 1800s and early 1900s, an eighth grade education is more education than anybody with a four-year fucking college degree has right now. If you ask anybody right now, how much weight could you load on this fucking cart and be hauled by a horse? And they'd be like, uh, I don't know. Can I Google it? No, bitch, there's an EMP and there's no more internet. Do the math. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, I guess you're going to fucking starve and you're going to kill your horse and bust the wheel. Yeah, go buy some fucking tighter pants and fucking squeeze your balls some more and lose some more testosterone. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, shit. Am I wrong? Am I wrong though? No. I know. Keep going. <laughs> the horse <laughs> all around my blue balls. <laughs> Your face is hilarious, and they're dying. <laughs> it's go. true though. I just, I just, I took the leash off. I'm like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, run around the park. <laughs> It's fucking stupid. This whole fucking world is fucking retarded. Oh my god, I can't kill my baby. What am I gonna do? I don't know. Quit fucking everybody on the fucking block. I don't know. I mean, just like I said, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. You know, it's like, oh, Jesus Christ. What am I gonna do? I can't pay my bills. I don't know. Get a fucking job. But I'm accustomed to a certain lifestyle. I don't know what her skill then. I don't fucking know. Maybe you don't need that Fendi fucking purse. Maybe you need to fucking go fucking go to work. I don't know. No filters on here, motherfucker. You stupid? (laughs) This is a wrong motherfucking channel if you're looking for filters. It's fucking stupid. Oh my god, everybody's gotten crazy. Bitches are stupid. Maybe some dudes to start slapping some bitches around again. I don't know. I, I can agree with that. So what happens when you <laughs> give women the vote? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with every being, everyone being able to have a vote. But hello, be smart if you're going to vote. Don't be all like, I'm all in my emotions. I'm fucking so passionate. And, oh my god. It's like, no. Fucking have some knowledge. Keep rolling. It's okay. Nobody needs to hear from me on this. I mean, it's fucking true, dude. The fucking society is collapsing. You're like, oh, like, oh, we got Tinder. Oh, swipe right and swipe left. I'm going to get fucked. It's like, yeah, you're the legion of unfuckables. So, yeah, if you fucking swipe right on the fucking <laughs> fucking purple-haired fucking Chewbacca over there, yeah, you're going to get fucking laid. And guess what? You're going to have a fucking 18 years of pain for that fucking shit. Because now you can't make that bitch fucking abort it. You need to make them spell the word truck before you can vote. (laughs) You know, and and that's another thing, too. Like, people think truckers, oh, they're just fucking truckers. Yeah, bitch, get in the fucking truck, and you go try to drive that bitch. You go fucking turn that corner like you're in a goddamn Corolla, and let's see how that ends up for you. 
Oh, and guess what? When you want to stop and sleep at night, why don't you try to back that motherfucker up into a spot? I've been driving for fucking six years, and that's fucking difficult. You want to fucking know about fucking some real shit in this world? Why don't yeah. you go get a fucking skill? Why don't you it's get like something? Cro- it's like Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. You know, That's my knife. No, 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 no. Like Crocodile Dundee. Even like, I ain't got to back up. I got a donk. <laughs> yeah, I got some motherfucker over here who knows how. <laughs> I got a donk. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, why don't you go learn a fucking skill? I got fucking four major skills in my fucking life. I'm holding, what, am I 43 now? <laughs> I don't even fucking know because when I look in the mirror, I don't see no fucking 43 year old bitch. But you know what? I can plumb, I can weld, I can pipe fit, and I can truck drive. What the fuck can you bitches out there do? Oh, I can fucking get knocked up and go get an abortion. Fuck you, cunt. Why don't you fucking go and get out of your goddamn Taco Bell job and quit worrying about all the fucking, I gotta get my nails done, and who's gonna pay my cell phone bill, and who's gonna pay my telephone bill, and well, bitch, why don't you fucking pay for it? Ain't nobody paying for my fucking shit. You know what, all these fucking stimuluses check? How many fucking stimulus checks have all these motherfuckers got? You know how many I've got? Zero. You know why? Because I earn my shit. Fuck all you goddamn cunts out there. Fucking go good goddamn job. Go make it so that when you go to the fucking store, the motherfucker's open. Because people want to go to fucking work because they want to let, what, what is it? Oh, let's go to America for the American dream. We can own our own business and we can make money. Motherfuckers ain't out there earning no motherfucking money. You ain't even going to work. Dude, if I could live off of $1,200 a year stimulus check from the government, good damn bitch, I'd be fucking sitting at home on my ass. That won't even pay my fucking groceries right now. Who the fuck are you kidding? And you fucking cunts want to sit out there and fucking have 10 million fucking kids so that fucking welfare pays for your shit where I'm going to fucking work to pay for you to have all those fucking kids? God damn it. They, you need to have a motherfucking abortion. Fuck you, and I don't want to pay for your fucking kids. I don't even get to enjoy them fucking asking me fucking 10 million questions a goddamn day. Fuck you. Fuck everybody in this goddamn fucking state, dude. Fuck everybody in the goddamn world, you lazy fucking pieces of shit. You lazy motherfuckers, dude. How are you ever going to do anything in your entire life? What are you going to do when you get old, huh? Who's going to change your motherfucking diaper? Some bitch who doesn't give a fuck and going to let you sit in that shit for fucking three days. And, oh, here's some old-ass fucking green jello. It might be lime. I don't know. It's been sitting there for a while. It could have been strawberry before, but now it's green. I don't fucking know. It's true. Bunch of lazy motherfuckers, dude. Motherfuckers need to get out there, whip their fucking kids' asses, fucking make them go to fucking work, make them go to fucking school, teach them that it's not okay to fuck everybody on fucking Facebook, Tinder, fucking Instagrams, Snapchats, whatever the fuck it is you dumb fucks out there doing. Have some fucking real relationships again. Fucking, dude, it's the downgrade of society, and it's fucking shitty That it went from fucking a great thing from the time I was born to the fucking end of the fucking world before I'm even halfway through my fucking life, dude. It's fucking retarded, dude. What the fuck is he calling me? Kids are calling now. What? Yeah, calling. I'm I'm serious, dude. Fucking people are fucking retarded. Uh, what are you guys doing? We're having a live feed. What do you want? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a rant. Live feed on the iPad? No, no. I I just oh. got up to answer it and it didn't and then I didn't get there in time. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna call you on the iPad so you can start playing Okay, because oh. that's super important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's all buzzed up, dude. So oh. she's on a roll, man. Yeah, call, tell him to call me on the iPad. I got right. it. <laughs> <Hilarious. laughs> What's up? Wow, he's got a whole command center. What the fuck? He was going to put the PC right there, but just put it on this extra desk. Yeah, yeah, the extra desk. Yeah. 
That makes sense. Yeah. Lulu! Is that your microphone that you're going to shove up your ass, or are you actually going to make some money with that shit? Oh, you guys got a hotel? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. sure that motherfucker's clean. Taylor might be fucking moving in. Who? Taylor. <laughs> one of our viewers. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, rent's rent, motherfucker. Yeah. Now, he's cool. We met him in Florida. You, you might be able to actually go hang out and fucking go to bars and shit and meet bitches. Rent's rent until I buy my own house. Yeah, I heard about you fucking and your little bullshit. Fucking, we give you the money and you use your fucking credit score and shit and you're like, oh, I'm having the big room and it's my fucking place now. I did not say that. I'm just fucking with you, dude. I'm fucked up. What do you want from me, dude? I'm like you at 4 o'clock in the morning when you're fucking tripping. <laughs> Why didn't he switch rooms? Huh? Why did he switch rooms? Uh, cause he wanted more room. For what? That ass. For he's got more fucking bottled waters he needs. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he ran a room for bottled water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tomorrow, he's gonna clean the other room though. Oh, I'm gonna tell him. Yeah, I'm a fucking dirty. Dirty. Catch him riding dirty. I'm catching him riding dirty. Yeah, all that shit gotta go. Yeah. He needs to throw some shit in the motherfucking trash, dude. Yeah. You're fucking, you're a hoarder, dude. I'm a fucking, I'm gonna sign you up for that show. Did you see my new controller? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in the picture. Cause you needed one. Yeah. I needed one too. Where's mine? You just got a new one. <laughs> but I got a PS5 controller. Oh yeah, cause that'll work with your fucking computer. Yeah, you got a PC. What the fuck? Well, a PS4 controller works. <laughs> I guess you'll find out if a PS5 controller works. Yeah, well. If it doesn't, I I got the receipt. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's becoming a camboy. He's gonna be mullet man. <laughs> oh no, he cut his mullet off. The, the only thing he doesn't have is lights now. Oh uh, yeah, we'll peel the motherfuckers off the wall. I bet they'll fucking stick again. Maybe. Well, you can try it. Yeah, if not, he'll just have to order. Yeah, he'll just have to spend more money on nothing. <laughs> All right, we're doing the live feed. All right, bye. All right, bye. All right, bye. Anybody else got anything for me to rant about? Because I could rant about a lot of shit right fucking now. <laughs> 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 I don't have to say anything. <laughs> she says it all. I mean, I'm not speaking non facts. How do you feel about abortion? I think it's fucking bullshit. You can do whatever the fuck you want, and I don't think anybody should tell you you can or cannot. I think there should be regulations on how you can do it, or how late you can do it. I don't think you should do it after the motherfucker's born. But, you know, I think you should have to at least 10 weeks. 
Who the fuck is Carrie Ann? The dumb Carrie bitch? Ann. Is oh, that the dumb bitch who... I heard from a secret servant agent who heard from another one who was in the car. Yeah, fuck you, cunt. You don't know nothing. That's fucking toilet seat fucking shit. That's fucking the, the game of toilet seat. You know, you fucking lose facts along the way. And then the motherfucker even said, I have never said that. But nobody wants to believe fucking... Nobody wants to believe Turtle. Nobody listens to Turtle. Yeah, nobody listens to Turtle. Sounds like a song. Yeah, a fucking really bad song. It's not even a one-hit wonder. Oh. Yeah, she's a chick that was testifying about... Yeah, about Trump January fucking... January 6th or yeah. whatever. Oh, and he fucking lunged forward in the... Yeah, okay, he, he wasn't even yeah, right. in the car, but yeah, he reached forward and grabbed the fucking dude and the steering wheel. Grabbed the guy around the throat. Grabbed the guy around the throat. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Like, yeah, okay, if you were fucking 25, maybe that would be okay, but 75? Probably not. And he wasn't even anywhere in the vicinity, and it was all just a ploy, just like everything else. They made sure they had fucking people in the fucking, in the audience, I guess you would call it the audience of whoever stormed it, was fucking undercover people. And the fucking guards that just let him in, oh yeah, come on in, you know, and it's like everybody just filed out all calmly. Like I watched the videos and they're all just going down the stairs all calmly. And it's like, no, if there's a fire, people are fucking trampling people enough. These people are coming out all quietly and calmly and this and that. And I'm like, fuck all that, dude. It's all a setup. Just like fucking, I don't even want to say it, but 9-11. It's all a fucking setup. It's all a fucking, it's all shit just to make fucking the masses like, oh my god. You know, it's all a fucking ploy. It's all propaganda. It's all bullshit. There's all other kinds of shit going on in the background. Like, oh, let's, the Confederate flag. Oh my God, that's been like something forever that nobody gave a shit about. Let's make a shit about it. Oh, and what what was going on while they were doing the whole thing about the Confederate flag and tearing down statues? Oh, Obama was fucking signing away all of our sovereignty to fucking China. Hmm, yeah, because that wasn't important. No, that wasn't important at all. Let's worry about some fucking flag that was part of the history because, you know, nobody wants to remember history because history got us to here. So, yeah, but let's just fucking abolish history and forget it even mattered or, you know, it's like, but no, you have what you have today because of what happened yesterday. But no, let's get rid of all of that because that was bad. Yeah, but you have what you have today because of yesterday. Mm, yeah, because we're all so fucking smart. Oh, and, and this whole thing with kids in school, this is where it all starts. No child left behind. Yeah, well, guess what? If you're fucking behind, you're getting left fucking behind because you're dumb. Maybe you need to repeat and learn this shit. Oh, no, we don't want them to fucking learn it. If they're behind and they don't learn it, then we can change the fucking history because they didn't know what it was before, so now we can change it. Yeah, fuck off. And what is this fucking shit with this no new RVW bullshit? You know, it's like, where did this come from? Like, haven't heard from this and shit in, I don't know, since the 50s when it became a thing? You know, it's like, how all of a sudden is it a thing? Because we can't fucking throw fucking the fucking rainbow on the fucking capital anymore. We can't do anything with the fucking Confederate flag anymore. It's like, what else can we fucking do now to fucking distract everybody from what's really going on? Oh, let's do this so everyone talks about this and we can get all this other shit done and then it'll be too late by the time anyone realizes that we just distracted them again. It's like fucking shining a shiny silver toy in front of a fucking baby oh you're crying shake 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 here you go pay attention to this don't mind daddy beating mommy in the background your fucking little baby brother's shaking a rattle in front of your face no fuck off <laughs> they think we're all fucking retards out here well guess what dude we got more guns than your fucking army does go fucking go ahead you want to take my shit try
You want to fucking do all this other shit? You want to blame it on Putin? You want to blame it on some other fucking country that doesn't have anything to do with us? Go ahead. You know, there's fucking, you know, there's like fucking 10% of the fucking country that's going to believe you. It ain't me. Someone named Ray blocked you? I don't know who the fuck Ray is, and obviously you're not blocked. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, what else is there to talk about? Come on. I'm gonna bring some other shit. Come on. <laughs> Jeremy, how's Jeremy, how's checking going? going? It's going fucking great now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I rock. Yeah. Mm. Fucking what's cooking? Yeah, Selena oh, for John, present. John's the one you made a ranch, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, who's Ray? Yeah, who the fuck is Ray? Don't know. But obviously, you're not blocked because you're still making fun of it. Yeah. Yeah. Selena for president. Yeah. We should all fucking run that, dude. Selena for president. Fucking Selena and Jeremy. Fucking president, vice president. I mean, if they want to fucking bitch for a president, I'll be your fucking bitch. If they want a fucking dude still, whatever. I'll still be vice president. We're still a team. Doesn't matter. Whatever way you want to fucking shuffle that deck, it all fucking folds out the same. Fucking house always wins, motherfucker. It's 9 22. 21 22, and it's still light out. Yeah. Well, we're right on the uh, we're mm -hmm. on the mountain time right now on the cusp of Pacific time. So yeah. I just noticed. I or in order a new truck in it. Like I said, motherfuckers have always said, well, you want a new truck? You want this? You want that? Yeah, order me a new fucking truck. Guess what? I'll drive that bitch down the fucking road. I can give one hell of a state of the union address. Yeah, Maybe. you want to fucking paint that motherfucker red, white, and blue? I'll fucking drive that shit from fucking coast to fucking coast. I mean, we at least have probably 55 votes. Yeah. Latinx president? I am not Mexican in any fucking way shape or You're form Latina? no i got no fucking latina in me i can be passionate but no <laughs> my name is my mom got my name from a murder mystery novel it has nothing to do with any race ethnicity or fucking continent or whatever the fuck you want to put it from it was from a fucking book and if you really want to go to the roots of my name, it's fucking Greek. It means goddess of the fucking moon. I need a beer. <laughs> God damn it, that six pack's almost gone already. I'm just letting this roll. What are you talking about, you need a beer? You still got like yeah, well, almost half a beer sitting there. I know I'm going to fucking suck it down in a second. <laughs> he said, oh, Lord. Oh, there's that. If you don't drive, you don't know. The fuck? It's going off. Yeah. This is a freaking awesome life. <laughs> Yeah, just, I don't even have to do anything. I just said it. I mean, if I drink Spaten, that doesn't mean I'm fucking German. If I drink fucking Heineken, that doesn't mean I'm from fucking St. Louis. <laughs> just gotta get enough beers in her. These life feeds turn into <laughs> really interesting. And all 55 of you fuckers will know. <laughs> Maybe we all know, fucking four hours in, fucking Selena's on the fire. Are we at 3.37? Yeah. Damn. I don't Damn. like to be messed with. Yeah, fuck that. We have a constitution. Strip. Just strip. Yeah, no. Nah. I can tell you one thing right now. There ain't enough money in a super chat, and there will never be enough money in a super chat. So you take that as whatever you want to take it. So what's the beer count so far? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm on eight. 
Nine open. I ain't stripping for a hundred dollars, bitch. You can send it all you want, but it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you can I mean, hope. I might interfere, but... Yeah. <laughs> like, it's a hundred dollars. I don't wanna give a fuck. Like, I mean, it's been six months ago we were down in Brownsville. Yeah. And I was all pulling your pants down in the yeah. middle of it. <laughs> Yeah, that night ended badly. Yeah, that was a bad night. That went off the rails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but fucking, fucking America is going to shit. And everybody who is not in the 10%, that means 90% of you fuckers out there need to fucking say something. Stand the fuck up. Fucking pull up your fucking granny panties. And fucking be like, hey, fuck you. Big toe. Yeah, send hundred bucks. I'll give you my big toe. I'll give you both big toes right now for. Talking about foot toe or camel toe? No, foot toe. Big, he said big toe. I thought about doing the OnlyFans for my fucking feet. <clears throat> I really did. Just to make ends meet? Just to make ends meet, you know? It's like. <laughs> But it's like, we share everything. So if there's a fucking OnlyFans out there for fucking toes, for fucking me, then he's going to be out there looking at OnlyFans of all the other bullshit. And it's like, eh. You know, what's a fucking hundred dollars for fucking big, you know, fucking feet pics when he's looking at fucking pussy pics and shit, you know? It's like, eh, I'm good. <laughs> what? I mean, relationship goals. Yeah, no. New truck rent? New truck rent? Well, there is no new truck rent. There's you, no new trucks to get. Well, and if you did buy a new truck, you're, you're fucking stupid. You're stupid because you're paying twice what they cost fucking a year ago, which is fucking dumb. And then, okay, so you got your new payment. Oh, well, you're going to pay $4,500 a month. Okay, so if you don't. Yeah, yeah, whatever you want to do, bro. A toe is a toe. But if you buy a new truck, okay, so we did the math when the trucks were fucking reasonably priced. Yeah, like $2,800 a month, you know, regular $180,000 W900. Yeah, and yeah, and then a fucking we still a free off. emission truck, and with all the repair costs and all this other stuff because they're older trucks and they break down and they need repairs. And then, of course, you know, the new trucks and the warranties and all that other shit and the downtime and the lost revenue and blah, blah, blah. It's like at the end of a five-year term, they, it was pretty much a washout between fuel prices and repair costs to new and fucking warranties. But now you can't get parts, so it doesn't matter what the fuck truck you own. Now, now, if you own a brand new truck for three hundred thousand, and it breaks down, okay, the warranty will pay, take care of it. Okay. You're gonna be parked for four months. But you're gonna be parked for four months. But how? So how much revenue are you gonna lose? And you can't pay your bills in the meantime. So what the fuck does it matter if you got a fucking twenty fucking nine W nine or a fucking twenty twenty two W nine? You know, and if you can't fucking fix the 2022 with your fucking warranty that doesn't cost you nothing, or you got your 2020, you know, your 20, 2009, you know, and it's like if they're... 2007. Both, 2007, whatever, you know, you're probably going to have less downtime with the 20, you know, the 2007 before it gets fixed and you get up and you can make fucking triple the revenue... You know, while the other one's still sitting and fucking waiting for parts because nobody wants to go to fucking work because, hey, guess what? I got $1,200 this year. I don't got to go to fucking work. Huh? I don't know. <laughs>
It's fucking stupid, dude. It ain't like they're giving you $30,000 a year. It's $1,200. Oh my god, I got $1,200. Like, we know a dude from Xbox. He got an $8,000 fucking uh, return on his fucking taxes because he's got too many fucking kids and he didn't make no fucking money. And what did he spend it on? He bought a fucking sub system for his fucking Suburban that fucking doesn't run. And he's got a fucking 99 Jeep Cherokee and shit. Four fucking kids under the age of four can't buy a formula or nothing, but ah, I got a new subsystem. And then what happens a couple months later after he spent all his fucking money on fucking nothing? Oh, I, I fucking, I'm in fucking, I'm going to the courts for my fucking rent for my landlord. And I got a, I got my subs up on fucking Craigslist to sell them so I can buy fucking Top Ramen. And it's like, dude, what are you doing with your shit? Then? Yeah. It's like, what are you doing with your shit, dude? You know what I do with eight thousand dollars? I pay off my fucking car and fucking all of my credit cards and fucking lower my fucking monthly outgo while I'm going to fucking work. But no, some motherfuckers just want to stay home and they have fucking four kids and their fucking wife works at Huddle House making fucking I don't know nothing and they fucking stay home and play Call of Duty all fucking day and you know it's like dude, dude, don't you want more for your fucking life? Dude, what is wrong with fucking people these days? Whatever the stimulus shit is the government's giving you is not enough. It's not enough. Fucking $1,200 fucking once or twice a year? How the fuck? Oh, well, I don't need a job anymore. I got $1,200. Like, what the fuck are you doing for a job that $1,200 seems like you gotta quit for the rest of the fucking year? Honestly, I want that fucking life. Where they're fucking living so high on the hog that a $1,200 stimulus check fucking sets them up for fucking life. What the fuck life is that, dude? Where the fuck is that at? I mean, honestly, like... <laughs> that don't need, I'm fucking numb. That ain't doing shit. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. I'm numb. You're done. I'm done. You're cooked. <laughs> and the mega, mega bucks, yeah, I wish. Yeah. Yeah, you can play that shit all day long. Now I know it's a thing. Oh, yeah, if you don't play, you can't win. Yeah. But guess what? If you play, you probably ain't gonna win any fucking ways. Well, probably is a so loose, loose fucking yeah. term. Yeah, I you mean, ain't gonna win. I mean, if somebody wins, you have more beer. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, there will be more beer. There's at least one more in the fridge. You're slugging those up, ain't you? Mm -hmm. Whoa. There's literally one more. There's one more in the six pack? Yeah. Wow. What do you want from me? It's all her. Yeah. No shit. It would it would literally not even pay. It would not even pay fifty percent of our fucking rent. Oh, and then you got fucking the water bill and the power bill and I don't know maybe food. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like yeah, the poor yeah. It's like what states always win? Like we got to go to that state and buy a lottery ticket. Is what like. What is it? Holbrook, Arizona wins a lot. And then somewhere in Jersey and Pennsylvania wins a lot. Like, nowhere else in the country ever fucking wins. I don't know. Like, no, if you look at the stats, like, Holbrook, Arizona wins a lot. And then Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New Jersey are the ones that always win the big jackpots. So it's like, if you buy a lottery ticket anywhere else in the fucking world, you're just throwing away your money. What was that one movie we just watched? Oh, Brian, yeah. Brian Cranston? Yeah. But the wind Fucking Jerry and Margo. They had to go to Massachusetts to play the odds ride or something like that. Well, yeah, those because, tickets every yeah, month because the they found a, a loophole in one of the lotteries, <clears throat> windfall. And, you know, it was in their state. They made something like $4 million bucks off of it. No, they made $27 million off of it. Oh, yeah, it was like over $30 million, wasn't it? Yeah. And, and it's like, and they helped their town 
but it's like they started he figured out the algorithm in their town and then they canceled it in their state and so they had to go they had to drive 10 hours over to Massachusetts in order to play the windfall it's m Jerry and Margo go large Jerry and Marge Jerry and Marge go large Marge Marge, Marge go large yeah but it's like they had to go <clears throat> they had to go 10 hours to fucking Massachusetts and to buy these lottery tickets and then they can't you know it's like they were winning a little bit like 10 20 thousand bucks and they're like hey they it turned came, into 50 thousand then a hundred thousand then yeah and they came back 300 thousand and it turned into like millions yeah and they came back to their state and they're like hey we're gonna start up an LLC and everyone in town can have a share and everyone puts in like 500 bucks and Are you guys hammered she's hammered I'm hammered. Ask me anything you want. I'll fucking tell you what I fucking think. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Mm, shit. She's the LOL. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Ask me any fucking thing. I'll tell you exactly what the fuck I think. You got any fucking subject you fucking ask, I'll tell you exactly what the fuck I think about it. So, the oyster is your world. I got What? <laughs> Tell me about the B1. What's the B1? B1 bomber? How do we like the weather here? It was warm today, but nice. Like everywhere else? In the like everywhere the else, most for the most part. It's reasonable. Hey, dude, why well, y'all hated 45? 45, what's 45? She's going to the bathroom real quick. She'll be back with another rant here shortly. I'm just keeping quiet because she's on a roll. Call me butter. Call me shit because I'm the poop. Or, hey, do you 45? 45 being the president? Trump? 45? We don't hit on Trump. Yeah, I fucking love Trump. Trump is Trump, 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 Trump 2024. Trump is far better than what's going on now, I'll tell you that. Yeah, hell yeah. I wasn't done with truck driving. Let that be clear. I'm done with I mean, winter driving. Back. No. She ain't done. I got a scare in winter driving. Doesn't plus, mean I'm done. Plus, plus you had another blood clot. Yeah, I had another blood clot. Which is better at the time that she got off the road. Now everything seems to be all right. That's the last thing. Now there's a bottle left, but I'm not going to drink that. One bottle left. Can we get another rant, please? Well, if you give me something to talk about, I'll rant, fucking rant, rant about it. Rant. <laughs> give me something to rant about, I'll rant about it. And I'll fucking talk sensical shit. <laughs> I was like, quit right away. I'm all, woo, and you're all, bang. <laughs> I got to catch up on the beer count. Yeah, I got more than him. I got at number 10, and he's on 6, and then Top Boy. Uh, bless me, Stella. No, bless your Stella. Look at the average. Go to bed? No, Mike. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my dad. Oh, yeah, but if you ask Kamala, she's on the ticket. Whatever the, or she is running, what did she say she was? 
What was that? The ticket mate. I'm her effect. ticket mate. I'm his ticket mate, and he is running, and I'm his ticket mate. And then the uh, fucking oh, 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 run that motherfucker back, <laughs> cause guess what, the motherfucker can't even ride a bike anymore. How long would your truck take to stop on a flat road with no brakes? Company empty versus heavy. <laughs> no brakes. Uh, ride a fucking time. <laughs> it would take a, it would take a minute. It would take a minute. <laughs> Buy a new truck, I will pay for it. Rant, okay. please. Give me something to fucking rant about, and I'll rant send all fucking, fucking night. Send me the fucking How about cash, life dude. in Norway and America? Well, apparently, Norway, because we do watch a guy who lives in New Norway, the guy out in the middle of the fucking woods. Yeah. But Bjorn, Bjorn Bull. Bjorn Bull yeah, and or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And he's talking about how there's food shortages and they're talking about travel bans again and fucking... COVID lockdowns. COVID lockdown, lockdowns and all lockdowns, this other shit. Lockdowns, yeah. Lockdowns. You know, if you talk to him, he's like fucking, you know, he'll fucking lullaby your ass to sleep, but he has some good information. But the, because English is obviously not his first language. How about life nowadays in America? It sucks. It's fucking dumb. You're in Norway? Well, yeah. Well, I've heard that Norway fucking sucks and they're fucking going for lockdowns and there's all kinds of fucking bullshit going on and I fucking feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for everybody in the fucking world right now. So, Justin Johnson says, what's the deal with you guys and the other trucker James Best? I have no fucking idea. Why don't you enlighten no, us? Somebody, we don't know Trucker James Best. Not a we, clue. We've never talked to him, never, know nothing. I've watched some of his shit, but yep. apparently he said that I'm a fucking shithead. Or and I'm, I'm a, cool. I'm a dumb shit, and she's cool. That was the only thing we ever heard yeah. from somebody, that he was going off in a rant one night and saying how stupid I am and how, but she's a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah, that and was it's it. like, okay, so everything I know and everything I ran about is because of everything that he fucking knows and watches and tells me about is the only reason why I have any <clears throat> knowledge on any of this shit because I actually don't give a fuck yeah, about any like, of it. The James Best thing, I, I don't know enough. Somebody, one of our fans <laughs> that watches him just said that he was doing a thing one night and he ranted about us specifically that I'm a shithead and she's cool. That was it. <laughs> yeah, and all I can say about that is because I don't know a fucking James Best from the other James Best or Same whatever guy. the fuck Same James... Thing. No, well, there's... Obviously, there's two. There's a James Best and the other James Best, apparently. I don't know, but I don't give a fuck. The only reason why they're even name-dropping us is because we're obviously better and more famous than they are, so they have to name-drop us to get some fucking tension in their shit and maybe they want some fucking people to be like oh no fuck but that fucking trucking with selena is fucking cool this, fuck you this you was know? also some time back a year or two back so who knows whatever yeah well like somebody said what is this I, oh yeah i take eloquist i take eloquist 2.5 two times a day for the rest of my life because i have a genetic disorder that I have a double thing of the M T H F T, you know, F R T H fucking factor times two or some shit. So I'm genetically dis disposed to fucking blood clots that I didn't know I had until I had a blood clot because I took birth control. And then when I hit a certain age, it caused a blood clot and they did the gene genetic testing and so now I have to take this fucking blood thinner shit for fucking ever because I have this fucking genetic thing now so yes I do know about Eliquis and since I've been taking it you know, over all the years of trucking I had one minor blood clot in 2020 
when we were doing CHI and I attributed it to a bruise or something that I got while we were unloading garage, garage doors, doors garage doors and stuff because of all the years of driving. You got banged real hard. Yeah, I got banged and got a bruise in the right spot where it caused a blood clot and it was just it was a minor blood clot. It wasn't even a major one. I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't do any of that. I ended up going and getting a CT can CT scan months later and they could see it that it was there and it was dissipating and all this other stuff but it wasn't super major like the very first one I had but it was the only other one I've had since the very first one I had and so yeah I mean nothing I've done before that or since that has caused another one so Literal to you. He's a faithful trucker. Oh, well, good for him. Because you know what? You know what? I came to the epiphany last night with fucking God and the Bible and all this other bullshit and all these fucking Ten Commandments Maybe and all this shit. the Fauci Oshie? Nope. No. Never got it. No, never got it. No, because fucking Johnson & Johnson is fucking known for giving blood clots and I can't take one that causes blood clots and I'm not going to take something that's going to give me Guillain-Barre syndrome or make me have a seizure and die right there on fucking camera on fucking national television and like oh she must have had a re adverse re reaction to it and then like everything's going to be okay like no that bitch probably died and fuck all the you know like you you look at the fucking things and like they're talking about fucking health insurance and fucking life insurance policies have fucking like tripled and quadrupled since COVID, you know, that they're having to pay out for all these death benefits now since fucking all these, you know, people are just dying. fucking all these stabs came out to fucking prevent shit. It's like it hasn't prevented anything. All it's done is fucking decrease the population. That's all it's done. Well, it, with it, all the information come out from Pfizer, Moderna, and the other producers of the Vax, with all their shady shit on the back end of coming out now. Yeah, now all years, the shit. A couple of years later, yeah. now all this stuff's getting exposed of yeah, their, like, oh, the side effects and all these things. Even that are Justin out. Bieber like, got fucking Guillain Barre syndrome. It's like, come on now. It's like, why are you going to get. Like yeah, well, now getting, they're calling it a, a clinical ago, trial. Getting, yeah, a year ago you're getting bashed. Like you didn't get the vaccination. I was like, well, I'm just waiting to see because yeah, there's and, way too many side effects that I'm hearing about. And, and all now, and now I heard, I heard on watching a YouTube video that now it's called a clinical fucking trial of the vaccinations. Yeah. It's not even fucking FDA fucking tested and approved and shit. It's a fucking it's a trial that it's a trial. They don't even know what the consequences are. They tried it out on billions of people and now the results are coming in. That's basically it. And and now everybody who's ever had COVID or the fucking stab. Yeah. Now you all have HIV. Fucking congratulations. Go get you. Go call the fucking commercial that tells you if you have HIV, take this, and your counts will be. And it's like, well, dude, what the fuck, dude? It's like I don't fuck everybody in the world. I'm not a fucking cum dumpster. Why the fuck do I have this shit? You know, it's like, oh no, but you got sick with it because we, you know, the, the, when they made it, they infused it with fucking HIV protein so that it would attach to your body. And it's like, oh great, so now we all have fucking HIV. Thank you fucking very much, fucking all over the fucking American, American whatevers, whoever did it, I don't know who, who funded the shit and like, yeah, do that. It's like, okay, yeah, all, all you fuckers got it too. So congratulations, y'all fucking kill, killed the human race. Maybe not this generation, but the next, I'm sure, or the one after that. I mean, good God, dude. It's not a curable disease. Let's give everybody on the planet. It's like, what do you want to just wipe out the entire population? Because we're destroying the ozone and it's not good for our children. Oh, let's kill everybody. And then, oh, maybe we'll start over as amoebas and fucking we'll be goddamn fucking, I don't know. 
Like that fucking show Sweet Tooth where fucking kids are born as penguins and fucking deers. Deer and antlers and Deer shit. antlers and fucking whatever the fuck else they're born as. Fucking who knows? I don't know. It's fucking stupid, dude. We put all our fucking faith in the government. Well, you know what? The government serves us. We don't serve them. That's where everything is lost in this entire fucking world. They serve us. They serve us. And where in the fuck did it fucking turn to where we think, oh, the government, fuck the government. We have our constitutional rights. They're fucking written in stone. They're unalienable. Unalienable. Do you, is anybody in this fucking planet know the definition of unalienable? It means that nobody can tell you that it's different. But you always want to look, oh yeah, that sounds good, yeah, uh-huh. No, fuck you. It's not. No, it's not good. These motherfuckers fucking put their heads together and they're like, no. In order for people to survive and prosper in the fucking world and become anybody in anything, these are the foundations that cannot be undone. And all you dumb shit fucking lipped hard reef fucks out there who fucking are getting your idiot brains fucked by fucking stupid who fucking think like, oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, undo that. Yeah. No! Fuck you. Go to fucking work. Don't be a lazy fucking sack of shit. Fucking serve the fucking world. Do something for your fucking self and quit sitting around waiting for someone to do for you. You're not five years old anymore. Who the fuck do you think made it to where you can be where you're at today? People who did not sit on the fucking couch playing Call of Duty fucking 12 hours a goddamn day who didn't want to go to fucking work and they just want to drink Red Bulls and fucking whatever. Do Get up and go to fucking work. Do something. Support yourself. Get the fuck out of your parents' house. Maybe they want to fuck without you listening to them. I'm just saying, dude. Dude, I was a fucking kid. I left home so my parents could have their fucking life back. Just because you have a fucking kid doesn't mean your life is fucking over, dude. Dude, when you're 18, get the fuck out and go have your own life and your own fucking family, dude. Go away. Go the fuck away. You know, it's like... You're gonna have a fucking wife and fucking move her into your mom's house and have fucking kids and all this other shit and then they're never gonna fucking leave and you're gonna be like, why the fuck won't you leave? And they're like, well, why didn't you? And they're like, cause I'm a piece of shit. What are you? And like, well, I'm gonna get some product or whatever the fuck raised me. Yeah, you're all a bunch of fucking piece of shits, dude. Get the fuck up. Go to work. Get the fuck out. Go have your own fucking life. Go do whatever the fuck you want without someone telling you what the fuck to do. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fucking chicks suck. And, and uh, uh, like, okay, don't get me started on the fucking MGTOW shit. Oh, chicks suck and this and that. Yeah, guess what? Yeah, chicks suck. Guess what? Dudes suck too. In case you haven't fucking read the memo, not all dudes in the world are fucking great. Yahoo, fucking MGTOW. All these fucking women are stuck and this and that and they're shitty. Yeah, well they were raised by the same bitches you were raised by. Guess what? You ain't no fucking prize either, motherfucker. Maybe there's a reason why they don't fucking want to stay with you. To fucking go and be decent human fucking beings, dude. Quit blaming it on, oh, it's the chicks. Oh, it's the dudes. Well, no, no, it's every fucking buddy. You're all a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> It's fucking a two-sided story. There's just as many shitty dudes out there as there's shitty girls out there. You know, so I'm sorry. You're fucking part of the uh, fucking Legion of Unfuckables. And you gotta go find other chicks to bang because a dude won't fuck you because you got purple hair and you weigh 300 fucking pounds. Sorry. Go on a fucking diet. Or fucking, I don't know, get comfortable with the fact that the only fucking friend you're gonna have in the world is a fucking cat. I don't fucking know, but don't blame it on somebody else. It's your fucking fault. You're a fucking idiot. It ain't the fucking world. It's the fucking people in the fucking world.
Yeah, well, you know, good for you. You work 8 to 14 hours a day. I hope it's for your fucking self and not for some fucking little selfish bitch at home who's like, I gotta have my fucking Fendi purse and I gotta get my hair done and I gotta get my nails done. Oh, but yeah, you want your dick sucked? Fuck you. I ain't sucking your motherfucking dick. You just fucking gotta pay for my shit. Fuck you, bitch. Go back to the 1950s and see how that worked out for you. You're a fucking single bitch. You fucking call the cat lady. Oh. Highway Holler called it Legion of the Unfuckables. Mm -hmm. And I'll go back to Bjork. Give me one sec before you Yeah, you're Norwegian, okay? Do you remember the driving time lapse you edited long ago using a song by Pink Floyd, Saucer Full of Secrets? Yes, because when we were doing FedEx out of Salt Lake to, I, to Des Moines and back, but we were doing a video of driving through Utah and I did Saucer Full of Secrets live at Pompeii. Right. Do you remember it? No. All the way home to where I actually even backed into our driveway at our house in Vegas at the time. Okay. The, the Saucer Full of Secrets song. Right. Yes. It's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> live at Pompeii. Roots, bitch. Roots. <laughs> live at Pompeii, Saucer Full of Secrets was the greatest rendition of that song you can find and if you go watch it just look up even on youtube you can look it all up live at pompeii pink floyd all the songs they did in that are great so but yes i did a video of that he said he wish he, he wish he would remember the video title so he could rewatch it we'll have to go really look it up <laughs> good to see you too kurt i'm glad you checked in right fucking now because <laughs> you get to hear the fuck I think about all the bullshit in fucking society. As far as, I'll look up the Pink Floyd video right now. Yeah, he's gonna look it up. You keep her in. Yeah. I'll look it up. Yeah. But no, it's like, all these people is like, okay, yeah, there's some ugly motherfuckers in the world, but dudes like to fuck fat chicks, they like to fuck ugly chicks, they like to fuck skinny chicks, they like to fuck hot chicks. It's like, there's no really, no liege of unfuckables because there's liege of unfuckables on fucking girl side and boy side. I don't want to say woman because nobody knows what the fuck a woman is anymore because <clears throat> what the fuck is a woman? I mean, when a dude can become a woman and a woman become a man, but nobody's ever saying nothing about a woman becoming a man or, you know, like it's not reverse. You know, it's all about a woman. A woman changing this, or a man becoming a woman. It's like, so what's a fucking woman? A woman is if you're born with a fucking pussy. That's what a fucking woman is. If you can pop out a baby, that's a fucking woman. Yeah, 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 and males. Yeah, that's a dude with a dick that can put a fucking baby in a fucking woman. I mean, that's, I'm no scientist, but... That's what they taught me in school, is men put babies in women, and women pops out babies. Last time I checked, a woman can't put a baby in a man, and a man can't pop out a baby. So that technically is what a fucking woman is, and if you're a fucking pussy-ass man who can't make it in the man world, I'm fucking woman. I've been taking hormones and I gotta join fucking woman sports now. Oh, because I can't cut it as a man because I'm a fucking piece of shit. Oh, but I can dominate in the women's world. Well, yeah, you can dominate in the fucking woman's world because you ain't a fucking woman, motherfucker. Yeah, you wanna fucking be a man and fucking dominate in fucking men's world? How about you lift some weights? How about you take some steroids or do some fucking something different? Or, hey, maybe realize that not everybody is cut out to be the top tier motherfucker. You know, maybe just because you want to be number one in your fucking sport. But, hey, you can't cut the mustard. Well, guess what, motherfucker? 99% of the motherfuckers in the world, man or 
woman can't cut the fucking mustard. There's 1% of the world that's at the top of the fucking leaderboard. Why don't you fucking try to be better? Oh no, that's too hard. I want to take the easy way out. I want to go dominate women shit. So I'm going to fucking cut my dick off and I'm going to take some fucking steroids or fucking whatever right. the fuck it is. I found the video. Saucer full of secrets. I just posted it. The link in the chat. Someone said some funeral service. I was on the road. I don't know. But I'm, all I'm saying is that, you know, if you're a fucking dude and you fucking want to take some fucking hormones so that you can fucking join women's sports so that you can be, be top of the game, yeah, maybe why don't you realize that you can't cut the mustard and that you're just like every other fucking person in the fucking world who can't be top tier. Guess what? You're average. It's okay. Most of us are. It's not a fucking fault. You don't have, you know what I mean? Just got rid of women's sports? Yeah, let's get rid of men's sports. Because guess what? I want to fucking play football. I don't want to get hit because that might hurt. But I want to play NFL. Yeah, I want to be on the fucking Dolphins. Hmm? And I want to score a touchdown. But if any of you motherfuckers want to fucking tackle me, I'm going to fucking sue you because fucking I'm a woman and I'm fucking taking testosterone and I fucking had my forearm muscle taken out and I got a fucking dick. But you know what? You better motherfucking let me win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I can't cut the mustard in the women's fucking sector. But you know what? I'm going to dominate you motherfuckers with all your testosterone and manly bullshit. Fuck off, dude. You guys have your men clubs with your fucking golf where fucking men, women aren't yeah. allowed and all yeah. this other stuff. Yeah. And we have our fucking women's fucking exercise gyms, curves where fucking men aren't allowed. It's like, well, you know what? If you're a fucking woman and you don't want to go to a gym where fucking men aren't, go to curves. If you fucking are a woman and you want to go where men check you out, go to fucking, fucking all fitness or fucking goals gym or wherever the fuck men are. Don't try to change curves. If fucking men want to have an all men's gym, guess what? Let them have an all men's gym. Maybe, maybe there's some dudes out there who don't give a fuck about every little fucking pussy fucking walking around with some fucking camel toe and some fucking g-string on and some fucking tight ass yoga pants. Maybe they actually like their wives. Oh, maybe they're fucking gay and they want to look at other gay booty. Yeah, let them have a fucking men's gym. Let them. Why you gotta be fucking all up in their shit? Like, oh, we can have our women's gym. Mm-mm, but you gotta share yours. I'm like, you fucking retarded. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Are you fucking stupid? This is what's wrong with society today. Yeah, you know? it's like, okay, so I get fucking old golf clubs and men's clubs all the days. They used to have hookers and fucking whatever this other shit coming to their shit and whatever. And okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's what not are you right. About? Back in the day when they had fucking golf clubs and all this other stuff and no what women you, were allowed, okay, like, they had is, fucking women what entertainers. Does golf, stand for? golf. G O L F. Gen gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. Yeah. And so they could have their own space. Yeah, but what did they have there? Okay, so they have they female. Golfed. Yeah, they had female entertainers no, and all this stuff. No, golf. No, okay, you're you're telling me, you're telling me they didn't have female entertainers and fucking no, whatever. No, they had golf. No, what? So they could get away from their wives that were yeah. bitching at them all yeah, the time. Yeah, but what I'm saying though is that you know, harping like, on that shit. Well, no, what I'm saying though like, is maybe like maybe dudes just need to get away from these harpy ass bitches yeah, that well, are saying, that, ranting all the time <laughs> and telling. Everybody yeah, how it is. Like, oh, I got an opinion. I need to hear it. Well, I'm going to go play some fucking golf with a bunch of other dudes so I don't have to listen to your fucking ass. Like Andy Cap. He said I'm a legit rant, so fucking don't throw it. Don't shut me down. I'm just saying that fucking women want their own shit, but men can't have theirs is what I fucking said. Women have their own shit. Women have tons of their own shit. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, but then they say guys I'm sorry. I got to be here to, to drive the wedge. That women have plenty of their own fucking shit. Well, no, I said that. I said and women have hard their own. i dudes all day about, Mir, you want this, you want that, Mir. No, I, 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 I don't get paid the same as you and all this kind of shit. You weren't even paid. The fuck you don't. You, you get paid everything the fucking guys do you, plus a bit. You weren't even listening to what I said. I said women want their own fucking shit, but guys can't have theirs. That's yeah. what I said. 
Yeah, I mean, they want curves and all this other shit, but they can't have their own fucking gyms. They gotta have, they gotta share their shit, but gr- fucking they can't come into our fucking gyms. That's what I was saying. I wasn't saying anything about fucking. Mm-hmm. I wasn't saying mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. Come around. Good. <laughs> you can quit watching all the shit and pay attention. I'm looking at the video about Live at Pompeii, the source <laughs> full of secret shit. Look. You wanna talk about something great? Love the yoga pants? No. No, somebody said that about the yoga pants. Wait here. Do you remember this? <laughs> I'm slapping a butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. amazing. Yeah, you're no. sitting there harping on dudes. I'm not harping. slapping your butt. I'm not harping on dudes. If you were paying attention, you would know that I was not harping on dudes. I'm harping on chicks. I'm harping on chicks for being dumb. They're all dumb. Everybody's dumb. Was I not harping on chicks for being ignorant? Come on, somebody fucking chime in so he'll fucking quit watching that and fucking listen. Everybody's dumb. Yeah, see, Selena like, is sticking up for us dudes. That was like four years ago. Yeah, someone said, what happened to the butt punch? <laughs> Still slapping your butt. Yeah. <laughs> four years ago, we were running FedEx. We are on our way home. And Saucer Full of Secrets by Pink Floyd, Live at Pompeii. Great fucking tune. <laughs> No, everybody go look up. You can YouTube it. Yeah, well, he even put the link in the thing up. Yeah, in the the... Live at Pompeii, Pink Floyd. See? The greatest shit they ever. See? I, I, it says here, Selena is sticking up for us dudes. Uh, on, uh, on dudes. She's supporting the patriarchy. Good. So you're not even paying attention. No, I'm busy supporting our fan base. <laughs> No, I think dudes are fucking an important role in society, and fucking men are men, and they should have a certain amount of fucking control over fucking women. No, like, I think know. that women should have a, an opinion and a voice, and if they're fucking... And a right to vote. And a right to vote, if they're in the right state of mind and not just passionate. Like, like they should... Women? They're just passionate and stupid and like, oh, I don't think that's right. And it's like, no. It's like if a woman is in the right state of mind, then yeah, she needs the right. And she has a voice. And she's not just a fucking figure and not just a fucking uh, a trophy or whatever the fuck. You know, but it's like not all this fucking bullshit. Why can't men be... And women can be, why can't men be women and women be women? Yeah. And have equal rights both ways. Well, it's equal rights to a point. Yeah, don't get char- started on child support. Yeah, that's fucking. Yeah, don't get me started on that. Yeah, yeah. Child support is fucking idiotic. I'm actually, it's... I'm actually flattered that somebody remembered the saucer full of secrets video mm-hmm. that I made. From yeah. four years ago. Yeah. Because I love that video. Yeah. I actually love that video, even though it was demonetized and all this kind of shit. Yeah, because of the And it didn't get any views, right? It got 5,000 views. But I love the fact that four years ago, somebody just remembered, hey, what was that driving yeah. video you did with Saucer Full of Secrets? Yeah. Saucer Full of Secrets is a great fucking tune. Yeah. Even though a lot of people don't appreciate it, people don't like Pink Floyd and all this kind of shit, and old Pink Floyd. Yeah. It's well, such yeah. an obscure song. And my... I fucking love that shit, and yeah. I love that I made a driving video about it, because yeah. going through the Virgin uh, Virgin River Gorge and all that shit, and going home to Vegas at the time, thank you, because I actually love this video, and I made it, and even though Selena and I have had a few throw-arounds about when I make driving videos with music that gets demonetized and shit but i still love making yeah these videos well yeah driving videos are fine no yeah go ahead sorry yeah no it's like yeah like us women okay so we're not second class citizens but (laughs) but yes i will say 
women act more on emotion than rationality. So our opinions and all that should be taken into consideration. And if you're more emotional than rational, then you maybe you should just sit at home, you know, recognize that shit in yourself that you're more emotional than rational. Now, there are, you know, women shouldn't be a second class citizen, but yes, Women shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't be totally equal across the board. Like, oh, I should make as much as he does because a woman, tip, a woman typically does not put in the same effort physically or emotionally or time, okay. time you're, wise you're as a man. Right now, right? Yeah. Traditionally, in the scope of mm -hmm. you and I working together. Yeah. What would you say the breakdown of you, driving time, work time, that I put in, that you put in, what do you say that ratio is? 70-30. Yet, equality-wise, I'm out here doing the same thing as you. Yeah, but I'm not doing as much as you. But that's the general argument. Yeah. Well, you know, and it's like, guys I work, have worked... Guys work 80 hours a week, women work 40 hours a week. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, so I worked union in the Plumber Pipe Fitter Union, and I put in my time like a dude, and I uh, abided to the system of, you can't call in sick, you can't go home early, your kids have issues, they have fucking, you know, first day of kindergartens, and then all this other stuff, and I... I personally rejected a lot of that stuff, you know, unless it was mandatory, like when our house got broke into, yeah, I left work early, you know, when my son got hit by a car and I had to go to the emergency room, I left work, you know, but for regular stupid shit, you know, like the normal stuff, like first days of school and all that stuff, yeah, I, I personally did not follow that regiment because I had a sense of duty to my job and that they needed me and I was a a needed asset at work just like every other man at work you know it's like you know me personally I don't follow the typical female shut up Selena Jimmy got you yeah no whatever fuck you <laughs> you know like I'm not a typical female so, but I have known plenty of females and I watch plenty of shit on YouTube and TikTok and whatever the fuck else is out there, you know, and it's like, there's a ton of stupid bitches out there and a lot of other things, but I had for eight years, you know, I had two, you know, I had fucking, you know, uh, just a handful of days out of eight years that I ever, ever fucking took off for my kids for their fucking whatevers, you know, and, you know, otherwise I went to work even when the first time that I was having a pulmonary embolism, I fucking went to work and, you know, and all this other stuff and, you know, ended up going back and a couple months later I ended up getting hospitalized for it because, you know, I didn't take the time because I thought that I needed to go to work and all this other stuff. And I had all this other, you know, and it's like I was just doing the job that I needed to do because I was in a man's profession. And I was doing my part and all this other stuff. But all these fucking bitches out there who are like, I'll dance and that, I need my hair did and my nails did and I got fucking lifestyle issues and blah, 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 and I got kids. It's like, well, guess what? I fucking was a single mom, met a dude, and fucking got into the apprenticeship and fucking did five years of apprenticeship with zero fucking absences. I had fucking perfect attendance. I was fucking second in my class and all this other shit. You know, there's no excuse for fucking being a shit tart in fucking society. You know, it's a fucking lack of fucking discipline, fucking self responsibility, fucking self, uh, you know, whatever that makes you succeed in life. I'm not helping myself. You fuck off, dude. What the fuck is this dude? You're fucking watching other shit and this dude's talking holy shit. What? 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 
Sorry. He's telling me to shut up and I'm not helping myself and all this other stuff. What's up, Mike? Not helping yourself how? I know. Like how? I got four fucking careers under my fucking belt. I'm fucking 43 years old. I got two kids. And you know, how the fuck am I not helping myself? Yeah, Jeremy is awesome. Yeah, he is awesome. But I'm awesome too. Fuck off, he does it all. What the fuck, Mike? What do you say, fuck off? He's doing it all. He does it all. I play football with Selena. I would only play touch with a woman unless <laughs> she said. Bring it on full bore. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm secretly packing. He always says, I'm a fucking dude with a fucking vagina. Like, t like literally, I was born a fucking chick. But I'm not the typical chick. I mean, he does say I'm awesome. Well, John Smith said you're awesome, not fucking Mike. Mike Jones says I'm awesome. When did he, Mike Jones says you're awesome? Right there. Yeah, and what the fuck am I? Fuck you, dude. You're packing. It's all good. I'm packing. packing? Yeah. You want to fucking packing? come to my fucking hotel room? I'll fucking square off with you right you're now, packing? bitch. Yeah, I'm fucking, fucking packing. some sumo wrestling going on Yeah, here. I don't need... I'd love to see that shit. Yeah. I'll stand back. That's yeah. all right. Yeah, really I'll fucking go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you right now, fucking Mike. Fuck you. Talking about fucking Jeremy's awesome, you need to shut the fuck up, motherfucker. Maybe you should shut the fuck up. What have you done in your fucking life? What do you do for a living, bitch? Should we go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Yeah. Well, you no, know? not you and me. You want to go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? <laughs> no, no. Why? Because we're a team. We can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's cool. There's no need. You want to throw it out? Just throw it out. No, but this fucking Mike Jones dude, whoever the fuck he thinks he is, telling me to shut the fuck up and this and that, and Jeremy's got this, and... Well, who, who the fuck are you, dude? You don't know nothing. Lori Lightfoot said he's got the biggest in Chicago. Who's got the... What? I don't know. John, the guy you gave a hammer to. Oh. Well, Chicago. Get the fuck out of Chicago, bitch. Why don't you come back fucking over here to fucking Boise? Let's see how fucking big your shit is now. I'll fucking go toe to you, toe to you right now. Ooh, I don't I'll give a go fuck. Toe to you, I'll go toe to you. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Shit's hilarious. Telling me I need to shut the fuck up. Fuck you, dude. That's what I'm gonna tell you right fucking now. I ain't no typical chick. I ain't no fucking. I'm so passionate, and oh my god, and fuck you. My man's gonna kick your ass. No, fuck you, bitch. You come to my door, I'll fucking fucking I'll come stare you in the goddamn eye. Fuck you. I don't need no winner to fight my fucking battles. Okay. You cool. don't like what the fuck I got I'll to sit say. Back and watch. Yeah. Well, you don't like what the fuck I got to say. Fuck off, dude. Somebody shows up at that door and wants to fight? Yeah. Fuck it. Hard what ass. am I going to get? A fucking Just black eye? What am I going to miss a tooth? Hard ass. I don't give a fuck. Like hard ass. Yeah. I ain't no fucking dude, but you know what? Don't, don't tell me I'm not fucking okay. You know, that I need to shut the fuck up. Fuck that, dude. Hard ass. Yeah, I'm a You're fucking hard ass. ass. Dude, I've done fucking more than fucking 99% of the women in this fucking world. All they can do is have fucking abortions and fucking cry about it. And like, I'm not gonna have sex anymore because I can't have abortions. Uh -huh. Go fuck off, dude. I fucking hang pipe, fucking weld, fucking drive trucks. Fucking, what do you do? What do you do, Mike? What do you do? Do you work at a grocery store? Do you work at McDonald's? What the fuck do you do? <laughs> Seriously. Do you wear fucking tight skinny jeans? Do you have a fucking mullet? I'm so angry. Do, how much do you weigh? You know, you weigh fucking 125 pounds? And I fucking, oh my god. Mm. Fuck you. Pipe down. Stop. <laughs> See, it works. All I gotta do is, okay, that's enough. That was a classic story. Of my <laughs> Grandma and grandpa, my mom's parents, that my grandma was like, 
crazy and boisterous and always going off and shit. And she'd be going off, and my grandpa was like a real calm dude, real quiet. Right. <laughs> and all he'd do, yeah, her name was Laverne. <laughs> Laverne, and settle down. Yeah, and he'd just be like, when she'd be going off and, and tirading on shit and everything, and my grandpa, Papa, loved him to death. Yeah. And he would just, okay, Laverne. That's, that's enough. enough. <laughs> and she'd be all, all right. <laughs> she'd pipe right up. Okay, that's enough. Hey. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Someone said, we love you, Selena. You go, girl. I'm serious, dude. Hold your hat. Hold your ass on. I'll hold my ass on, but I don't have enough hands. I need some extra hands. <laughs> That's kind of like, she's all going off and all. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> I should be like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I mean, I saying. I think that's hilarious. It's hilarious. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> what I miss? Yeah, you didn't miss fucking nothing, motherfucker. You wish you missed something. You know you didn't. Fucking no, you didn't. Is chakra gone? Yeah, chakra's gone. <sighs> alright? You feeling alright? I'm alright. You're ranting and raving? Yeah, I'm ranting and raving. I got plenty more to rant and rave about if anybody's got any stuff in right. subject matter. I'm not gonna let no motherfucker what, tell me to else, fucking shut else? up. What other opinions do you want from Selena tonight? Yeah, yeah. Let us know what other opinion, opinions do you want. A bird. I miss y'all. Yeah. Let's work. Yeah, there ain't enough fucking zeros in that fucking super chat. <laughs> yeah, not one of you would be without a fucking woman. Remember that. Two generations would not even exist without a fucking woman. Or a man. Or a man. But people want to talk about women. You wouldn't have shit without a fucking woman. Or a man. At <laughs> 10 o'clock it's quiet time. I don't give a fuck. What are they going to do? I paid my fucking rent. For tonight. For tonight. How much for a good punch? Good butt punch? Five dollars. A dollar ninety nine, whatever the fuck the minimum shit is for fucking YouTube. Yeah, this industry does suck. Yeah, fucking trucking sucks. Pretty much. All I gotta say though is for anybody watching, if you don't like what the fuck a woman has to say, even if she's talking fucking, you know, logical sense of sense, <laughs> <laughs> go fuck yourself and go find another channel. That's all I gotta say. But punch <laughs> five dollars here. Okay. Uh, right there. Turn. Let's see if we can get the angle. Squat down a little bit. No, up. I'm sorry, up. Let's see this. There you go. There's <laughs> your five dollars worth. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and. Pause it and screenshot it. I <laughs> yeah, always said seventy nine ninety five because of inflation. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how fucking Mike Jones now is like, okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go, motherfucker. Um, what else you got to say? Any news on Indiana Jack the Trucker? Nope. We haven't heard nothing in years. We haven't heard anything in a yeah, few years now, yeah. It's, yeah, he was had his fucking... He was at Traveloco and... Yeah, he was doing safety and whatever. Safety and, and whatever, and he was living in his trailer and... 
That's the last we that. ever heard of him. Oh. <laughs> Kirby said, okay, wow, I got more than I bargained for on that one. <laughs> is that your five bucks worth? <laughs> this is really his only fans, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Mike Jones now, he's like fucking backtracked. <laughs> he's all like fucking, I'm gonna come in nice shit now. Yeah, I'll call you out, motherfucker, because I don't give a shit. Don't forget, we can scroll back through the chat. Yeah, it doesn't go away just because you fucking say something else. Anybody got anything else they want me to talk about? Because I'll fucking tell you the truth about whatever the fuck I feel. I don't give a shit what it is. <laughs> Big Still Trigger said, I just came so hard. Thanks. Yeah, I'll never go there. But you did. You already did. It's too late. Uh, hear about those that want to cancel the fourth. What is the all oh, the fourth? Oh, the independence of fucking America. Well, 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 maybe they should just go back to wherever the fuck they came from. Is Jeremy the only guy who sits down for a piss? No, he is standing, and he is like a fucking camel, and he will fucking piss for ten fucking minutes standing up. Yeah, you told you told me to shut the fuck up and and all that. Mm -hmm. Please line up your beer bottoms on the bottom video here. This is for a bum punch at the end of the stream, right for the end to deliver the final punch, but a lot. Okay. These are all my beers. My beers. Someone gives another five dollars to do a bum punch at the end of the video. Yeah. I knocked it off, man. <laughs> How much to plow Jeremy's ass with a strap on? Fucking five thousand dollars. <laughs> what? What? Who? <laughs> Why? Why am I not involved in this decision? <laughs> I said five thousand dollars. What the hell? <laughs> nobody's gonna pay did five thousand dollars. Did you think to ask me first? What nobody's gonna pay. That? Nobody's gonna. <laughs> he said, "What the fuck?" Ha <laughs> ha. Nobody's gonna pay five thousand dollars. You never know. <laughs> I know. That's really fucked up, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I might want to be included in that decision. <laughs> what the hell? What well, I just threw out some number that was unrealistic because, you know, it's unrealistic. That's what you say, a million. <laughs> oh, okay, a million. Oh, 5, a million. <laughs> You might magically see 5,000 <laughs> pop up in the fucking chat. <laughs> and you wouldn't take it in the ass for 5,000? Well, we still got to lose 
Thirty percent. I I got one thousand ninety nine. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Google takes thirty percent. That's a little bit of a rough number, dude. I don't know. I mean, I'm a freaking all, but. <laughs> I just figured that was an unreasonable amount. <laughs> nobody, nobody fucking thinks it. Then you got to, then you got to, you got to go into negotiation with like indecent proposal kind of shit. Like, a million I'll dollars. I'll give you a million dollars to fuck your wife. It's like five thousand dollars. Yeah, I'll give it to Jeremy with a fucking high hard one. It's like. I mean, either way, it's fucking YouTube. Five thousand? No, how about we start talking a million? You know what I mean? We'll come up with a million. <laughs> no, it was just funny that all the comments come in since then. I guess I gotta bear down. <laughs> yeah, I'll give birth. <laughs> we don't for even a million. Have to deal with, we don't even have a deal though. It's not even. Why you why are you even lowballing me at five thousand bucks? What the hell is that all about? <laughs> like I said, I'm a freaking all, but good God. <laughs> I think Jeremy might, yeah, I think I want to say so in that decision. <laughs> <laughs> I got 4099 Don't seem old in my kids that have been drunk. The way he looked at you when he said that I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, PayPal. 500000 on PayPal. Okay. <laughs> I'll bear down this time. Yeah, five hundred thousand on PayPal when you watch it for free on Google. <laughs> we'll lose thirty percent on Google, or five hundred thousand on PayPal. Uh, I might have to sidestep my morals or my standards for this one time. Yeah, just a tip, right? Just a tip. It's just a tip, right? <laughs> I mean, I might need the half a mil just to cover the doctor bills or something like that. You know I mean? I'm sorry. Five grand. I was just thinking. Why are you of... lowballing me? What am I worth to you? I was just what thinking it was an unreasonable amount. <laughs> Especially with the price of eggs now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really want to have some eggs in my breakfast. Five but I gotta watch Jeremy get fucking pegged. Yeah, yeah, you. I'll, I'll peg you for five grand. What that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of eggs. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> but it's saying, you, know, you know, with inflation, nobody can afford that. Yeah, it's like nobody's gonna give that up. And all of a sudden. Bing! Somebody fucking pays up. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, oh, shit. Oh, well, sorry. No dildo here. No pegging happened tonight. Yeah, I have a fucking... I have a, like a, a male episiotomy or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Eggs are expensive, damn. Yeah. They are. I need protein. <laughs> I need well, protein. Real, real Jeremy in the ass. Yeah. I love That'll watching you guys' well. videos. Well, you don't have to get caught up. You can just keep watching from whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start. We'll start trying to put them out every day, one or two a day at least. Let's try. We'll try. We'll try. And even if you don't see my face, you'll hear my beautiful voice. <laughs> yeah, we were fucking clowning me out for fucking pegging videos and shit. What the fuck? Dude, I had to fucking twerk for $100 for fucking Jason fucking Crafty Trucker. Oh, he did it that time, didn't Yeah, he? he paid 100 bucks to see me twerk on the bed. That's fucking just about almost as bad. At least you were getting five grand. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I, 
couldn't believe All he paid. It doesn't I, seem worth it. <laughs> I couldn't believe he paid a hundred dollars to see me twerk. And I'm like, God damn it! Now I gotta fucking twerk. <laughs> fucking Jason. <laughs> They're fucking cool people though. They're gone. Well, I don't know if they're gone. They're gone from YouTube. <laughs> yeah, they're gone from YouTube. It's been over a year. Yeah. Can Selena lay an egg? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah, it probably would be lucky. <laughs> it started a fucking OnlyFans of my feet and me vacuuming. <laughs> Laying eggs. <laughs> That actually would be a funny video. If you could like, like, like fucking act like you're laying an egg like and then just drop an egg. eggs. And it like shows you like squatting. Yeah. And you're all, and you do it like. And just like, drop an egg. And then you see an egg drop. <laughs> egg drop. You know, it's like, wow. She can really do that? Yeah, man can have babies. Why can't a fucking chicks lay eggs? Because what is a woman? Apparently I'm a woman. I guess a woman is whatever you want her to be. A man is just a man, but a woman is fucking whatever you fucking want her to yeah. be. A man wants to be a woman? You can just say, hey, I'm a woman. Yeah, but you can't say, hey, I'm a man. You're like, no. A man's a man, but a woman, who the fuck knows what that is? We're fucking no one. We're a second-class citizen what, now. What the fuck are we? I don't know. Yeah, a woman I mean, is you're, like, you're still on the radar. You're all important. But me... A straight white male? Nope. <laughs> Money in the bank. $500 per egg. <laughs> oh, garbage. What time would be a good time to meet you guys tomorrow? Like, I don't know, noon? <laughs> <laughs> we got a chicken here at 11, so noon. Dude wants to walk a fucking hour and a half to meet us. Don't. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> don't. You know he's gonna. He's been in here for fucking five hours. He's gonna. <laughs> like the dude who fucking left home and fucking came and met us in Seattle. He's like, I had to meet you guys. I came all the way here. He waited till we got out of the truck and went to go fucking take a piss. And yeah, he was to talk to us for yeah, fucking Sumner. 45 minutes and I'm about to piss he my pants. Down there and we were like heading into the truck stop so we go to the bathroom. <laughs> He met us like midway. He's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I got to take a shit. You want to wait? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're both like en route to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, hey, how you doing? We just like, drove hey. all the way across Washington and shit. And then we had another, you know, what was his name? Jeff? I don't even know. I don't remember. <sighs> like, it sounds, sounds super shitty, but I don't remember. I think it was, I think it was Jeff. Anyway, Jeff, we sat out there talking to him for a while and shit, and it's like, all of a sudden, Selena even said, she's like, I gotta go to the bathroom, dude. Yeah. Like, it was great to meet you and all, but I gotta head in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like, it's like after fucking 20 minutes of conversation, it's like, it's like I would have hated if I had to take a shit right then, because I would have been rude as fuck. You know, it's like, and I don't want to be rude to fans. You sit here and talk to Jeremy, dude. I gotta take a shit. Yeah. Is that the last one? Yeah. She couldn't finish. Look at that. She's down and out. <laughs> what about laying a seasonal egg? Like an Easter egg, a Christmas egg, a Fourth of July egg. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Why not? Hey man, you hit me on the right day, I'll lay you an egg all day <laughs> long, dude. Come on, come on into the bathroom and watch. <laughs> I'll lay you an egg. I'll lay, me, I'll lay you some fucking rabbit eggs. Alright. <laughs> I'll lay you some pellets. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm getting about done. Nobody has nothing. Are you passing for, out? Nobody has nothing for me to rant about, so. Aww. We're going on five hours. 
Yeah. A five hour live feed is for poor. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, She's passing out. Yeah. I'm tapping no out. No more rants. She's tapping out. <laughs> right? Yeah. Sorry. We'll, we'll call this a night. Someone paid us for fucking something. Oh, bump punch. A bump punch at the end. Oh, yeah, that's right. What is it? Let's do this. Come down. Random bottle. <laughs> Does that work? Is that enough? <laughs> Is that worth five dollars? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Is that worth five dollars? Was that five bucks worth? Sure hope so. Speak pics will give me fucking twenty. <laughs> Alright. Well she's done. We're done. I guess we'll call that a night. <laughs> Almost five hours. That's a night. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, life feed from Boise. I guess we're done. She's passing out. Five hours later, yeah. Yep. We're, we're fucking due. So, check back with more videos later. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, hopefully. Alright. And Taylor, thanks for the pizza. Yeah, thank you. Cut that? Yeah. <laughs> that one was frozen. All right, guys, we're checking out. So thanks for hanging with us and all that shit. We'll check back later and whatever. All right. Out. Out. Say it. Out.